Okay, well, the timer has finished counting down. Let's get back to it. It was pretty difficult to resist playing RimWorld for a few days, but thankfully Killing Floor 1 tided me over. The situation was very grim, now it's just plain grim. We put up a desperate defence and our colony held out against a lot of forces. Let me think, there was a Northern Breacher raid, which uh, was the one raid that I couldn't reasonably deal with. We blew them up with rocket launchers. There was an attack of a, a mech cluster here, and here, and here. Neuroquake saw through a lot of that. There were a lot of tribals. Fortunately, they got largely burned to death. Impid makes you uh, resistant to fire. I'm pretty sure it doesn't make you immune, because a lot of them burnt to death. Uh, and then uh, Apocriton arrived with an entourage. That was a big problem. And then we got Triple Drop Pod raided. That was an immense problem. They got right into the base, there were rockets being fired, fire foam poppers refusing to deploy, this wall got destroyed, a lot of furniture got taken out, our comm system is offline, our energy is almost completely offline. The only thing we're still getting power from are these three unstable power cells, thank cribbins those were not attacked. My wall is breached in many places and a lot of my moisture pumps are offline. My guests are extremely unhappy and probably going to leave soon, and we have multiple ex uh, major, probably soon to be extreme break risks. But we're alive, and we will continue to be alive. So what I need to do is sort my people out, big time. Everybody needs to be 100% towards either rebuilding the colony base, taking out the remaining parts of the mech clusters, or keeping our guests happy enough to stay. Trebliard is out for the count. He is knocked out and will continue to be knocked out for another roughly four days. Nancy Drew is literally starving. The only thing keeping her sane is the fact that she's happy about having gotten married recently. But at least she's not that tired. So the first thing old Nance is going to do is she's going to eat a meal just to get herself some calories in her. And then she's going to take care of the remaining bits of the mech cluster. So I want Nancy to... Oh man, Achtung. I think this is why I never bother with Achtung. Uh, there it is, it's control right click. Is there a setting for that? I installed Achtung because I was getting tired of the game saying, oh, you're not allowed in this zone, so you'd have to go and temporarily add them and then da da da. Is there a way to not make it control click? Context menu key. I guess not. Oh, God knows, I should have fiddled around with this a bit more. I can look at control click, though. Right, go and consume yourself a lavish meal, Nancy. And then once you are done that, I hope the grenades survived. Frag grenades, 4%. Sounds good to me. So once you have that, go and... Oh, crumbs, where are they? Ah, oh, for God's sake, now I need to shift control click. There's some grenades around here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Right, I want you to equip... Frag grenades, and then I want you to go down there, and I'll then I'll sort you out a bit more. Bandy, you are starving, you're unhappy, you lack recreation, you're tired. I will have you drink a beer. I will have you consume my one remaining piece of wake up because I need you operational right now. I should have one bit of wake up. I remember seeing it in the VOD somewhere. Hopefully I wasn't imagining things. Ah, there we go. I got one piece of wake up. So once you drink a beer, take that wake up. 2% chance that he becomes addicted, which wouldn't be too bad. A reasonable chance of a heart attack or an overdose. That I really don't want to happen, but needs must. I need Pandy fully operational because he's our best bet at bringing the walls and the energy back online. See ya. Uh, I'm going to have you drink a beer, then drink some psychite tea, and then I would like you to repair the mechs, which you will probably just normally do. But even so, I should make sure that those mechs are being repaired. The fabricator I don't care too much about. But the others I absolutely do, especially Bernard and Chumro. I've got a fair bit of all that stuff to do. So yes, if you could 
repair Bernard and then repair Chumro. And that should keep him good. Spurdo, you beat the odds by actually being kind of happy and not too sleep deprived. Uh, I'm going to have you probably drink a beer. And then I will do some more with you after that. Ali, you are looking great. I'm going to have you consume a mm, lavish meal. And then I want you to probably start plugging our guests full of drugs so they don't get so unhappy they want to leave. So Tiosto, I actually want him to get up out of his pain shock and get to work. Uh, I will probably just give him some flake for that. Everybody's happier with flake. I know they're going to be unhappy because I forced them to take drugs, but uh, that's that's a long-term problem, and I need to deal with the short-term problems first. One nice thing is that I have quite a lot of flake right here, so I might as well use it. It's a plus 31 to happiness. So yes, consume your lavish meal, and then operate on Teostopus. And this is a nice thing, because of Achtung, it doesn't matter whether or not you're assigned to, um, to medical stuff. I can just force you to do it. That's great. Why that's not in the base game, I'll never know. Hard to believe the bed survived without a scratch. This whole area wasn't really a war zone. And thank goodness, because there's a lot of expensive stuff that would have gone down. Oh god, it would have gone down. It's a real damn shame I lost the geothermal. Uh, a note for the future is to double wall this so that doesn't happen by chance again. Because there's no outer wall around this part, it's just wall. And the fire that started here became a bit of a problem. But, plasteel wall followed by... S I guess slate wall's still okay, but plasteel wall on the outside. Should help keep that a-okay. So Ali, you'll see to our guests there. Lady Seru, you are very not very happy. But you're alright at construction, and I need people that help me with construction right now. Um, M &M &M. Alcohol tolerance is small, psychite tolerance is small. Why don't you go and drink a beer? And then, once you're done drinking a beer, I'll probably tell you to eat a meal. Hopefully I'll remember. Smuggler is extremely unhappy, and unlike most people, I can't beer him. Uh, I can't beer and drug him up. So he might just have to go to sleep, lest he go insane. How about you consume that lavish meal, and then you're probably going to go to sleep. Which is fine, so it'll give you comfort, tiredness, you won't mentally snap while you're asleep. All of those are good things. Teostopus will get back on his feet once we give him some drugs, because it should overcome his pain. He's still going to be slow moving, but I'm going to move him around to hopefully make him happy. And then there are these people who I need to make happy enough that they don't leave. Uh, Bobber is going to be happy because they are getting high as a kite. Uh, Lepos is surprisingly just a happy individual. If they just go to bed, that'll be fine. Oh, one thing is I can probably schedule everyone to be unrestricted now. But yeah, Lepos, why don't you just go to bed? I could really do with you being more comfortable and less tired. But instead you want to work for some reason. I think I should schedule Lepos. Oh, Lepos is on a different uh, different schedule to everyone. Let's see, it's five in the morning. I'm just going to have you sleep for now. I will definitely forget to change this, but... Since you are currently not a problem, and you don't really have the skills to deal with many other things. Just go to sleep. Oh my god. He wants to refuel a torch. I want you to go to... Oh right, he's probably very, very hungry, isn't he? He's a bloodluster, that's why he's so happy. You know, I could just have you uh, eat some raw food. I would not be opposed to that. How about we just hold on to Lepos and I'll have him eat one of these meals once... Um, once other people have grabbed them. The problem is that these things stack. It's reserved right now, so I need to wait for Ali to eat that food, or at least grab the food. Right, you're another person who needs to be kept desperately happy, Nucello. Same with you, Nikos. The two of you uh, are probably gonna eat, and then go to sleep, and then take a bunch of drugs. So I'll have the both of you come over here. And then you'll grab the food and eat it once all's said and done, and then probably send you to sleep and force you to have some drugs. Right. Paste fails once more. Well, the paste is down because there's no power. 
Ozzy, my fire bomber, you could be a lot happier if you just take a whole bunch of drugs. Uh, your need for sleep doesn't look very good, so I'm going to have you snort some yayo. And that will deal with your need there. I wish I could slow the game down a bit just to, just as I deal with all this. I'm sure I've forgotten something. Um, okay, let's go for it, everyone. Right, there we go, go. Nancy, why are you just eating it there? There's a chair for you to use right now. I don't know. Right, but... Uh, Why is Ali feeding Teostopus? I thought I wanted you to, um... I wanted you to operate on him. Or at least eat, eat the meal first. Why isn't... I don't... Oh, maybe other people have reserved the seats so Nancy can't take it. That's alright. The meal will be fine on its own. Right, as for you, you go and consume that lavish meal. Lipos, you also consume a lavish meal. Let's do our part to keep everybody happy. What's your problem, Nancy? Why won't you just go and consume? Oh, maybe it's because you're drafted. Now you're taking it there. Okay, okay. What's all the white on the floor? <laughs> do you really want to know? It's the Fire Foam Poppers. I had to activate them manually for some reason. They've got a much worse range than I thought for dealing with fires inside the base. Telling me that I need more of them. I hate to have to deal with that again. Right. <laughs> Wait, what? You are consuming... Oh yeah, I built a second table now, didn't I? Right. This is good. Trying to keep people happy. So, Pandy, take your wake up. Nikos is moving over here. Nikos, I need you to be happier. And even though you're not very hungry, I'm going to have you consume one of these lavish meals. Because that will make you happier. Otherwise, you don't take drugs, so just eat the meal and go to sleep. And then everything should be alright-ish. Uh, Bobber is looking good and happy. Okay, just got to get all these people happy so they don't fail the mission, because if I fail that mission, I lose all these goodies. I don't want to lose them. What happened to the base? Big, big, big multi-attack last time. Multi-multi-attack. How many there was? I don't know. I went, I went through it earlier. I can't do this. For, everyone's going to be asking what happened, what happened. Right, you're going to go on the repair job. That's fine. Pansy's going to take the wake up, and I hope to God he doesn't have an adverse effect from it. Smuggler is in to consume his meal and then hopefully just go to sleep. Need to be very wary of people that are doing nothing productive. Okay, doesn't look like Pandy immediately developed an addiction, which is good. He's got the alcoholic warmth and a strange feeling, but I, I must not have Pandy snap. So I'm going to have him also consume a lavish meal, that way he'll stop being starving and he'll be very happy that he ate something good. Uh, is anybody applying the drugs to Teostopus? I thought I set someone up to do that. Uh, I guess... Oh, there we go. Ali is administering a flake. That's good. Right, Lipos, hopefully you go to bed. Yes, you're going to bed. Good, that's you taken care of. The trouble with these two golden nuggets is that if they go to sleep, then their mood won't improve. I need their mood to go up quite a bit. Um... Sadly, you don't take drugs, Noel, so what can I do to make you happy? You're building up your recreation, which is good. But what else can I do? I suppose I could force you to take drugs. And then that should uh, give you enough awakeness that we can not have you just go out on us. Okay, Bobber has gone to bed, but that's actually bad because I need their mood to go up. They are devilishly tired, but I'm going to have them... Uh, there's not a lot that they can really do to help me here, and they're really tired. Um, would you like to snort some yayo? That will fulfill your need for rest, and then I'll probably have you help out with hauling stuff. Nancy, finish your meal. I've got a lot of work for you to do. You're very important to me right now. Great. Now, Nancy, I need you to equip those frag grenades 
please stop trying to prophesize face, uh, faith at this time. And for the love of God, get rid of that toxic spewer. I have had it with toxic. Toxic everything. Good old snorting yo before sleep. No, there's no time for sleeping. No time for sleeping. Everybody's got to be really happy. Right, if Bobber's just out of bed, they'll stop being so incredibly unhappy. Uh, Teostopus, just take your drugs and get up. If he gets up, I can have him eat another lavish meal. Just keep this moodlet going. He's psychically sensitive. Oh, he's got my uh, he's got my skull cap on, which is actually good for giving that strange feeling a boost. So no, also it's not that bad that you're building up your uh, your recreation meter. But what would be even better is just forcing it up by shoving some flake into you. And you're going to be tired soon, so why don't we also give you some Psychite tea? And then I could have you at least help with a little bit of construction work. Yeah, that makes sense. Give them Flake. Give them uh, Psychite tea. Maybe the beer would be a little easier. Playing poker? No, how about you how about you go and rest up while we administer these things to you? Ali can take care of that rather easily. And then Nikos. Nikos eats his food. That probably won't be enough to keep him happy, but we'll, we'll check. Right, Lady Saru, you want to rest. I understand your desire to rest, but I cannot allow you to. You are going to consume that lavish meal, and then you are going to... Did I already give you some Psychite tea? Psychite tolerance is small. All right, go and uh, go and drink some Psychite tea. That'll that'll fulfill your need for sleep for a little bit, food and sleep. And then I need you to recreation as well. And then I need you to help out with the construction work. Speaking of the construction work, we need to get on that. Where was the door around here? Honest to goodness, I can't remember. We're just building out of wood right now because it's the fastest. Wood, 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 wood. And hopefully Pandy is on construction one. He's on deconstruction one, no construction one, please. Sia, I need you to help out with construction. Saru, construction. Smuggler, construction. It's a big priority right now. What's Smuggler even doing? He wants to rest. Yeah, you're a tricky one because I can't just um, I can't just give you drugs to make you happy. It's probably better that Smuggler just sleeps for now. Can you not sort out the relationship with the guests with the British? We apologize for any inconvenience caused, Jake. There is a little bit of that. Nancy could use word of joy, but that would cause the faction to dislike me because it's counted as a hostile action because it lowers their consciousness. Could kill someone doing it, actually. I think. I don't know if it affects consciousness or max consciousness. Hopefully I didn't interrupt Nancy by selecting that. I don't think I did. Alright, so Nico, Nico. Nico's not that happy from all of this, but I'll send them to bed and force them to take drugs. It'll also affect their immense pain. It takes a bit of time to force somebody to smoke flake in their sleep, it seems. Right, see ya. Pairing Chumro, good. Pandy, building wooden wall, perfect. Nancy's going to destroy. Spurdo is just about finished his beer. Bobber is snorting some yayo, excellent. So we're getting there with the unhappy guests. Bobber is still considered unhappy, but they will cease being ha unhappy soon enough. Lepos's happiness won't change right now because they're asleep. But they're outside of the threshold. I need to keep them 40% or more. Um, you, Nu, uh, Nucello are one of the problems. So Ali, once you're done with that, could you please operate on them and operate on them again? So that Nu, uh, Nucello becomes awake and not a bit of a pain. And then Nikos. Nico, Nico, Nico. You go to sleep. Oh my god, what's Ozzy doing out here? Ozzy's pretty damn happy from all that yayo. And they're not unhappy because they have chemical interests, so they're going to refuel this torch lamp? No, I don't think that's necessary. Yeah, if you start building up stuff for this power generator, that would be great. So you're going to move all this crap out of the way, I bet. 
Good, good. I need to get my power back online, which means I need these dealt with. Actually, Ozzy, do you think you could focus working on the conduits first? Because if I get this power coming in here... Oh man, it's actually stopped short, isn't it? I need additional conduit here. But once that is taken care of, I'll have all this power flowing back in. It's 3600 watts, about half of what I need. Still surprising you got through all the three mech clusters and 300 imps and however many Yitkin without any colonist casualties. Well, Pandy almost lost his arm, which would have been grim. Uh, Spurdo also almost lost his arm. Seru almost lost a leg. I remember Treblia? Oh, yeah, that, that's from the wedding, though. Um, but yeah, no permanent injuries was a pretty great outcome. But, you know, when you're this good, it just comes naturally. <laughs> that's what I like to tell myself. Um, if any of you have any really good stuff on you, you should probably drop it. Like, Bober, uh, once you're done doing whatever... I would actually like you to drop that Psychic Shock Lance, because if they end up leaving... I'm not going to cry over the guns very much, but I will cry over the lances. I already burned a lot of them. And these guys have been unhappy for quite some time. I need to keep a very close eye on what everyone is doing. Spurdo, for example, do I really want you to rest? Is that really the right thing for you to do? You're certainly happy, but you're also quite hungry. Why don't you consume a lavish meal? And then I could make you take some yayo. And then you could help out a lot with just cleaning up the place. I think I will actually. I know, I know, it's risky taking all this yayo, but I need my people not to be asleep right now. Besides, with a bit of luck, the only people who get um, who get addicted or overdose are our guests. All right, Teostopus, no longer incapable of walking. Then I do not want you sleeping. He's unhappy because of the. Oh, I thought he'd be unhappy from being forced to take drugs, but of course he loves taking drugs. So Teostopus, why don't you get up and uh, consume that lavish meal? That way you'll no longer be really hungry. And then we should be okay. I can even get you your personal bedroom once this wooden wall is recreated. Yo, dude, I'm going to the shop. Want anything? <laughs> Another batch of yayo. Actually, some flake would, uh, some wake up would be good at this point. All right, Pandy, uh, are you really meant to be drinking psychic tea at this point? Did I tell him to drink psychic tea? It's probably because he's not very happy, right? Could you, like, work on the wooden wall first, please? We need we need this wooden wall built up, big time. Teostopus is eaten. Ali is administering flake to Nucello, who should get up and be happier. And then there's Nikos, who is very tired and will also need a bunch of drugs. Hey, Lipos, you're not doing much, right? In fact, you're a very happy individual. Maybe you could help out with these. I want these people to be very happy, so why don't we just shove beer and... Uh, and flake into their system. Oh, you can't do the operations because you are a... Uh, you're part of this faction. Right, see ya. See ya, see ya, see ya. Once you're done with Chumro, you go and operate on Nikos. drains their energy doing this. Right, so Nacello is now going towards being much happier. They don't like being forced to take drugs. That's a big downside, but being high is good and it fills up their recreation like crazy. So now go and administer some beer to our friend. Ozzy's building, which is good. Nancy, you're going down there to destroy the, uh, the toxic spewer, which is also good. Seru wants to rest, and I can't blame her, but Seru, we need Nikos, given their drugs so that they're happier as well. Come on, Ozzy, get happier. Nikos and Nusello and Lipos, all of you, just be happy. Be yourself, 
that she can be someone better. Oh man, Pandy was serious about that psychic tea. Alright, now he wants to build a roof. And that's not the worst thing in the world, but hopefully he gets to building this wall. Alright, Nance. Please lob grenades directly at that thing. Until it gets completely destroyed. That'll remove all the toxic nastiness for a wee while. Just gotta keep checking everybody constantly because I, I need them all doing the right things right now. And sleeping is the right thing for Smuggler. Just get that get that sleep built up. Stop being such a negative nonce. Teostopus is enjoying his meal. I'll need to give him something to do afterwards. And Bobber. Bobber seems to just be hauling stuff around, which isn't too bad. They're really happy, so as long as they're just working for me, that's great. And Seru, you are administering beer. What was that explosion? Ah, yes, of course. The good explosion, the one that gets rid of our toxic spewer. That that scared me. That very much scared me right now. Yeah, Bobber is working on a trap. Uh, oh, right, the traps are not meant to be worked on right now, because they're a big time sink and we have much more pressing things to do. He's still hauling things towards spike traps. Perhaps there were some that I didn't turn off properly. You're trying to go with that. Ah, here. Are there any spike traps in the making? Well, don't do that, Bobber. Make walls and stuff. There we go, there we go. Bring it to the wall. I need this enclosed in because currently this counts as outside. Unless you have a full perimeter wall, it counts as outside. There are bodies that I do need brought over here, so I don't blame you bringing Lou the prostitute over to the meat hooks there, Spurdo. But I couldn't help but feel there are more pressing matters. Oh, well, you know, there's a ton of hauling to be done. Right, Nicello is now going to be very happy from all the drugs and very unhappy from all the drugs. But this should push them out of the danger zone if they just keep working. And it fulfilled their need for recreation and rest, so they can get working. I need the same done to Nikos. Lady Saru is very slowly on the case. Yeah, I think that, yeah, those injuries really slowed down your movement, Saru. That's fine, though. Ali wants to go to sleep. I don't want you to go to sleep. Um, is there anything that you can really do to help out right now, Ali? Right, you see these slag things? They are going to get in the way of uh, rebuilding this. If you could haul the slag chunks, and haul the slag chunks, and haul the components, just get those out of the way so this thing can be properly built. That would be great. See ya, you're still working on Chumro. Nancy's still taking out the Toxic Spewer. I know, I know, it's going very, very slowly, but it kinda has to. At least Teostopus seems pretty happy now. Soon he'll be out of the danger zone. Nostello remains a problem for me. As does Nikos. Nikos really needs the drugs, so Saru, hurry it up. Okay. Andy appears to be building the wooden wall, which is good. Albert seems to be moving things out to build the wooden wall, which is also good. More explosions from uh, from our Nancy getting to work. Spurdo's moving the centipedes. I mean, this whole place does need to be cleaned. I'm just wondering if there's anything more pressing Spurdo could be doing. But he's not that great at construction, so maybe what he should be doing is moving all this crap out of the way. This is Randy. Randy 500. Hey! Oh, that's actually quite good. We all become happier for eradicating mech clusters for quite a long time. And we have another mech cluster to take care of. And that is this one that shrouds us in total darkness. So, Nancy, please go over there and then destroy it. Oh, but don't stand in the pollution. That's a pretty important thing. If you stand in the pollution, you're going to build up toxic. Build up rather quickly. So yeah, don't do that. Alright, Nikos. Um, 
Lady Sarah will now give you Flake, and then you should be up and on the go and hopefully happy. Teostopus is still... Oh, Teostopus is just outside of the unhappiness range, which is good. Once he finishes his need for rest, which he kind of already is. I think he wants to do bed rest, because there's almost nothing else he's going to do, is there? There's wardening and hunting, and that's fine, man. Just just rest up if you want, then. It'll get you get you in less uh, less pain and stuff. Oh, wow, he's got a lot of untreated wounds as well. I mean, I could see to those, but I got other things to do, chief. Even though you did save the day, right? Teostopus did so much for us during the siege. Just waltzing in with his ginormous brass set and wielding his Zeus hammer. He just went and slaughtered the fuzzy beasts inside my lair. Which was great. Really great. If all people earned it. Yeah. Kind of falling for the man. Right. Where, pray tell, do we take slag these days? Pandy, get that wall built. Oh man, look at Pandy go. He's almost got us walled in. Uh, that's good. I wanted the wall up, and now this counts as indoors, right? Yeah, it's now our awful barracks. I want my door back. We will make it out of steel. Where in the world was my... Uh... I think it was here, right? Here was my... Oh gosh, I'm having a hard time envisioning this. Let me think about our research bench. Our research bench was here. And that means the comms console was it really there? I, I, I guess it was because of the um, yeah yeah that means the door was probably here. All right, there we go. Build a steel door there. Keep us good, Pandy. So yeah, build that wooden wall and then build that steel door, please. Should be good. See ya. You are really good at medicine. Maybe you should heal up, Teostopus. Bobber wants to do it. Well, Bobber can kind of do whatever he wants, but... And you are a good medic. But why not have our best medic do it? Yeah, get, get Teostopus on the, on the up with some medicine. Teostopus killed a lot of rivals that day. It might be the best day of his life. Is the Psychic Pulsar mood buff still up? I believe it is. Not for much longer. 11 hours, but we still have it. Once that thing goes, we're going to be in a bit of trouble. Uh, right, so Nacello is working on hauling stuff, which is fine. They're still building up their happiness as long as they're awake. Uh, Nikos, once you have your flake in your system, I need you up and operational as well. There we go. So I need you to get to work, Nikos. There we go. Now your now your needs are sky high, or your your happiness is sky high at least. Hopefully we can just get there. You know, Ozzy, uh, I would like you to drop your charge rifle just in case you do end up leaving. Nikos, same with you and your uh, rifle. I guess even Lipos, you and your chain shotgun. I'll regret this if I end up needing these back later, but I don't want you... I don't care about the steel axe, you can hold on to that. I don't want them walking away with my good stuff, basically. Major break risk on Nikos. I can't believe nobody's broken. Well, hats off to them for their fortitude. Is that a garbage bag machine in the corpse room? Yes, this garbage bag machine atomizes the toxic waste packs. And I can make a second one because we've defeated a second Apocriton. Impressive, I know. But impressive is what I do. That's what I try to do. Right, eliminate that. With this gone, the sun will no longer be blocked and will no longer be toxic spewed, so our Pokemon style collect them all um, weather effects will be coming to an end soon. Oh, right, I didn't actually want this high-tech research badge built. And he just built the freaking door, all right? There we go. And that's the end of that. Good job, Nance. Back you go. Okay. 
Ah, look at that, everyone's even happier. Teostopus on that trebly art is so happy. He probably wishes he was fed, though. Um, a bit of malnourishment won't kill him. It's only trivial malnourishment, it doesn't really matter. Once we get our power back online, we can feed him delicious paste. Uh, and we'll also be able to heat up this room, which is something that's desperately needed. Where's our clean sweeper, by the way? Chumro. Chumro is going to very slowly work its way through all of this. Um, I don't really need our fabricator doing anything right now. It's not a, not a real concern. More meals might be a concern soon. But we do have a stove. Now I need this place clean first. Is the defoliator in the west still there? Mm, no. I don't recall destroying it. Maybe it died in a crossfire. Or maybe I did destroy it. I can't remember. Yeah, no defoliator. A couple of defectors, though. Same difference. Alright. As long as we can get these two worry warts up to relative happiness, there shouldn't be an issue with our guests just leaving. And that's also assuming they don't go to sleep. Need to keep an eye on them. If these two ever go asleep, please yell at me so I can kick them out of bed and have them do something useful. Oh, this is good. We're bringing stuff over to the geothermal generator. I would also like the um, I would also like this wall built, probably out of glass steel. There's a lot of junk around here that needs to be allowed. Tons of components to be had, tons of steel to be had. It's all good stuff. Lots of uh, furniture related things to be rebuilt, but first things first to stop my people from just mentally snapping. Also, Teostopus, wouldn't you be happier going back to your own bed? Oh, well, actually, he just wants to meditate a bit. That's fine by me. Sarah's been tended to. Excellent. Spurda was already tended to. Nikos and Acello, also good. Nancy can keep the grenades for now. With the lack of the toxic spewer, the bodies should stop desiccating, but sadly, many of them are rotting. Oh, it's not going to stop me from taking their stuff. Any bots still alive? There are no enemies left on the map, I believe. Well, three dying ones, but that's okay. But no bots. Bots don't bleed out, so you want them all completely destroyed. Uh, here's a cool thought. How many bodies are on the map? Now, sadly, clicking on human corpse doesn't count at all, but what we do have is this. It's a new tool from Von Dougal's, and it counts wealth. Kind of cool thing. There's been a lot of debates about wealth here, but this it strictly uses the code from uh, from the wealth chart here to show what exactly we have. And here's why it can be really annoying having a lot of attacks. There are 316 human corpses here, and they are very much the highest value contributor to my map. Uh, the gold is second place quite narrowly because I have loads of gold, but yeah, all of these bodies. Now, here's the here's the kicker. Most of these bodies aren't even worth anything because they're all desiccated and rotten. It's just the sheer number of them that are not rotten yet is really adding to this wealth. So when you get the big raid and you kill them, Randy goes, oh, he's got you've got a lot of wealth, don't you? And it's wealth of dead bodies. And then he uses that to shove more raids at you. I think that is why he threw... Apocriton and Apocriton's terrifying entourage at me, even though, you know, I, I, I did not really deserve that. Can't use grenades. I could use grenades, yes. I could use fire. But the thing is, the corpses are everywhere. It would take days to clear all this up. I'm just going to let Mother Nature take care of them. And we'll grab the ones that aren't rotting and uh, bring them into our base for processing. Speaking of which, we got some uh, some goodies out here that I wouldn't mind having. Yeah, there's a lot of work to be done in terms of hauling this stuff, but... Hey Nancy, could you haul some of this stuff while you're over there, please? Leapos is asleep, but that is okay. I mean, what could they really be doing to help? I suppose it could be, you know, cleaning or something. Hey Leapos, are you up for cleaning? That's researching, that is cleaning. And I bet Lepos is on some kind of sleep now schedule, right? 
Yeah, I gave them some weird schedule and I can't really remember why. Give them a normal person schedule and tell them to get to bloody work. There we go, we're gonna clean up. Our little clean sweepy bot can't do it alone. They also work quite a bit slower because the, I don't have the buffs on Sia. Normally you want to have six of these sublinks, but I only have one. You need Diabolus' control chip for that, I believe. Maybe one more lifter could be useful for that. I don't really have the time to just go and gestate a lifter just for this. We'll get this done on the backs of human labor. And then once all is said and done, we can start fixing up our base good and proper. Oh no! No! Nikos! Oh man. Okay, so Nikos was too unhappy despite being incredibly happy, and because of that, they're gonna leave. Oh man, there's no counter on that, though. Okay, so we failed that mission. Ah, oh, that stings a lot. No 600 Plasteel, no Architect Eye, no Infinite Chem Reactor, no Reinforced Barrel, and now all my guests are just gonna leave. Ah. Uh, damn. Damn, damn, double damn. It's a shame because the the quest, some of the quests, they tell you the uh, the average guest happiness. This one, I guess, it tracks the individual ones. Yeah, game doesn't care. Oh well, that that blows. Well, at least it simplifies matters. Now, if I just get my, um, I need my fuel operational or my power operational. I really want this stuff sorted. Out. Pandy, what are you doing right now? You're building the geothermal. That's actually quite good, because I do need that. Why is this thing not on hold open? I think I closed it at some point for some reason. But yeah, if we get the geothermal stuff operational, that should help us out. Oh man, Teostopus, why? We were so good together. Once this is clean, it'll be easier for me to tell where I actually need to um, need to rebuild my furniture. Right now, it's such a mess; it's hard to tell. Sorry, one of our group of ten refugees is peeved. We're all leaving. Bye. Yeah. Well, it's part of the challenge is keeping them happy. But man, I, I looked after them for like fifteen of their seventeen days. Yeah, seventeen days. Ah, that stings a lot. Maybe there was nothing I could have done because I I pretty much immediately. Gave them food, sent them to bed, dosed them up on flake, and then... Yeah, it was close, though. Maybe if I'd been a bit tighter. Alright, Pandy, what are you building? I put Pandy on wake-up, which means he's just faster. There we go. High on wake-up in our six hours. His consciousness is alright. That toxic build-up's going to go away because it's no longer toxicness around here. Yeah, I think you could, you know, work on that and see us working on that. Actually, I would kind of rather... they got a weird way of running around here, but whatever. They're getting work done, which is what I need. Oh, he's smuggler. You've slept enough. Get to work. My base is still a bit fragile, but I'm sure we can handle that. They served their purpose in the mech raids. That they did. The extra firepower was a big help. This is what I need. See this geothermal generator? He's building up in no time. And he's completely healed as well. So boom, up goes the consciousness. The extra manipulation is helping him do this, but more than anything, the high and wake up gives him a huge boost in work speed. So it's all working out quite well. I'm, I've, I'm, I'm a bit sour about the guests leaving though. Ugh. Well, it was a given, right? Bernard's got a lot of hauling to do. I've got a fair few things to rebuild, but I should focus on the important stuff. It's just hard to know what's important. I think I lost a weapons locker. Yeah, pretty sure I had a weapons locker for all my other weapons. I'm going to shove that right back here. This is an opportunity to redesign my base a bit, but I don't think I'll take the opportunity. Oh, I could extend you out here and incorporate at least a route into this. Hmm. 
Thea, what's eating you? Or the lack of eating, probably. In that case, consume yourself a lavish meal. Actually, could you mind, like, roping in sludge? Then you can consume your lavish meal. I think that's the only one of our yaks that uh, escaped during the carnage. How am I still alive? Uh, well, a bit of luck. It's good luck they didn't get toxically built up. But raiders do not target pen animals. That's an important thing to keep in mind. Also, none of you deserve beds. The only ones deserving of beds are our glorious wargs. Right, once you consume that lavish meal, how about you repair poor old bootleg, who's just sitting out there in great pain, as much pain as a robot can be in. That defense out losing a single pawn against three mech clusters, they use razors and so on. Uh, you're probably just saying that because I was critical of chat for not praising me to high heavens, but regardless, thank you. I did my best, and my best was pretty damn good. Don't sleep, Pandy, there's work to be done. A lot of work to be done, and a ton of hauling to be done. Impressively, I think, yeah, our, um... And thank god we saved the fabrication bench and our advanced components. I think I got a lot of chairs to remake. Oh man, my drug labs, those things are expensive. Cost a lot of components. A lot of wooden things went down. Oh, one setting I think I should turn on is... Automatically rebuild destroyed structures within home area. That would have helped me remember what goes where around here. But once all the filth has gone, it'll be a lot easier to tell. Okay, so with the pa uh, the chem fuel things back online, we now produce enough power. Or do we? Still says we're in a negative. No, that's. Fancy might consume, but I think we're actually okay. Yeah, there's the teller. Uh, our nutrient paste dispenser is operational. Why are you slaughtering sludge DT? Oh, I should have got that mod that says don't slaughter the particular animals that I like. Well, Sludge, it might be your time now. No, this is just wrong. Screw you, Auto Slaughter. Stop taking my named animals from me. I will decide who lives and who dies. And it's Yak 10 that dies. Why in the world it doesn't prioritize unnamed over named is beyond me, but... There's a lot of things like that. I really feel like RimWorld should just take a while and go through all the good mods and add them into the game, but I guess the problem there is which mods are good. Who gets to decide that? So, here's a nice thing that I've learnt from the glorious wealth counter, is that steel slag actually has zero value. And there's a lot of them. Uh, steel very much has a value, so what you can do is you can just amass steel slag and smelt it whenever you need it. That way you're not generating extra wealth for no good reason. So perhaps I should not be smelting... where is it? Where's the slag? Oh, this isn't where slag is done. This is where slag is done. Perhaps we should suspend that. Better question is why is Seru slaughtering now out of every job available? Seru is actually pretty high on animals. Yeek. Wait, you're gonna slaughter D Day as well? Oh no, you're milking D Day. Whew. Freaking unhappy guests. Nikos got sick from an infection. Oh. Well, it sounds like not my problem. Smuggler, you see that, um, see that body that's keeping our outer door open? If that could no longer be there, that would be swell. Marshy soil around here. I need to rebuild my outer wall. Is this a door? It's probably a door. Can I have a flat steel door? This door looks like it's being held open. I just want a hastily erected outer wall for now. We can enjoy having a proper wall in due time. 
Just need my colony back on its little feet. Uh -huh. Need research bench, yeah, I know, I remember having a research bench game. Let's get this place cleaned up so that Treble Yard will think that his attacks saved the base. What in the world was here that got destroyed? And how? I guess there was a big explosion, and uh, it was probably a statue, right? I would explain the 25 wood there. Let's give you a couple of not going to explode statues. Give our colonists their beds back, right? So, um, Spudro, you're the one uh, married with Ali. So, Spudro and Ali. Oh, right, the problem is I denied some of these. I need to make a pathway over here that's protected, and I will. This one can go to Pandy. And Pandy is together with Sia, right? No, that's X lover. Yeah. Damn breakups. <laughs> uh, right. Smuggler seems to be making use of that one, which is fine. Sarah gets this one, and I guess I'll give this one over to Spurdo, and I think that's everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I forgot about you and Spurdo, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Who am I missing? Nancy, Trebliard, Andy, Sia, right? Yeah, good enough. I'll get happy from having their own personal bedrooms, if nothing else. Hey, Andy, once you're done with that, you think you could, you know, like, feed Trebliard? He's he's dying there, I think. Slowly but surely it's cleaning up. Alright, Saru, nobody's perfect, least of all you. On the positive side, you have any un unhappy guess anywhere? Yeah, but I was so close to getting them happy. Shumro can take care of the agonizingly lengthy task of repairing things. Look at how slow it is to repair. This barracks is still considered awful because of the sheer amount of filth. But we don't do any cooking in here. Oh, maybe we do. Oh, right. Uh, that's, that's not going to be good for these, is it? No, no, it will not. Please suspend the making of food right now. Ali. Good to see power actually working again. Would like this rebuilt though. If there was any um, any fresh human corpses I would like brought over, but it's hard to tell immediately which are fresh and which are not. But if I just set them all to okay, I think it'll be fine. I'm pretty sure I don't have a place to drag rotting corpses currently. So I'll just allow them all. There's a lot of polling to be done. Metric ton of it. And plenty of slaughter to come with it, because I need to get my friends back. I also need to get my pod launchers back. Oh, there's a lot more than 136 human corpses. Uh, it doesn't show corpse here, but it does show corpse here. There are two, uh, 320 human corpses in the map currently. I'm, oh, yeah. I was so scared that we killed our wargs for some reason. No, no. These are Rochelko wargs getting sliced on and diced. Jake, you need to double lek. You need double crematoriums now. You need to get the wealth bubble in control. And fast. Also, this randy after all. No, I'm not making crematoriums. That's such a waste of time and wealth. I can utilize the wealth of dead bodies. 
or I can leave it for the for nature to take care of. I'm not going to go around and haul haul bodies, which have to be hauled one at a time, and do the work of cremating them for a net gain of absolutely nothing. I would rather stick them in here, butcher them, use their flesh for food and their skin for bedrolls. Right, um, didn't I have two of these before? Yeah, I think this one didn't originally have beer in it, did it? No, it did not, but this one should. Be a critical place for the beer. It's a million wealth. Well, it's not quite a uh, not quite a million, but it's quite a lot. Oh wow! They even took out one of the hoffers. Oh, that's not a priority to take care of. So just a, just a few days of Randy calming down, we should have this under control. I do also want to go and take care of the giant smoke cloud, but I don't think I'll take care of the rain in a jiffy just yet, at least. Oh, oh, here we go. We're going to get our additional power online. We are so close, Pandy. We just need the last of the conduits taken care of, please. Barracks is still considered awful. Hmm. Yes, he's just shredding up those mechs. There's plenty of mechs to be shredded. Now there's a question. Do you think the mechs are worth any wealth? It's not a search bar on this, but hopefully someday there will be. That's an Apocriton corpse there. What if I get rid of buildings? That should make life a bit easier. Two wargs are there, lifters and such. Well, if they are worth it. Ah, here we go. Centipede burner corpses. Okay, so the corpses are worth dosh. So it makes no difference whether we smash them up or not. Is there is there a power conduit set to unallow in that? Uh, it might look like it, but it's actually the granite club underneath it which is set to disallow. Thank you, Saru. Thank you, Saru. There we go. Power is back fully online. And CIU are about to snap. Would you mind not snapping? You got psychic tea and a smoke leaf joint on you. Could you just, like, drink that right now, please? Don't go off on one on me. Means it's hard to keep these people from, uh, from snapping. They've lost their good mood bonus from the pulsar that I put off. That's not helping matters. Dragging all these dead bodies and having such a hideous place is also not helping matters. Alcohol, psychite... Sounds like you need another beer. This is kind of nice to see the area around here to a degree. Still a lot of stuff that needs cleaned up. But we work on that. Uh, so this rain has been going on for 1.8 years. Now that might seem like a long time, but that's because it's a long time. Very long time. Come on, clean sweeper, get cleaning. There's so much more to be cleaned around here. stuff. That's hideous. Deal with it. Bootleg doesn't really have anything to do, so I'm just going to have you self-charge right there. Bunk. If you butcher all these corpses, that would add 40 times more wealth in meat and skin at least. Yeah, but the point is I'm going to send that wealth to my allies. 
I'm going to bring back my pod launchers for one. Although I've got a golden opportunity to migrate those pod launchers now. The question is if I want to, and if I do, then to where? Nowhere really comes to mind. I think I'll keep this. This might be like a general outdoor area that we have, but I feel such decisions feel like so far away. So okay, someday we'll have all this repaired. I think I'll actually get rid of these wooden traps for now. Just save this area for doing more things. Which does mean I'll also cancel you, and then probably migrate you. The thing is, I could use this as an area for constructing my uh, my things on mats, my bed rolls. Also, I forget what this thing was ever meant to contain, but I think it's just a place for weapons, right? Why is this not weapons? Items and apparel, yes. I have no idea how I think had these things set up. I think this is just weapons, and this is this is good weapons. So yes, but don't allow bio coded, and don't have any crap in it. No axe, no breech axe, club. I mean, longsword. There is something you said about good longswords. They can't be better than thrombo horns. Same with the maces. Certainly not the spears. Persona weapons, absolutely. And ranged weapons. Yeah, grenades are good, but not tox grenades. Not the auto pistol bolt action. Not the crummy bows. I don't even care about heavy SMGs. Not my kind of weapon. Keep the incendiary, the LMG. Not that they use smoke launchers either. There we go. So the good weapons are over here, and the not-so-good weapons are over there. Please just punch. Also, how about we allow pretty much everything in the base? Otherwise, it's never going to get cleaned up. Anything else evading me here? Oh, there's that bio-coded Zeus hammer. Oh, there's my charge rifles. Well, I'm glad I made them drop their stuff, although I think Teostopus ran away with my fancy helmet. Thanks for all the content all these years, says Kamiyu. I've been mostly lurking on YouTube. The recent series is especially appreciated. Well, I've been enjoying it a whole lot too. It's kind of consuming my life, actually. But that's fine. Heck, it might even be good. Slept in the cold. Yeah, hopefully we're dealing with the temperatures now. Yeah, the, the power is allowing us to have warm rooms again. What's with the lack of cleaning going on, though, Chumro? Oh, well, yeah, I guess there's a lot of cleaning to be done, isn't there? But this needs to be taken care of, because the barracks is awful. I want people to have a good recreation room and such. What I could do is have everybody be on priority one cleaning. And then we'll see what they do. Just have a burst of cleaning to get this done. Because, yeah, eating this is now not giving the nice boost from, hey, I ate in a great dining room, or I recreated in a great recreation room. The days are behind us, just like the days of this chocolate. Where is it? Oh, yeah. The general storage area is going to get a bit full now, isn't it? I need my... I'll tell you what, this has told me that of all the things, I probably need better storage solutions. So how about we get ourselves some blocks we have lots of? Pretty sure I got more of more of all these things. Got like 900 marble blocks. Right then, that tells me that we're gonna have some marble, very big shelves. The very big ones hold <clears throat> about 25% more. Where was I keeping all this crap anyway? Probably doing something like that. Oh, that's right. We had meal trays here as well, didn't we? As he tries desperately to remember what the layout of his own base was. Um, yeah, I think I think these are fancy meal trays. Those can't be... Well, there's not a lot of non-burnable things I'd like to make it out of. I'll just make it out of steel so it's slightly more durable. 
and they do not need to be quality built. They do need to be the critical place for keeping package survival meals. It's still a big part of my economy. There we go. What about these things though? I swear I had some weird setup for what they held, but that doesn't mean I can remember it. I think this one was for like furniture and stuff. Oh man, this is why I should have had these on auto rebuild, so I'm just gonna forget about everything that went in it. There was some special stuff that I did not want in here. Yeah, notably, I did not want the bed rolls. Although I guess it's not that bad if it goes in there. I'll tell you what, I'll just have these for all that crap. Does it include sculptures? Yes, it does. Alright, that's fine. This miscellaneous stuff can be held in there. How do you enable auto rebuild? It's this little hammer icon down here. Automatic rebuild of things destroyed within home area. So, you know, if this gets destroyed, it won't be auto rebuilt, but anything inside my glorious home region will. So, this, all of these things, should probably include this in home now. I think I took it out because of a fire. So, yeah, this should auto rebuild walls and such. It also decides what people are going to fix. Alright, Saru's so taking a much needed beer, so is Sia. You wanna clean up or something? <laughs> so much cleaning to be done. Uh, sad to say that my kibble and my hay are not lasting very long out there. But it'll be growing season soon, just give it a few days. A few days of us hauling all this stuff away. Especially the components, right? Not getting those components is a big waste. There's a lot of little miscellaneous items that come in raids and they can be a pain to not get. Look at all these fresh warg corpses for the slaughter. I don't want to just click and enable damn near everything, though. There could well be stuff that I do not want to enable. In fact, basically, how about we just say every single bit of steel lying around the map, not the steel walls, not the steel slags, just the steel. There's plenty of it, let's just say it's all allowed. And wow, I swear there was a lot more steel than that not too long ago. Yeah, my corpse is still around. Don't worry, I will give my all to the colony soon enough. The human capital must not be wasted. Expand this zone for now and get these back. But I think they were covered pallets. How much cloth do I have? I got enough, I think. 522. Ah, should be fine for a few of these. Yeah, they can be moved around. I'm just wondering if I should make them out of wood or not. I should make them out of something that's not going to immediately die on me. Glass steel, I bet, would have a bit of oomph to it. Yeah, but then they'd be destroyed and I'd just lose plastic out of everything, wouldn't I? I'll keep them out of wood for now. So you are just preferred places for me to hold wood and nothing else. Heaven help me, I've always got a need for wood. Uh, you might revive Jake. It's an option, but not one I would take. Why would I want Jake on my team? He doesn't really offer much. Look at this guy. He's not particularly good at fighting, he's useless for a lot of tasks, and his passions aren't very good either. If I needed a psychopath, then we could, but we have a psychopath. And on top of that, we don't really need a psychopath so much anymore because we've got a robot, and robots don't have feelings. 
Also, sorry, Teostopus, but you are not getting this anymore. But it does mean that Teostopus is alive and in the world. He might appear again at some point. Who really knows? I'm certain that he, uh, the door wasn't here. I bet it was here. Because now this is all sorts of off. Alright, I want my door over here. And I want to make it out of plasteel. And I want to make some granite very big shelves. Here, here, and here, so I can very quickly load up the drop pods with whatever. Now, well, the barracks is now somewhat impressive. Thank goodness he's not good at cleaning, I don't want him to steal my job. Teostu and his friends left, they were unhappy with the uh, stuff I offered them, which... I had everything working against me there. Huge raids, toxic fallout, we had freaking sensory mechanites hitting them as well for a massive, like, minus 15 or 20 mood, because they, they get a minus 5 from being sick, and a minus 10 to 15 for the pain that they feel. Yeah, the world was against me winning that day. Right, I need my drug labs back. There's an argument to, uh, for not making them out of wood anymore, but I'm still making them out of wood. What was here? Oh, it was my refinery. Uh, I still need a refinery for chem fuel, so as painful as it is, I'm going to rebuild that. I'm going to designate the power back on for you, and I'm going to build more shells. And I'm, I'm really going to start having my shells made out of stuff that doesn't immediately die. So, granite where I can, really. Smuggler is not a happy bunny. A Neuroquake Echo is going to hurt us for a fair bit. And he doesn't like the sheer lack of beauty around here. I guess I had a bunch of uh, statues once. Many of them died. Let's bring back some of these statues then. Were there more here? Did they get destroyed? Oh, my TV got destroyed! Oh, man, that stings. I thought I had a jade sculpture around here. I mean, I got you, don't I? Shove another one over here-ish. There we go. I can't believe someone said it's time to leave the base. Absolutely not. Is there anything else that I removed the power from that really could do with it? There we go, the beauty is going up as we get rid of this disgusting mess. Don't forget to rebuild the fire foam poppers. You should probably make a few more of them. Yeah, now, now that I know about how they work. Uh, no, not IEDs. Fire foam popper. What a mess they make, though. But yes. Uh, I'll have one here. I'll have one next to all of my expensive stuff as well. I had one over here as well. I guess I'll have one over there. <clears throat> and probably over here to protect this stuff. And maybe over here as well. And absolutely, let's not neglect this region. It's got a lot of my stuff in it, and I like my stuff. Oh, my drugs. I should really protect my drugs. There we go. With that, the place should be relatively fine. I'm gonna need more skips out here. A lot of mine went bye-bye. Eating through my steel as well, which isn't amazing, but what's the man to do? We have ways of getting more steel, thankfully, thanks to Seru and our deep drill. Get off Seru, just just relax. Quit going off the deep end all the time. <clears throat> well, not too bad, actually. I mean, how long's it been? 24 hours? Did we miss Christmas? I think we did miss Christmas. Did we? 
It doesn't say something about available um, available celebration, but I'm pretty sure it's Christmas. Maybe we could cheer everybody up by enjoying a nice Christmas tree. I'll be able to turn down the construction a fair bit soon. Oh, I absolutely need my comms console back. Ooh, it's not really my base without a comms console. Oh, that, yeah, that's right. One of these was actually specifically meant to be for chocolate. Such a... Such a nice word, chocolate. There's a yayo just lying around. Did I lose one of my drug... I think I had a couple of drug trays around here that went bye-bye. Much like my television. Yeah, because I like to keep them in these wee cloth hampers. They appear to be gone, so... Do a mass lot of smoke leaf. Where am I going to keep my... Uh, where am I going to keep my important drugs? Maybe I shouldn't be keeping them cloth hampers. Those things are very flammable. I could just put them in more of these nice marble big shelves. I'm pretty sure you can handle drugs, right? Yeah, of course you can. Well, lacking many options for now, I will probably just shove you here and here. And then you will be for... I don't tend to stock a lot of it, so you take the yayo and the... Go juice. Um, juice. And I don't think I need any other stuff here. Also, uh, yeah, I'm losing, losing a bit of my layout here. Let's make sure that our... Energy structure is still working. Okay, wrapped on over here. But what didn't? Soon, soon we'll be able to bring back, well, bring back, finish our solar panels. Yeah, the brewery is missing. It's kind of over here at some point. And there's Zit setting fire to my steel door. It's our expert is on the case. Oh, right, yeah, the hay. I ever mentioned that I don't like the zit event, and that's why I don't use batteries. I think I will somewhat be forced to use batteries in due time, but oof. It's like the worst place I could have gotten zit. I think we had a brewery somewhere around here. I forget the actual layout. Wasn't there something else here, though? I feel like I'm missing, like I had some kind of compact design thing going on here. Well, heavens knows. I'll shove the, I'll shove this here. Let's have a nice seat going. I want this seat to be at least excellent. I want all my seats to be at least excellent. I think I missed. So it works fine. Good is not fine enough, but I'm sure we'll get there. Additional fire foam popper, and I want to keep my hops and my wart around here. Sounds like a job for a little itty bitty shelf. Storage, small shelf, marble small shelf, blip, blip. Oh god, all of my, um, all of my places for storing the booze went. Okay, well, all in due time for now. Here a place for wart, and it's spelled with an O, right? Yeah. And here a place for hippity hops. Also missing my art bench. Might be in need of more art soon enough. There was something else over here. Stone cutter. What was here then? Really, someone remembers. Since I don't do that much research, I really only need one now. One research bench. If I have other brainiacs, I can have them go and scan instead. Speaking of which, let's actually put some power back on, because we have plenty of over power production. Bernard's given up lifting for a wee while. I know the butcher table... Oh yeah, yeah, the butcher table was here. 
the butcher table is now here, which is probably where it should live. It's got a meat hook next to it now. Mm-hmm. I need some fermenting barrels anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's almost like it's making some kind of pattern for trying to. Alright, there we go. So, I guess on the plus side, nobody got addicted to drugs during all that. We needed to wipe out the drugs to see us through that. Which is, in my opinion, a very good thing to do in this game. Sometimes you're put into a pretty bad situation, and the best thing you can do is just tell everybody to enjoy their drugs. Mech shredding. Is this a place that carries mechs, by the way? Yeah, I think I just throw down uh, additional corpses there. Otherwise, old Nancy Drew can get to work shredding. You can barely see my big wooden shelf over there. Okay, so a lot of bad things happen, but now now things are looking a whole lot better. It won't be freezing outside for much longer, so this is really the time when I want to be grabbing all of the non-desiccated corpses. Also, there's another thing. See, every component, every last one of them should be allowed. I don't really need to allow all of these mechs quite so soon. So, so here. Okay, there we go. This should not be held open. Hopefully someone walks through it at some point. I put it LMG is still worth some goodies. Let's just allow all this crap so it gets out of the way. Is this a door or just a missing bit of wall? I feel like at some point it would have been a wall. Uh, a door, rather. Let's get a door there. I want to seal it off so that at least, if nothing else, rampaging animals won't make their way inside. I want calling to be done. These poor bastards. Yeah, see all these guys that we blew up, they've desiccated. It was freezing cold, so they would have been kept fresh, but it was the toxic smog. By the way, have any trees started to appear yet? No! Oh wait, there's an anima tree! How long have you been there? You must be toxic immune then. Thank goodness, uh, because the anima tree, when it dies, it sends out a psychic shriek and makes everyone unhappy. And I hate that. I hate that so much. I thought I had a second toolkit around here. Toolkit does stack to two, after all. That's why it's called the toolkit. Okay, we'll shove another one over here regardless, though. Northern bedroom, door open. Oh, north of the... yeah, someone went through and uh, closed it now, though, thankfully. Much to build. Steel reserves largely gone. Still says I have 900 or so. I guess that's being kept over here. Yeah. I might have to forego the plast steel in favor of grabbing regular steel, which means erecting a little place over here for just that. Yeah, ground penetrating scan of man. That is a big chunky load of steel, isn't it? Right. First things first. Let's mark where all that steel is, and then build around it. Fortunately, the ground is solid there. I'm not going to build a steel wall around it. A good old wooden wall will do. Do we care about keeping it lit or warm or anything? Nah, that's alright. Ali can handle it. Besides, it'll be the warm season soon. So yeah, I will forego the steel for now. And grab this delightful regular steel. 
And given the situation, I could move the plasteel door over here and just have this be regular plasteel wall. And there we go, you can get to work in there. On top of that, I can shove a couple of crappy sculptures over there. I mean, sure, they don't look... Actually, Beauty 50? That's pathetic. I should just sell these things. Do I have any that are not that crappy? See, it's normal and good one. Normal and good. There you go. Give you something to enjoy looking at. On top of that, I'm going to add it to the home area. I'll remove it from the home area when all is done. I'll also add it to the cleaning area. That way it can be kept clean. And since I never automatically build roofs, you will get a roof. There you go. The War Queen alone had like 500 steel, if I recall correctly. And we're not hauling her off yet, are we? Ooh, power focus chip. I want that. I don't really care about the urchins. Hey, and a lot of these uh, bodies are fresh. Let's try and grab them if we can. Same for the dead warg bodies. Ooh, non-bio-coded minigun. I want that. EMP launcher. I certainly want that. Package survival meal is good. So much hauling. God, I need more haulers. When I get my second waste pack atomizer, I'm probably going to build uh, two or three more haulers. I've only got bandwidth for a limit of six, though, so I guess two more haulers. I don't need another fabricator and... Whilst I would like another cleaner, it's not a huge deal. Uh, which reminds me, I can take people off of cleaning now. Speaking of this, I could probably just build you now, can't I? It says it's not stored, but I see it right there. You want to start working on that? Grab that, uh, grab that chip, see ya. I'd rather hold the steel, and it is steel heavy. It's also power heavy. How you feeling, Trebs? He misses his toe, but otherwise he's fine. Yeah, this repair work ended up being a lot more steel heavy than I thought, and I still haven't rebuilt my moisture pumps. I guess in the end... Oh, right, this this is a place for slag. What was this a place for? Was it also a place for slag? Because all the apparel and st Oh, well, maybe it was a place for apparel, right? So, what did I want here? I'm pretty sure it was... Apparel that is not clean... And specifically, I wanted to have flak, helmet, jacket, pants, and vest. Unclean flak gets thrown into there and smelted down. So I get, um, I get steel cloth back for it. On top of that, bootleg, I want you activated. Because you will start doing shredding and smelting work, which is now a thing. Shred your own kind. The anima scale, uh, tree scales pretty nicely with colony size. Meditating also helps with recreation. You can safely ignore the do not build around tree, since the mouse is pretty negligible. Yeah, the, the do not build around tree area is just far too huge. Look at the size of that. Like, don't build here. No, I rather think I will. I think this needs to be kept free, though, so that the anima grass can grow. But yeah, more people, more meditating, more grass, more psychic powers. But I'm no hippie. We're not going down that route. Really glad I built up two different charging areas now. We can have a reasonable amount of corpse disposal to do. Why is Saru so unhappy all the time anyway? Surely you've got plenty to be happy about. When do you plan to attack the first base? Well, given how poorly I was able to defend my own base, it's probably going to be a wee bit away. You ever done a hippie vegan playthrough? No. Doesn't really appeal to me. 
Right, this time they will give us a shuffle, but the prizes aren't great and my need for any of those things is minimal, so I will ignore that for now. I do, on the other hand, plan on taking out this, the smoke spewer. Possible unknown threat. Well, I'm going to wait for Trebliard to be better. He's much better at dealing with unknown threats with his psychic powers. So I was going to Panda use the rifle. A oh, rifle, uh, I thought he was more of a chain shotgun person, but I guess with good shooting like his, he should be using our better weapons. Oh, man. I guess Smuggler shouldn't be on the uh, construction so hard right now. Leave it to the professionals. The bulk of the construction work is done after all. Yeah, get that hauling done. The hauling is needed. Time to consider some auto turrets. I don't like using turrets. They really, really don't do much, especially against such a large amount of, uh, of enemies. I'd need to really mass them up, and even then, they just become a pain. It's like a huge resource sink, and I really don't think they do much. Because with so many attackers, all they need to do is just get through. They take a few shots, but they get close enough and start destroying them. When your raids get that big, you need counters to large raids. Big explosions, big side casts, artillery, doomsday rocket launchers, things like that. Auto turrets? No. They're, they're, they're not going to cut the mustard. Rocket swarms I am thinking about, though. I'd like to give that a go. Just, if nothing else, see how they operate. There we go. See, smelting goods takes an Aeon, but that's exactly what the likes of Bootleg are for. When it becomes applicable, how about we get our extra lifters the times two? Now oh, you're exhausted, aren't you, Sia? But uh, please do finish that. Unless Pandy wants to take over. That resting on clouds of heaven. Oh, isn't that sweet? But it is wrong. Also, yeah, yeah. Can't we, can't we begin Christmas yet? I think everybody needs a bit of a mood boost right now. So let's... Let's do it. Let's celebrate Christmas. Everybody quit what you're doing. We may have made some guests unhappy, and Trebliard might be out for the count, but we defended our home, and that is certainly worth praising Santa Claus for. We even kept most of our animals alive. The, uh, the Neuroquake only led to the death of one of them. Christmas, where the snow foxes? Yeah, Isis couldn't make it for this one. I really need to get stuff cleaned up here in the next few days because it's going to be sewing season soon, and sewing season is very hefty on our uh, on our labor. What are you, what are you uh, people drifting away? There's Christmas to be celebrated. What are you doing? I guess I should have cleared your prioritized work so you can continue to attend Christmas. The happy new year. Oh, come on. A boring Christmas. I wish I could have let you try to leave. I'm glad my telescope survived. Something that struck me as kind of weird about telescopes is that they have almost no value. At least, I'm pretty sure they almost had no value. Oh, right, it's not showing buildings here. Rid of anything that isn't the uh, the building stuff. There we go. See, look at that. Despite the high value, they only clock in at a uh, dollar each. Same with the unstable uh, unstable power cells. 
The horseshoe pin is worth a lot more than all of them put together. Randy, what are you giving me? It's not a raid, so I can't complain. It's a load of raw fungus. Uh, not really in the market for that, thanks. I can steal that crashed su uh, shuttle. It's a shame, I was hoping to use the good Christmas experience to offset the malice from butchering corpses, which is what we're about to do. Just isn't an interesting Christmas unless Nancy is mauled by rabid snuff. I don't think I've ever had a bad Christmas in my life, so I don't know what they're talking about. I certainly had a bad birthday in my life, but Christmas? Nah, Christmas is always a good time. Oh, for the love of God. Randy, I was just asking for a few days of you not doing this. And you just put it right back. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I have to wake them up. Okay, no, it doesn't initiate except for... Uh, it, it doesn't initiate for another 87 days. So as long as we don't wake them up, we should be okay. Wow. Oh, no. Whoa! Six unstable power cells! Hmm. Well, that's not bad, actually. If I can take the power cells, of course. And that means that I don't really want to mess with these mechs, so... We're gonna put everyone on a void mech again. Just don't walk into them, okay? Everything else is fine. But yeah, Randy's loving his mech clusters. Yeah, thank goodness this thing's not initiating immediately. If it was, I'd have to rush out and fight this thing. Which you might notice I'm not in a great space to do so. Oh, they make more centipede blasters. The most dangerous kind of centipede. And they have some extra mechs waiting to pop out. This sounds like something to deal with any raid that attacks me from the south in the next several days. Have we, we have retained the alliance, but I need to work on it some more. Gemma, there's a lot of cleaning for you to do soon. Real soon. I really want to put that poor one over there. It doesn't seem, doesn't seem worth it, does it? With a lot of items not being placed right now. That's a lot of unstable power cells. Those are so good. Each one is 40% of a vanimetric power cell, and those things are insanely good. Andy, would it kill you to wake up and get to work? Right, I do need to process bodies soon so that I can start sending out gifts. Christmas, late Christmas gifts. The axe eating through all the food is also a growing concern. Smuggler, for one, is going to be really unhappy at doing all this butchering, I think. The Neuroquick Echo and the shuttle that I ignored is going to remain a problem, and... Eh, otherwise we should be okay. Besides, what's Bootleg doing right now, anyway? There's Bernard, there's Chumro. Bootleg's uh, a little low on power, actually. Probably wouldn't be too happy being told to slice corpses up for too long. Listen, Bernard, you're fine. You, on the other hand... Uh, could you go and like, recharge right now? Then once you are recharged, you're gonna slice up these corpses for me. So I really am a little on the edge about keeping my friendships.
Have I re-encircled the base? No, because that fast steel wall isn't built yet. Still wants to sleep. I guess it's not night time enough for Pandy. Or maybe he's just feeling some after effects from the big buzz of the wake up I forced him to take. I suppose there's still a lot of big heavy work to be done. Building things out of granite takes a ton of work. Did I lose a lot of light around here? I feel like there's an extra light that went down around here. It's very hard to visualize where is light and where is dark inside a room. It's very dark around here, isn't it? Yes, we could solve that by throwing a light over here. Maybe having another source of light somewhere like there. Yeah, but it's mostly lit. Eh. I like the wall lights, actually. Shove another one over there. Hello, feet. Boom. Well, Tribute Collector is approaching. Is that so? Is that so siddly so? Might be something I want to do with you. Kind of a shame Trebliard is down for the count. He's the one I want to get a load of power out of. here. Quite a lot of options, actually. Oh, hey, smuggler. Off you go. So, you're the royal tribute collector, and all you're wearing is cloth tribal wear in minus nine, so you're probably want going to want to go real soon. Nancy, normally I keep you with a low shield pack, and we won't have an exception here, and you're going to ditch the grenades in favor of a chain shotgun. Otherwise, weren't we meant to get your ceremony done, now that I think about it? You're an acolyte now. I wanted to bring you up to Praetor. means I need you up a wee bit. And I also wanted Pandy way up. I wanted Trebliard maxed out, but obviously he's down for the count. There we go. I do not like seeing things flicker on and off. Is that telling me that my power is insufficient? No, my power is fine. Which you're complaining. Oh, tell you what I'm really lacking are my shock lances. I'm glad they survived. You can tell... The shock lances took some explosive damage, but we're all right. All right, Nancy, Pandy, Sia, I want all of you out here right now. Maybe even you, Saru, as well. There's work to be done. So you remember all that gold I was amassing? <sighs> Time to put it to work. One of the things that makes this trip a little awkward is that you don't know when these guys are going to arrive. But they're here. They're here right now. These uh, mechs make things muckle awkward because I could use them for this, but I might not want to. Right, 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 right. So... Here's the big trick. Well, it might not work, by the way. There's, there's a lot riding on this because I'm so fragile. If we trade with the Royal Tribute Collector, you can trade your gold for um, uh, honor. It's not at a great rate. It's something like 67? Yeah, 67 for one honor. A bit rough, but 
uh, unlike slaves, you can certainly rack up a lot of gold. So the question is, how much honor does Nancy want? She is an acolyte with two, and I would like her to be a praetor with as much as I can. So I would like to get her 18 and 12. So I would actually like 30 for Nancy, if you could please. There we go, we'll try to squeeze out as much as we can as well. 2,000 for 30. Yeah, I guess that would be fine. ka -ching. So, uh, wait, Baroness. I think I pushed it too high. Maybe I didn't count properly. I evidently didn't. That brings her all the way up to Baroness, which I did not want her to be at. But oh well, whatever. Uh, Pandy, you may as well just take the rest. How much more can we get out of you? Alright. I guess grabbing the 11 there is fine. And now Pandy can become an acolyte. But the problem is, I don't really want to give away all that gold. But the good thing is that the big cheese here is the one with all the gold. It's also incapable of violent. That's interesting. So what I can do is, oh, it would be even better if you came in here. I don't want to risk getting blown apart by the, uh, by the mechs. You are coming in here, right. So, I'm going to take... Hmm, what's going to do the most damage here? Charge rifle does 15 damage per shot, but the chain shotgun does 18. Wish I had a better chain shotgun. But anyway, point is, if we just very gingerly shoot our friend here... There we go. So every time I shoot them, they aren't going to like that. But the goal is just to bring this guy down. Not kill him. Killing him would be very, very bad. So good. He's been injured in the leg quite a bit. His bionic leg at that. Gotta be careful though. I can't afford many more shots on this guy. So now that he is uh, injured... Is he trying to patch himself up a bit? I think he is. There's a good chance these guys are going to turn on me when I do this. And there are a lot of them and not a lot of me. Let's try and move over here a bit. I can only really afford one more shot on this guy. Yeah, I'm giving him extra tribute by way of bullet. Just one shot. Oh god, next shot's going to make them um, hostile. I was hoping he would have gone down by now. And he's good at medical, so he can fix up his uh, his injuries. So yeah, the next shot's going to make these guys go uh, go hostile. Not really in the business of beating all these people, because there's quite a few of them, and not loads of us. Mm -hmm. If I had my mech abilities out of Trebliard, then things could go a little better. Why not use a lance? Lance causes instant uh, aggression. Whereas, you know, if I'd shot him enough in the legs or given him enough pain, then he would have gone down. And he's, he's not even that close. Well, is he? He's not that close to going down. Trouble is, I do not want these people um, suddenly fighting me, but I can't let him leave. He's got all my gold. How about uh, you, Blubbery Abyss? You stay inside the cleaning zone, and maybe not around here. Yeah, not having Trebliard is making this more awkward, because Trebliard could just make him berserk. And that would cause a lump sum of, I think, like 90 penalty to relations, but that's easy to take care of with this. Um, mm, 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 mm. Again, I, I want that guy down and out, but uh, the rest of them would certainly go hostile towards me. Mech cluster time. Yeah, the mech cluster could deal with this, but then then I would suddenly have a very, very threatening mech cluster right here. And I, I don't want to deal with that. Although these guys would do... No, these guys get shot to shreds by the mech cluster, no question about it. It's a difficult, uh, difficult situation. I might just bring everybody in, but I worry that any shots around here are going to wake these guys up as well. Hmm. 
could shock some of them down. Do I have any additional shock lances hanging around? No, I didn't bring any. I hate the idea of using up my shock lances so willy nilly. You've got a shock lance, you do not. Ali, could you grab, please, a shock lance? Just equip and then come out. Spurdo, you just come out. Smuggler, you also have a shock lance, it's fine. Another cunning plan. I might get a little too cunning for my own liking. His moving isn't even that hit. The bionic leg isn't helping things, sadly. I don't want to use my... Uh, my thing either. I could use my mountain of traps, on the other hand, though. See all these traps here. If they come for me... That could, that could actually work. So if they do come here, they're going to eat all my traps, and then... That works to my advantage. But Tomopus must go down, that's the, that's the critical part. Hmm. Do they take gifts other than the gold? I'm pretty sure they just take gold. Yeah, I could just shock you down and then run away. That. Run, 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 and hopefully they'll just bugger off. Alright, this is going to make them hostile, but whatever. Don't. Now get away a bit. Alright, looks like they're not uh, coming for me, which is nice. Does mean they could take a bit of the fight to them and down some of them. That's if that's how it's going. Let, let's not trust that they are truly fleeing. Could be that some of them are coming for us here. No, I think they've decided to just get up and leave. Kind of a shame I could have taken some of them, but uh, yeah. The important thing is to get my gold back, right? The whole trick is about this. You give them the gold, you get the honor, but you get the gold back. And then you keep amassing more and more gold, and then you're going to get more and more, uh, more and more honor. Granted, this didn't look impressive in any way, shape, or form because I, uh, do I have a prison to throw you in right now? By the way, the smuggler would stop taking that room. Then I could assign this one as my wee prison. I can throw Tomopus in there. There we go, that works. Seems like you're doing well, given that I'm still alive. Yeah, well, I just fought really well. And you were part of that. Right. Oh, yeah, if, if Trebliard was alive, that could have looked so, more, uh, so much better. Because what I could have done is, say, made an animal berserk, and then warped the animal over to the, uh, the collector, and then they beat up the collector, and that's a no downside for me. Alternatively, if I had managed to down them with a shotgun, it would have worked out fine, but eh, I'll get them back to neutral, no problem. Although I might push for an alliance by giving them enough granny bedrolls. It just, there were a lot of things making that a little more delicate than I wanted it to be. Oh, hey, if we want more clusters, that's an option. But this one has an auto, uh, an auto mortar, so even if there's a masterwork chain gun on offer, I don't particularly think I want to take it. What am I going to see to our friend here? He's very cold. Oh yeah, Trebliard is normally the one to look after people. But uh, once you haul that over, please tend to Tomopus. Our kind friend Tomopus. And once Bootleg has a bit more energy, Bootleg is going to start the uh, the big the big slice up of our human corpse friends. Perhaps I shouldn't grab human corpses that are right in this mech cluster. But are there many other fresh corpses to be had? 
Rotting, rotting, rotting. Ah, some fresh. But this should be enough to keep us going for a wee bit. What I should more be worried about are my poor yaks, but I can I can give them meals. To that effect, I could always shove another wood meal tray over here in case I need to give them said meals. You're important for nothing, but I'll get you built in due time. Does the rain have negative effects? It makes people slower, and it makes people unhappy because they get wet in the rain. It doesn't last very long, and it's not very high. Big thing that I like about the rain is that it stops all of the uh, the fires from spreading. And given that I do a lot of crop growing out here, I'd very much like to not have a load of uh, a load of fire. And this pansy's still building a bunch of stuff, which is fine, good even perhaps. I kind of need to solidify my friendships, so even though it's going to come at a cost for my my team, let's re uh, let's rebuild the butcher table over there, and let's butcher humans once more. Of course, only the mech will do that, and that specific mech is bootleg. Hey Bernard, wish I could tell my mechs exactly what to do, but if you wanted that, I guess you'd use humans. Just stating right now, Sia. Surely you should be taking care of that. Oh, perhaps the problem is that we don't have a core for them, do we? No, we need a subcore encoder. A couple more basic subcores, please. And these should, of course, contain bedrolls. We will be making soon. Uh, Trebs is no longer the butcher. If he butchers, then Nancy is going to have a few words with him, and I don't want them to have words. I want happiness in my colony. That, that echo is really hurting, but the power of beer should keep our people okay. I really need a bunch more lifters. It's half of what my people are doing right now, just lifting. There we go, see us installing that. One and just like that. I'm wondering if I can keep this open now. It's kind of wasting a bunch of time moving around and it doesn't really serve any purpose anymore now that we don't keep animals there. This I still want closed because it keeps this uh, keeps this place cold. Point is, I need you to get to work. Yeah, shred mechanoids if you must, but I'd rather you got to got to the cooking. Does that auto mortar start mortaring when it wakes up? As in, if there was a shot fired at these things, would this auto mortar also initiate? Either way, I think the auto mortar needs to go down first. But maybe I get lucky and a raid takes care of this for me. If it didn't have the mortar, there'd really be no problem here because none of this stuff automatically wakes up. Just the freaking mortar. But that's eight days. Lots of horrible things can happen in eight days. Oh, does this thing not built? Please just get it erected do not like having uh, all these open parts of my base. Also, the thought occurs that I do need a door around here as well. Jinx, look at all that. Uh, slag. Maybe I should unsuspend that. Because we're a touch low on steel now. Let's 
so you know what, I'm going to halt, uh, stop the whole shred, and the shred mechanoid should be done by any human. And perhaps the slagging should also just be done by any human right now. And then bootleg will probably figure out that it's butcher o'clock. Butcher creature, butcher humans, any mech? Plenty of humans for, uh, for destroy. Oh, it's not, right, right, that's not cleaning area, is it? As long as you're on the stay inside area then, then you can get to work. Right, so this will make our people unhappy for a good while as usual, but it's going to give me all of the goodies that I need to get my friendship back. And with that, I'm going to have a, uh, a lovely event to upgrade both Nancy and Pandy. I'm not really interested in their psychic powers, I'm interested in their permits. Because if things hit the fan right now, I need the backup of some extra troopers and such. I mean, right now... I can't do anything, because the Empire is hostile, but a few bedrolls will change their mind, of that I'm certain. Maybe I should also have one of these contain human leather. So yeah, bedrolls are good, but so is... human leather. They can all have a mix of the two. Man, Trebs is just ecstatic there. <laughs> what a way to go down, right? You're defending your colony, you just got married, you feel really good about it. You're left in a really comfy bed as well. It's a good thing the rockets weren't being shot around here, though otherwise there'd be no Trebs left. Why are the atomizers not working? You ask uh, an interesting question. Why are they not working? Because no one's hauling the stuff. I guess I don't have people set on haul right now. They're all busy doing anything else. Pandy, once you've done eating that, haul that and haul that. Just get them demolishing our waste packs, please. He's on the case. I'll make this important and this critical, and then hopefully we'll, uh, we'll generally do away with all the garbage here. So they can each hold 10, so they're actually really good at condensing all this stuff down. No, 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 do that one as well now. Yep, it's his second honeymoon. Trebliart needs a break. So he we went, uh, went at it first time he got married. Well, now there's a thought. Our mechs in general can all be inside the stay inside area rather than strictly cleaning. Oh, well, except for, of course, the clean sweeper who should, of course, just be on cleaning area, since that's what we use for cleaning. get a chance. I want all of these walls replaced with significantly better walls. That wood was just for plugging a gap. The gap is now plugged. Which means, you know, repairing that wooden wall is not the best thing you could be doing right now. You could, you know, get rid of it. Oh, now you'll repair the transport pods, which also don't need to repair. Why is repair a higher deal for you than construction? I don't think there's any way to force that kind of thing for your uh, your mechs, though, sadly. Okay. It's a lot of butchering for uh, bootleg to do. But unlike everybody else, they will constantly butcher until they run out of energy. I hope they have enough energy to get it all done, though. I would hate for them to... I'd hate for them to have to take a break during it. Oh, Trebliard's back up! That was sooner than I thought. I thought it need I thought you needed a full five days, but not this guy. Oh, he's no nonsense. He's probably asking where is my LTEC staff? And the answer is, I don't think you had an excellent one before. And now you do. 
Go and uh, equip that. There we go, what a man's... Oh, maybe he did. I recall him being 144. Anyway, he can get his side focus back and continue to be useful to me. Ah, oh, well, this is good. Back up to 8. I would like to have 8. I'm not going to feel any restrictions on my number of pawns on this one. But from now on, I'm really only interested in combat specializing pawns. So I'm on the lookout for tough melee people or trigger-happy uh, shooting people. I'm certainly not on the lookout for quick sh uh, for careful shooting. That's too slow in my opinion. Why did I bring Tomopus in again? Probably just wanted to give him back at some point. But I probably also want that bionic leg of his. So let's uh, remove that leg. Thea, you're pretty damn good at uh, at operations. Let's use good medicine so that we actually get this done well. Watching you fight those back-to-back -back raids the other day was impressive, but it's even more interesting watching you recover. Well played, sir. Yeah, there's the thing. It's one thing to win, but you have to win with a view to continuing. Those yaks are going to be back on meals soon. And unfortunately, with the mechs currently in the way, I can't really sow more seeds, can I? Well, if I'm going to get in anything first, I want my... I want my Devil Strand up first. That stuff takes forever to grow, after all. And once Trebliard gets his side focus back, I'm getting rid of that giant smoke cloud. And then, whilst it might still be foggy and rainy, at least it won't be uh, so dark. We didn't grab the power focus chip. I want that. Sorry, do you think you could, you know, haul that instead, please? That thing's gonna go off, you know. Right, but that's these are not important, these are pretty cool. I <laughs> still have a human leather bed roll sitting around here. Interestingly, it doesn't have its value reduced for the damage. Hmm. I think that was changed to, re to remove the exploit where you just purposely damage your own stuff to reduce wealth. Sorry right, though, soon we will have the human bits and bobs we need to get the bedroll economy operational. And if there's any slag around here, all of that should be hauled over here. Weird. Why in the world would you haul stuff over for that? What I should probably do is say that I have a specific area. Called human harvesting. And human harvesting is just here. And here, so you can also clean up. And then what I do is I say you are only allowed to be in the human harvesting area, and then uh, why would you go there when there are humans to harvest? What are you up to, bootleg? There we go, now you're going butchering. I guess they have a thing where their first priority is to get out of disallowed zones, and he thought that was faster. I like it, Dark Cesare, that you do. But uh, you are one of a member of uh, eight colonists, so we got to go with the bulk here. Well, shoot frenzy, shoot frenzy, go frenzy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> using the go frenzy to good use, I see. Excellent. And your bedroom just got even better. I wonder why the wood isn't being stored here. I guess it's just a, a hauling job that needs to be taken care of, and it will, I'm sure. The, uh, uh, we, we don't really need components right now. What we need is you. Yep, yeah, there we are. Making a basic subcore. This place, I'm pretty sure, keeps the chips.
And you need a component or two, right? Yeah. Well, this is nice and warm in the base. Everything's been taken care of. Slowly working our way through all those human corpses. The bootleg basically has three days to process them all, then bootleg's going to need to recharge. Well, I dare to say the whole place is looking pretty good. Except, you know, this threat right on my border. Ah, there's another problem. Seru could be mining out the steel, but there's no power brought over there. Let's change that. Also, one, only one of our big shelves survived. The one that's meant to take all the tainted stuff. It's fine, though, because it's an easy way to move out all this tainted crap. At least I think it's an easy way to take it all out. And then... Forbid all of those, and Mother Nature will take care of them. Fill up dangerously with the human leather here, though. That's alright, there's hauling to be done. I just kind of wish I had my temporary guys back again. If nothing else, they could aid with basic hauling. How's our wealth looking? And uh, still pretty high, but I don't think it's reasonably going to get any lower from now on. Except as the corpses out here melt away to nothing. I don't think you get anything from shredding a Zeus hammer or smelting it down. I'm not sure which it actually uh, which it actually takes. These are all just set to take stone blocks, but yeah, as I said, there's just lots and lots of hauling work to be done. And it'll get done. Hospitality? <laughs> Here's some outliners that will not work. Then I'm not really sure I want them. The League of E10 will be pleased. Oh, yeah, well, there's your darkness. Enter the eclipse. I swear it got brighter when that eclipse came. Uh, this is not really what I'm looking for, so I'll probably ignore that. Remember, there's nothing forcing you to take any particular quest, so don't feel beholden to it. I certainly try not to. Oh yeah, wasn't this also meant to hold... Maybe this one shouldn't hold slag at all. And it flutters things up when I do. But what you can do is have... Tainted armors, because we're going to have some of those coming out. Smuggler, something to do. <laughs> Wait, what's this guy doing here? He's fresh, but he won't be fresh forever. Oh, Ali's on the case. Come on, where are all the where are all the plants? I guess it's winter time, which is stopping them from growing. Holy smokes! All these all these slag chunks from our friends that mech dropped in. That triple mech drop with Apocriton was... Oof. Well, the whole situation was grim, but we pulled through. It's almost growing season. Almost. Yeah, human parts are really starting to pick up here. Would you mind hauling a bunch of this, please, Spirito? human meat and stuff is kept nice and cold, but I wonder, maybe there's just not enough space around here for more human meat. Almost as if we have way too much of this stuff. Well, I mean, I could just leave it in here. It wouldn't be the world's worst thing.
Ah, Tomopus, I took your leg off, didn't I? Um, right, now that I have some, I'm going to make some human leather bedrolls and get back on the good side of the empire. That's kind of important right now. So we are going to make some human leather bedrolls. Oh man, our mortar went down, didn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's eight hundred and fifty. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's about sixteen hundred or so. A little bit more, but that's okay. And it's very quick to take the human leather from over here. It's unfortunately dark out there, but we can't take care of everything, can we? The answer is no. No, we cannot. How about an indoor growing zone? Uh, I would like hydroponics, and I would probably set them up here. But we're not doing that just yet. Oh, hey! You've completed your job! Sweet! Then I can actually just deconstruct all of this. You appear to have also completed your job. Nice. You as well? Be impressed they got everything done. There's still still odds and ends that have not been suctioned away. Looks like you're done as well. And you've been going for way too long. There's still a lot more that I want to get rid of, but all in due time. Have you finished? No, surely not. But you have! Oh, you never would have imagined the years would have passed already. It takes a lot of work to make your ground buildable. That, that's why I don't do more elaborate uh, walling here. Not that I wouldn't do... Uh, not that I do killboxing, but... Lots... Of, any Anything you see here which is green, yellow, or red can only be built on with wooden walls and bridges which are very flammable and very flimsy. And what I'm hoping for is an outer plasteel perimeter so it's not going to idly get destroyed to crossfire. I mean, like these plasteel walls, they hold. I'll even more put one there. And also keep in mind that I want to extra plasteel this off. If it's too vulnerable like that. Is it Pandy? Yeah, I'm not really going to be crying over berries, I'll leave those be. Smuggler's probably saying something about, yeah, we butchered human-like, yeah, we ignored people, yeah, the neuroquake echo hurts. Cope with the situation, Smuggler, although you don't really have a way of coping, do you? How about getting some recreation time? Why, why are you so struggling on recreating? There we go. And also there we go. Sweet. So you've started with the deep drilling. It'd also be nice if somebody could haul that gold, but yeah, I'm always so short on the hauling right now. A couple more lifters will certainly help out. I love the privilege, but I've still got two hours of extra recreation time. I'd probably put that in to make sure that you were keeping happy. Sounds like something I'd do. But we've got drugs for that. Aside from Smuggler, everyone can just enjoy some drugs. And Smuggler, I think, would still take... Yeah, Smuggler will still take all kinds of Psychite. So actually, I'm going to have you smoke some Flake. Let's see if that uh, makes him unhappy. It should make him very happy. And actually, I could put that to good use. The Psychite dependent, uh, dependency is probably one of the best dependencies because there's lots of different Psychite things to take. There we go, he didn't mind taking the drugs. And he's really happy that he's high on Flake. And that also gives some some buffs. I mean, Yale gives better buffs, but Psychite is quicker and cheaper to make. There we go, get rid of pain, make you not need sleep, and I'm pretty sure it gives a buff, uh, a boost of sleep as well as recreation. So yeah, I should keep that in mind. If Smuggler is ever unhappy, we shove him full of cheap flake. According to what I read on the wiki, the RimWorld wiki, the waster's psychite dependency actually prevents the addiction and overdose chances. 
So it's actually better than impervious. It's less complex. It's actually good for your metabolic efficiency. Yeah. And, and how hard is it to take one bit of drugs every five days? So yeah, I, I'm actually turning around on Smuggler. That Psychite stuff could come useful. Unrealistic Jake cares so much about people's happiness. Why you gotta phrase it like that? Maybe I should keep my cores here as well. I shouldn't have many of them, but I don't want them double dragged back and back again, since I'm gonna want them for the gestation anyway. Yeah, it was, it was my intention to get Smuggler killed, but he survived against all odds, and that's probably a good enough reason to keep him around now. I've got a gun out of the way and smelted down. There's a lot of deconstruction to be done. One of the awkward things about having the moisture pumps destroyed, though, is that putting them back means I'd still have to wait for them to expand out. I'd need to wait another year. I'm thinking what I'll probably do is I'll put out a lot of well-protected moisture pumps. So much building and constructing and repairing work that he's done. Again, if Randy just stays off his, uh, or stays on his meds, that auto mortar is the biggest threat that I have right now. I have some ideas for dealing with it, but none of them are great. And they're all expensive. And the existence of all those uh, unstable power cells doesn't make me very happy. The best thing I could reasonably have happen is like a 200 man Neanderthal raid in the south. They would rip those mechs to shreds. But that's that's very wishful thinking. What I'll end up getting is a breacher squad from the north. Okay, 22 human corpses to go. Bootleg, what do you think you're doing? You're moving stuff out of the way. That's fun, I guess. And then... Verboden. Let nature take care of this garbage. Poor hungry animals. They're not going to be particularly happy with this. But hold on, don't you take human meats here? Yeah, you do. It's just there's a real lack of hauling work going on right now. Smuggler and Spurdo, I want you guys hauling more, if it's at all possible. Well, hauling is exempt. No, that's part of the problem, isn't it? There's all this other stuff out here to be hauled. <laughs> so the squirrel was starving, so there was nothing to eat. So it went and drank this beer. And that's why it's down and out. What's your goals at this point, other than just recover? I mean, recovery is the main part of it. We also need to build up some strength again. Oh, right, to that point, I am forgetting something very important. Lurit. I need to talk to Lurit. Uh, Pandy, I know you want to sleep. But I really need you to get to work. Spurdo, could you please contact Lurit? I am in desperate need of shaman merchants. Shaman merchants sell me the the lances. I burned most of my lances in that attack, and I only have two in the stockpile. And I think I yeah, I burnt a lot of my pulsars as well. I got a good amount of animal ones because there were no animals to pulsar before, but the psychic soothed ones are good as well. I gotta get on that. Beer is a cheaper way to make thrombos pass out compared to lances. A bit more work, though. How many beers does it take to make a thrombo pass out? And yeah, how do you make sure the thrombos drink the beer as well? Because thrombos will eat just about anything. Well, they won't eat meat, but they will eat... Um, they will eat live plants. They'll even eat entire trees. There's a word for that kind of diet, and it always escapes me. Lock them in a room. Yeah, but then you've got to spend time building the room, making sure it's in a place that they don't wake up. 
Too awkward, right? Lance is just boom, it's done. Labor is not free. In fact, labor is one of the more expensive things you have in the game. Please work on this as well. It needs a bit more uh, human leather. Then forget about it. Do the uninstalling instead then. Forgive me if I'm incorrect, but I didn't see any masterpieces come out of this. Excellent ones, some good ones, but come on, masterpieces where I make my moolah. Vegan. Well, delete, uh, delete kibble. Delete, yeah, house and home, really. Thrombos have enormous appetites, so I wouldn't want to keep them on somewhere like a desert or arid world or ice sheet. You'd need entire hydroponics dedicated just to feeding the buggers. Alright, now get hauling and all should be well. Huh. Apparently this entire area counts as a room. I suppose it is technically walled in, but I would have thought the lack of a roof would stop it counting like that. I know, I know you want to do other stuff, but please. I need my friends, and I need my friends kept happy. One thing I really need to do is get the Empire back on my good side. As I recall, these things need to be set up to 90. No copy-paste for this, sadly. Hopefully I also have the chem fuel for this. There's a lot of things I had nicely set up and because of that attack just phew, away it all went. I'd like to get back to processing human meat into chem fuel. Not sure that's available to me right now. Also this is clogging up space like nobody's business. Forbid this. is causing too much work. I think I don't think this ends up being a good idea. I should just get back to my old strategy of dumping zone. Dumping zone by terrain either, yeah, even. And say that this is a preferred place to put all of the maybe not preferred, just normal. But basically all apparel which is not clean can go there. Because the unclean apparel that I do want can come over here for smelting. And there's my, there's my masterpiece. As for you though, you need loaded up. I'm going to shove in Tomopus. And I'm going to shove in these human leather bedrolls. Uh, is that too many? Uh, I'm not sure if I want the Empire as my ally or not. Although it's not much work just to shove them in and see what happens. I can take them out if need be. Ah, thank you, Bernard. I'm going to need two more lifter names real soon. Sorry if I'm behind the times. What happened to Leighton? Leighton got captured by Don Paolo. We haven't seen him since. According to this... The Professor is still alive and he's with the League of E10. Although our bingo chatters do change their loyalties quite frequently. Oh, there we go. That's kind of cute. So Bernard can take care of this quite quickly as well. How are you finding it over there, Saru? It's relatively beautiful, actually. I suppose all the steel isn't great, but putting those in was a good idea. Keep you happy. Okay, could we kindly get rid of these things which are just clogging up the area here? I am very surprised, but also grateful that Brandy took the opportunity to just chill the heck out. A lot of deconstruction work to be done. I guess no one, yeah, no one's that big on deconstruction. Brandy's got his hands full. Feels like he's always eating. You know, gut worms or something, do you? No, you got the sensory mechanites though, and that explains why you're going to bed so frequently. Oh, wow, Bernard can move our prisoners as well. 
All right, out you go. Bonk. Now, if I wanted to give you back to the Empire, I get a large boost to relations. I think I will avoid being allied with the Empire, though. It's a lot of work, and I'd rather invest that goodwill to uh, Eten, Burgo, and Polywallock. Because, as you've seen, I do turn on the Empire quite easily. Uh, so I just need to give them about 100 relation worth of stuff. So that means I'm just going to shove out some of these bedrolls. I don't know if these are in any order of quality. It doesn't seem to be, so just shove out four of them and see what that does. 108. Eh, good enough. Off you go. Whee! Becoming a problem. I've got too much crap here. There we go. Now that the Empire is neutral, Nancy can call for aid again. Same with good old Trevliard, at least when he was out, his other stuff ticked down. That just has a lot of stuff to haul out of the way in order to get his hauling operational. There's a lot of hauling to be done, and it's getting done. Nancy, get hauling. You also get hauling. Too much stuff. Please get rid of it. Even you, Spurdo, although I think you're doing exactly that. Fortunately, when they're dumping stuff, they move around like this quite a lot. What I can do is just tell them to dump it like that. I can help them out in that regard. That quest? Oh yeah, no way. Well, I guess I should be fortunate that the game has given me a lot of quests that I don't want to do. It's going to stop me from being tempted into things that I very much should not do. I'm on episode 11 on YouTube, and Astounded Smuggler is still with us. Yeah, maybe I should have taken a longer break from this to let other people get caught up, but you know how it is. RimWorld just eclipses other life needs by a fair bit. Also, holy smokes, there certainly shouldn't be meat being kept here. Does this not take human meat? Should take all meat. Oh god, why did these guys just wake up? There must have been a countdown to- oh, there was! There was that countdown activator! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Right, well, um... Our avoid mech area... Just got a bit more extreme. How did I not notice that countdown activator? Well, fortunately, it looks like the auto uh, mortar is still not active. But I need to stay far, far away from these guys. I mean, what kind of range are we looking at on this? Whoa, oh, Nelly! Don't even joke about coming close to these guys. They mean business. If I just stay the heck away from all that, if that geothermal goes down, that's just too bad for us. Oh, come on! That's nowhere near your landing spot. What are you doing there? Oh, man. And to, be, to begin with, I was very surprised they landed so close to my own bloody wall, but come on. Well, this could get troublesome. I wonder what's in there. Ah, okay, here we go again. I need you girls out here. Saru, you'd be ready for anything. The thing is, attacking this might lead to an all-out assault by these guys. Might. Might not. Hey, Sarah, do you have a lance on you? No, of course not. Um, Ali also doesn't have a lance. Jeez, oh, who's got a lance? 
Allie, you've got a line. Let's get down here. That's, that's quite a lot of reinforcements you got there. Okay, I might not need to lance it because you're just going to come along and get eaten on my traps. So I'm going to get back to work. Gee, I do worry that they're going to... They are immediately gunning for me. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh. oh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Left. What's the man to do here? Well, wake everybody up, that's for sure. Best thing I can do is engage them outside of the range of all of their weapons, uh, their turrets, that is. And I guess I should be grateful that there aren't that many centipedes. Actually, there are only five centipedes. So there are a lot of other enemies. Trebliard has a good amount of side focus. Well, not an enormous amount, but a good amount. Perhaps I could tease them around the north by keeping a door open around here, Pandy. Could you please keep that door open, get over there? That way they'll come around and not be in the range of all that stuff. And I think I'll be calling in my uh, reinforcements, funnily enough. Zeru, I would like you to get up directly that way, please. Spurdo. You take some pot shots from there, maybe, and then get your arse away. Ali, up top. Muggler, up top. Do I have enough wildlife to help out? Mm, not really. They probably hurt me more than they help me. I think these guys would shred the wildlife, but they would they would help a little bit, I guess. Just train all eight colonists in Neuroquake. <laughs> Just have the Neuroquake going back and forth. I'd rather not Neuroquake this, since we just had Trebliard out for the count with Neuroquake. Jake, I wanted to tell you, when you befriend random factions, you basically up the chances for mechs to attack. If you befriend them all, you'll only get mech attacks. That's completely untrue, because there are some that you cannot befriend. I can never befriend Yashelko or Garbage Crew, or Nichits for that matter. And there will always be the option of the wriggly insects coming as well. So I'm afraid you're spouting heinous lies, Ali. Mm -hmm. I have a hand of thinking what to do here. I have options, but none of them are great. Not to mention the Neuroquake makes these guys go mad as well. Uh, Neuroquake and we have all these animals isn't great. Although I could do it outside of the animals area, like if I got you down here to Neuroquake, that would work. But it would also cause my people to be even unhappier with Neuroquakeness. I'm genuinely considering bringing in the animals, but I think that the mechs are so plentiful that they would mow them down, especially with all these turrets here. Now I might have to do this the old fashioned way. Quite a lot of sight there, so I don't like that because those spindly buggers just get over to you really fast. Mm -hmm. My lack of melee really hurts me for the whole skipping plus meleeing strategy as well. But again, I have aid, right? You can call in troopers. You can call in troopers. Uh, oh, we didn't get panned these things, so really it's just troopers. They're not so great. But they are something. They're not nothing. Perhaps you two shouldn't go out that way. You're just going to draw in some unwanted attention. Spurdo, you should make your way up there. Yeah. 
you gonna, you know, shoot that freaking thing? Yes, you are. Rebel Yard, we're gonna need you up here. There we go, that slows it down dead. Thank you, Chain Shotguns. Big thank you, Chain Shotguns. I think even when it thinks, it still uh, slows them down a bit. Hopefully the faster ones will be uh, so fast that they eclipse the other ones, but it's the Tesserons that I'm really worried about. Ali, you had a lance, right? Yeah. Smoke, smoke, so you gotta take care of that Scyther, or it'll take care of you! Okay, there you go. Now get your little Tushas up here. Ugh. That is a lot of them. Well, get those troopers in. You're gonna need them. Do you really want to spend even more of this on more troopers? It's kind of do or die in a way, isn't it? Get those troopers in. Do or die. When is it not do or die around here? No kill box? No, no kill boxes. Kill box sucks so much of the fun out of this. We should take a little bit of a further step back. At least the rain will reduce any chance of the Tesserons causing me too much trouble. But is that really everybody up there? I feel like once upon a time I had so many more. <laughs> oh my god, those troopers are just going in to get themselves killed. Nancy, this is why I gave you a... He oh, ooh, ooh, if I use enough of this, I won't have to have you up to Baroness. I don't particularly want you at Baroness. Praetor is fine by me. If you're an Acolyte, then you just need 8, 6, and 10, which is 24. How are you going all the way up to Baroness? You're an Acolyte. Oh, I see. I counted it wrong. I was counting the 6 on Acolyte. But really, it's just 8 and 10 to, to 18. And 32 is just enough to get you up to Baron, Baroness. So actually, how about that? Anyway, point is, let's try and have a little bit of trooper friends coming in to help us. But I worry that they're going to be eradicated real fast by all that. See, the AI is terrible at handling this uh, this kind of situation. And actually, it could be bad. They're kind of clogging them up before we get involved. All those lancers and things are uh, not happy things for me to see as well. <sighs> Can't call in any other allies right now. Huh, I got a lot more of a boost from the Broken Empire than was advertised. Can we, can we get over a bit more? My problem is that those Lancers have really good range, and I use a lot of not very ranged weapons. Well ranged, at least. I really don't like what I'm doing here. And they're bringing in a lot of uh, extra, extra things that I don't want to deal with. Yeah, immediately these guys are running away. <laughs> Troopers aren't so great at this. Mm -hmm. I don't really think they took down anything of value, actually. Oh, it ain't great. You know, maybe we should be, like, around here so they don't get a, a jump on us, actually. Or rather, we get the jump on them. Oh man, what a freaking shot! From all that range, a needler managed to hit Smuggler. Jesus, get out of there, guys. Oh, crikey, look who's over here. Hey, Lady Sarah, you think you could donk them a fair bit? Uh, you know, before they just shoot one of us dead in one shot? Because that's kind of what they're looking at doing. 
have uh, like a stun for this. Actually, Nancy has something for that. I thought we had Beckon. Perhaps I imagined getting Beckon. Well, when in doubt, skippity skip, jump, and if you wouldn't mind just smashing that Lancer, and there we go, one shot, one kill. Not letting that guy get a shot off. Smuggler, get your arse over here. Well, they're down to 32 now, but the centipedes are moving on in. Critical alert fire, sounds like not my problem. Maybe my max should be very much stay indoors right now. It's kind of like the smart ones are up there. Right, uh, Trebliard, if you wouldn't mind tending smuggler. Boy, that torso took, uh... oh god, right through the spine. Ooh, not a good day for you. Watch out, Scorcher. Scorchers that much. It's hard for us to shoot when it's so dark and rainy and foggy. Also, this isn't at all. Uh, these mech assemblers are going to assemble additional mechs, including centipedes and scythers. And they make centipedes just as fast as anything else, and they are exceptionally well defended with turrets. All bad news for us, basically. All bad news all the time. Alright, smuggler. How was that tending? It looked pretty good to me. Wow, 100% on field medicine. Is night vision a thing? For some xenotypes, yes, but I think it's the only xenotypes that are going to get that. Do -do -do -do. I'm surprised these guys haven't legged it yet. Don't like those pikes. Really don't like those pikes. Is there any uh, value in doubling around to destroy the assemblers while your friends occupy the mechs? No, because look at all these things defending them. I'd get shot to shreds by that. Honestly, I'm better off just leaving those there so that if another attack comes in, they're going to have to deal with it and not me. Of course, there's the auto-mortar. I need to deal with that in six days anyway, but the more pressing matter is this. I can shot glance down the centipedes, but the centipede has a lot of chaff. And they all have great range. It's difficult to outrange mechs. It's not impossible, but it's difficult. It's certainly not desirable in my eyes. Let's go and bunch up over here a little better. Now that's the last of the uh, the allies given up and going. I still have a few more that I can call in with Nancy, but it costs honor, and man, I'm burning through that honor. They did not kill many; only five dead killed from the troopers. Yeah, the troopers are terrible at fighting, honestly. But I needed a distraction, if nothing else. Smuggler, maybe you shouldn't be in the front line right now, and Trebliard, you absolutely should be, since you're shield belted up, and you have the power to skip these people over, and I need that. Saru? Yeah, we're, we're going to need you to help out here. Just look at the uh, range on that beam thing. Oof. <laughs> Praetor Ceremony is now really the tough. Right. These Tesserons scare me so much. Let's see if we can't just uh, have you eliminated, please. Well, you immediately smacked Seru. You destroyed Seru's thumb. Ah, that's going to make uh, manipulation harder for you. But at least that's you taken care of. But now this thing can start hitting us hard. So let's uh, hopefully take it out as well. At the same time, I don't like the rate at which these things are approaching. So I'm terribly sorry, my Imperial friends. But I need more distraction power from you. This thing is becoming a problem. It's getting pretty close. 
And other things which are able to fire on us very soon are also getting quite close. Speaking of fire... And I want you nowhere near me right now. Oh wow, we actually shot off the Tesseron's weapon. Both of its arms are now gone. Pretty cool. Okay, and that's the Centipede Blaster. Confused. How did one of that do one damage? Saru, finish it off, please. There we go. Get your revenge for your missing thumb. Don't want to overuse all my heat here, but... Uh... Take that thing out. Alright, Militaur is down. They're down to 25 now, with only one Tesseron. And again, Tesseron's the one that I well and truly fear. Lancers I do also fear, though. We should uh, take something regarding a step back. Because, yeah, scared of Lancers. Very scared of Lancers. Even with all these uh, weather impairments. Pediments, or whatever they'd be. Oh, troopers, fight and die for me. I didn't realize you could mix flax, uh, flak vest with flak jacket, but there you go. Please don't accidentally shoot Smuggler, he would hate that. Especially since his torso doesn't feel so good. Uh, also, Trebliard, could you please tend to Lady Saru's thumb? And Nancy, you're going to drop that medicine. Because we're going to have Trebliard... Pick up that medicine. Yeah, there we go. Our friends are leaving. A lot of pikes. I don't like pikeys. Wait, what the hell are they doing inside my... Oh, I left the door open, didn't I? Are they trying to take down my door again? Oh no! Chumro! Man. I had you on cleaning area, but I should really just throw these guys into a corner during these fights from now on. They are liabilities. In fact, what I could do, honestly, for the mechs during these kinds of times is put them on the human the human thing. At least that way they're not going to be anywhere near out there. I get greedy, though. I want them to work whilst I'm fighting. But yeah, this isn't good. I need those... Well, I want those skips. Don't need them, so to speak. I wonder if you'd be attacked if I just told you to dominant recharge, but... Hmm... Okay, this is the last place I wanted them to have their mechs right inside my walls. I should have closed this door once I passed through as well. Oh well, bad decision making is kind of what makes these campaigns, right? Still so many mechs, though. Randy and his freaking mech clusters. I would like the... Um... Okay, there we go. Down you go. That should distract them. Hopefully they don't come for me here. Because if they start pounding down my walls and stuff, that's a big pain. Come on, you should come out and play with the rest of us. What are they even trying? And also, why did Trebliard not grab that medicine? Did he even tend to Seru? Ah, uh, I don't think he did. Right. Pick up that medicine. Pick up that medicine. And tend to Lady Seru. Well, not... Oh, right. Of course, it's going to be without medicine. You don't have medicine. Oh, now they're beginning their whole let's destroy his base approach. Hmm. Hmm. So many of them. See, the Lancers are dangerous because they've got a long range and they generally kill in one hit if they hit a... Well, even the Torso is bad news for me. The Pikemen just have excellent range. They still have a Tesser on as well. they got a lot of bad news for me. Beating up 
my base again. Come on, guys. I had someone in the YouTube comments saying, I have a colony of 20 guys who could each solo those mech crates. I'm like, what, why, why even tell me that? I obviously don't. I don't want you to shoot in the sh uh, stand in the shooting gallery. I oh, and they all come. Oh, smuggler is the last person I want getting around here, though. But maybe you can make it there without attracting too much attention. Oh, but they do like you, smuggler. It's not a great place to be. Especially without my malayers. However, I could still go in there and malay you a bit whilst the others shoot you. Hey, Ali, you want to like stand there and? Uh... Oh, you could shoot it, sure. Nice shot, but get away before it uh, returns the favor, please. Oh yeah, you too, smuggler. Don't uh... don't encourage it to make a shot. Actually, it might make that shot. God's sake, run away. Whew. Not what I was planning. I was planning on belaying the bugger. Ah. Alright, there we go. Sucks to lose the thumb. The thumb's pretty good for manipulation. Right, Trebliard. How's your heat? Your Psy Focus is not amazing. I wish I had drugs to instantly pop that up. But uh, some berserking of these things would go a long way. Because every all the other um, mechs would just start shooting it. But I don't think anybody has any uh, any stuff for that. Also, Pandy is so unhappy. Why? Pandy is uh, liable to snap. Maybe you should... Uh, take your drugs. Take some psych out and drink some beer. You'd figure they would just harden up a bit when there's a situation like this. You know, ideally I get you just... Oh, man, here's the thing. You, you could be stuck out there in a very grim situation if you don't get your... Um, don't get your Berserk off, and you could very quickly run out of Psy Focus. You've only got 60. Berserk costs 4, and Skip costs 2. So I could skip you over here, Berserk that thing, and then skip away, but that's pretty much the last of my uh, my high range Psychic powers that I can do. But it would get rid of one of those accursed blasters. Well, I'm not sure if it would even get rid of it at this point, but it would help. Let's give it a go, shall we? Big risk, big win! Get the hell out of there before your shield completely explodes. Take that line so down a bit, will you? At least the uh, at least these guys are a bit distracted right now. Oh, I think you lost your gun. Yep, your right shoulder's gone. Alright, then that should, that should mean the rest of you just gets taken out with whatever. There we go. Down you go. They're all focusing fire on the Madden Centipede, which is great. Trebliard just barely has enough left in him for one more Berserk. Do I get Bionic Arm now? Hmm... Do you already have the Drilling Arm? Yeah, you do. Replacing an entire arm for one missing thumb seems like overkill, but manipulation is pretty much all you do in your life. God, I hate this. Just tearing apart my stuff. There's not much I can do about it. I'm, my outer wall is very awkward, and you could say, well, Jake, why don't you improve your outer wall? I don't have the freaking time! Randy is not letting up. Not at all. Uh, 
Euroquake isn't completely out of the question. I like to think that there are few enough of them for us to reasonably deal with. A lot of them are pikes. Centipedes and the Tesseron remain a problem. This guy has righted his wrongs. He's no longer no longer aggressing. That would immediately turn my allies against me as well because it would affect them. If I could just move up here-ish, though, that's a lot of moving, but if I could get everyone over here, then I could. I could, I could, I could. There are just so bloody many of them. I tell you what, where's the Tesseron? He's the main, uh, the main problem that I have. aren't any scythers either, that's kind of good. Alright, here's my brilliant plan. We're gonna go out. They're probably gonna want to shoot us. In fact, they're gonna shoot us immediately. I guess that's dealable with full. Nancy! Get that uh, low shield deployed. And we'll get everybody over here. Up there, what's that thing doing coming here? Right. Some of these big bastards I do not want to waste my energy on, so Psychic Lance that thing out immediately. Oh my goodness, Smuggler is gonna die if he keeps eating that. You help out. I'll lay that thing down. Oh god, right, the, the Tesseron. Tesseron has got to go. Seru, smash that Tesseron before it does us all in. Oh my god, no, Sia, no, 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 do not go out there, you will die. Good thing I still got this going for me. You too, smuggler. How's that thing engaging? Go and, uh... Where's the option to beat fires out of people? There we go. Oh, right, there's a Scorcher as well. I missed that part. Right, Nance? That's where you come in. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. This is backfiring. Well, we need that... Uh, we need that Scorcher taken care of. It keeps Scorching. Trebliard is busy running around like a fool. God. Oh dear lord, please, <laughs> we're burning here. gonna get another fire shot off on us, isn't it? Okay, that wasn't so bad, and Seru actually has a bit of a... a bit of a defense on her. But the rest of us took some serious damage there. This thing isn't gonna last very long, by the way. It's only got... oh, it's already gone. Ah, crap. That didn't... that didn't work well. That did not work well at all. Oh, was it already gone? That was like no time! Alright, run away. Especially you, Seru. Jesus, that did not last. I think you could, like, run over there. No, your moving is way down. Trebliard, then we need you to skip them in. Just get everybody in to relative safety right now. Oh, God, it's still there. He's taking a, uh, an unorthodox route. 
Ali, Ali is gonna die out there. Mm hmm. And yeah, these these things are still here to shoot us as well. That's not good. Yeah, Ali, Ali is a hundred percent dead. Just walking back here. That's not good enough. Hey Nance, you got any more of those uh, troopers to call in? Around here, she does not. We we generally gotta run a fair bit. Ali is not in a good space. That Trebliard's movement has been severely gimped. I got two pikes just shooting us down as we walk away or hobble away. Nance, could you just like throw in a trooper squad there and see what happens? Ali, oh god, that was a big shot, very big shot. Well, I got some people coming in, but it's not a lot. There's still 17 of them, including two completely undamaged centipedes. We'd like to take a step back over here. There is also the option to bring in the wargs. The wargs could help in some melee jobs. I think at this point I am going to need you guys here, even though I'm sure you don't want to be here. Go and follow Lady Saru into combat. Sarah, you want to engage that Lancer? I mean, the answer is no, but I want you to. Did you kick dirt in its eyes? Yeah, you did. Good on you, I guess. Take that shot there. You get over here a bit. There we go. Oh, another one bites the dust. And then there were 16. The yak population, yeah, the problem with the yaks, though. They won't fight. Not unless they are engaged in melee. Um, but I think I took care of all of their fire things, didn't I? Yeah, so it's mostly pikes and centipedes. Right, Ali is in no immediate danger, thankfully. Why is Trebliard down? And he's certainly getting a lot of side focus. His torso is pretty messed up. Sia, you are going to have to tend yourself. As to the rest of us, could we like just take five back here? Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. We might still need these, so could you go and like since you seem to be able to move still, could you please Force equip one of those, pick up the other one, and then uh, somewhat get back out here. I am burning through my honor here like it doesn't even exist. I'm not even going to get up to Praetor with this. But kind of need to live a bit here. I just worry if I bring in more, they're only just going to be thrown away. Lambs to the slaughter. Let's hold on to them for now. Muggler is not happy at all. Well, Saru is even less happy. Why are you so unhappy? Sun. Oh, right. The sunlight, which is blocked by a giant smoke cloud, is making you unhappy. Well, drink beer and then drink Psychite. Oh, of course. They destroy all my skips. What do they have against my skips? Seems like that's what they're always going for. Don't let Treb die. Treb will be fine. They don't target people that are KO'd. Of course, the problem is if he gets set fire upon, so hopefully Della Sauce goes down before that becomes a problem. Uh, Lady Seru had a crisis of belief. That doesn't even cause uh, catharsis, sadly. Doesn't appear to.
Yeah, of course they're coming in here, aren't they? Hmm. Dum dum da 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 dum. Are they moving off to anyway? Oh, they're not following Seru anymore because Seru's just wandering around. I think. Oh, that's becoming a problem. <sighs> still, still an uncomfortable number of them, and we can't forget that they will make more. Let's see, on you go, go. Perhaps I could sign those animals to Andy instead. There's still an uncomfortable amount of mechs out there. I wonder if they... I wonder how long that thing stays psychic shocked for. I really don't know. Ideally, I would be concentrating fire on it, but that's obviously not something that's happening right now. God, I do not have the firepower to deal with anything right now. Oh, oh god, no treble yard. Now is not the time to get up. I think he just immediately got smacked down, though. Yeah, yeah, I got poked and then crumbled down. Hit the femur and leg. Yeah, yeah maybe you should just stay down for now, Trebs. It's a safer place for you. Well... At least in my defense, this wasn't really a threat that I could have seen coming. I did not expect the mechs to also drop pod inside my base and instantly aggro me. Oh man. Oh man, oh man, oh man. See, all these pikemen are a huge threat though, and I, both of my melee troops are out. I have something regarding an idea. Nancy could call in the assistants. We kind of need them right now. The time, the time is dire. So let's just call in a bunch of trooper squads. Bye bye, Nancy's honor. And then what we do is we shock glance out the uh, centipedes and let the little dudes deal with the let the regulars deal with the pikes. Where are my silences and how many do I have? I got two on you and one on you. That should actually be enough to deal some damage if we can get over here and put them to use. Saru is really not going to be having a good time out there. And Smuggler can barely move. Getting worse because he can't really... Okay, I'll tell you what, can you... Can you tend to Smuggler's horrific wound, please? Andy, move up a bit. I need those silences working. Alright, well that's... Okay, good. I wasn't a centipede. I was worried for a moment that it didn't actually affect a centipede. Alright, two centipedes down. Nance, you didn't get the... Oh, you did get the silences. That's sweet. All the more reason for you to move back in since you're faster than everybody else, pretty much. Get shot back now, Pandy, and do not let them uh, hit Ali in turn. Maybe you should just unleash the animals, right? If they get injured, so what? There are risks for everybody around here. And this is the injured one, so it'd be kind of a waste to silence you anyway. You know, not that I should really be at the point of considering that, even. Uh, Nancy, should you really be there? Mostly wanted you to silence out the centipede burner. I'm not sure you can do that from there. Get back. Get back. God's sake, take out that centipede. There we go. Sia is very unhappy, but that's not unexpected. At least Smuggler's no longer, uh, no longer about to drop or pop. Well, 
Yeesh. 15, but four of the centipedes are down, and this last blaster doesn't have much left in him. And he's engaged in melee, which makes my life easier. Maybe Smuggler and Sia would like to, you know, get back. Maybe I can have them... Maybe I can have everybody stay in the cleaning area now and just have these two get back a bit so they can rest up. Maybe the people that I brought in can help. Actually, no, this thing needs to die, doesn't it? Big priority needs to die. Maybe we can get over there and just start raging into it. But then there's this pipeman still. Oh, okay, well, uh, Douglas went down real fast. Douglas tore the centipede blaster's fourth body ring, but was shot to death. Because Pandy's charge shot, narrowly missed, hit Douglas, and, uh, oh wow, yeah, right through the, oh well, I wonder if the Black War will fare better. To be fair, it's hard to hit these shots. Oh, and I think, uh, I think Pandy just keeps hitting the warg. Hmm. It's not a priority. Even if they get up, they're unarmed. Really? They drop their weapon? Oh, yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. Really didn't know that. How many times have you shot this guy now? It's two in the charge rifle at uh, the Black Warg. Oh, not a priority, huh? There's this pikeman who's making incredible pot shots over there. Alright, well if that's the case then get back and they'll get shot by Pandy. I think TBW is going to be having a very happy time over there. Alright, now, so you need to take a step back and take some drugs so you're less incredibly unhappy. Otherwise, well, I would like to get Ali up and on the go at some point. Hopefully, they don't get shot crossfire. Oh boy, TBW is not happy. CBW is very not happy. He went down, but he did keep the enemy distracted for a bit, so that's good. Three of you just hang around back here. Nance, you be ready for anything. I can't believe Seru's surviving all of this. And it's even weirder that our uh, allies are going in to Malay. Survive good out there, TBW. Oh yeah, see the the guy's back up, but he's got no weapons. Oh, fancy that. Side from my fingers, I'm indestructible. Oh god, you got needle gunned. Right in the leg there. Who's even shooting you from there? Well, regardless who's shooting you, let's not have any more of it. Smuggler, what the heck are you doing out there? Uh you got no medicine anymore, don't you? Tell you what. Spurdo, you move around. Sia, you pick up that medicine. Pandy, you get over here. Smuggler, you just stop being such a target, please. I know I'm asking a lot. Now you turn Pandy, please. Alright, they're going down. Slowly and very unsurely. You know, Saru, I swear, if you stumble into the mech cluster... Okay, looks like you're just hiding in your room. That's fine. Oh, you tended Pandy's sensory mechanites. Oh, well, good for you. Only six left. All the centipedes are unarmed. Thanks for that, though, telling me that they lose their weapons. That's a huge boon to me. Nancy, maybe you should get inside. Maybe we should all just kind of get inside at this point. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not that way. Maybe. Maybe this way. 
Oh, but we do need to rescue our friend, don't we? Spurdo, you seem the least injured out of everyone. You're gonna rescue Ali. Nancy, you're gonna go and rescue your husband. Ben Hut. What a way to take them. Could you just, like, carry them and bring them in over via this way? Okay, Saru very quickly got over that, which is awesome. By the way, someone should really take care of uh, TBW. And if anyone, it should be Saru. You're the animal master. Okay, I think we're making it, but man, was that close. Also, Nancy, is this really, really the way forward? Oh. I guess she just wanted to get smacked a bit. Okay. Job well done, Spurdo. Smuggler, you get back to doing whatever you fancy doing. See, I will be counting in you to take care of people. Yeah, yeah, see to, see to your needs for nutrient paste and whatever. But you're pretty injured, so why don't you consume a lavish... Uh, you're pretty unhappy, so why don't you consume a lavish meal instead? And then uh, drink a beer. And then do all the surgery we need you to do. Anybody else close to popping and could really do with a better meal? Yeah, you could. Go and consume that lavish meal. Hopefully it wasn't so dirty that makes you unhappy. Smuggler could probably also do with a nice meal. Guys, please don't fail at defeating these. Uh... Oh, God! Evidently didn't notice the centipede burner still going, and Smuggler was not very happy with it. Boy, this is a uh, this is very injured. Just about everyone got injured there. What's what? Oh, right, right. You're wanting to deal with that. That's kind of unfortunate for me. I need you to not break my wall down in fighting these because I don't want to look at these things or have them look at me. There we go. That's actually kind of good. But uh, I need my friends to go down sooner rather than later, actually. Right, see ya, once you've had your beer, that's time to get going with medical stuff. There we go, so now please... Tend to Trebliard, and then tend to Alley. Do we really have any more human corpses around here? Human corpses is the thing I can look up here. Um... No, no more human corpses to process. That's kind of good. In that case, butchering humans is now suspended. You get relocated over here. I have animals starving, don't I? No, I have Ali starving. Well, that's not good either. And bootleg, I think we will just have you... I'll move you over to cleaning. I'm sure there's other stuff you can find to do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ali. Must, uh... Why are you bringing over Glitter World meds? Trebs is on Glitter World, right. Well, no. Not on my watch, he's not. Do I still have good medicine? Yeah, I do. Good. Great, even. It's kind of tempting to give Trebs really good medicine, so he's up and operational faster, actually. But nah, the, uh, the non-Glitter World stuff will be fine. Hasn't Trebs slept enough? No, never. Let's see. Not too happy here, are you? Well, why don't you go and rescue Smuggler before he uh, really pops off? Looks like my walls in the south are still holding. Great. Black Warg is 
dying. Black Warg is dying sooner than our other ones are. See it? Please tend to the Black Warg. He needs the good stuff as well. He bravely charged in, so he deserves some good meds for this. Please go and rescue Smuglet. There we go. Woo -hoo -hoo! Nice dodge, Nance! Nice dodge! Ah, uh, smuggler's infected. Okay, well, these things happen. We can deal with that infection in, good, in due time, but first thing Sia needs to do is take care of the Black Warg. Before it dies now. Jester uh, is complete. However, these mech assemblers, they will make more mechs. I have some ways of dealing with that, but none of them are very good. I can actually run around here, take care of this wall, and then shoot in to destroy that mech assembler. But this one is completely surrounded. I could smoke pop here and just focus fire down on it, which is probably a good idea, but I need treble yard up and operational for that. That kind of says that I should give him the best medicine I have. Sorry, Sia, you have to take care of everyone right now. But don't worry, TBW will survive. A lot, of, a lot of tainted clothes hanging around here. Not terribly much I can do with those right now. Is that a low shield I see? Yeah, they got a mech low shield. Hmm. You can't actually use those to your benefit, as far as I'm aware. Mechs can shoot into those. I have tried to use them to make mechs not be able to hit me, but uh, every attempt failed. Alright, no more mech enemies for now. There'll be more in half a day. Nancy, you chilling out is fine by me. Black Warg will be fine very soon. Yeah, I was a bit worried when you got shot in the head by the beam laser, but you seem to have, seem to have made it out all right. Oh man, please, please don't destroy my walls! Oh. It's a good thing we kept Sia alive. Well, both alive and capable of doing medicine. Look at those, the plastic steel walls hold fine, the wooden walls are barely holding. And they're about to disappear. And out of wall rays to get around that. Alright, there we go. Now, Trebliard, I will actually give you the awesome medicine, so let's do that. Ten to Trebliard, please. And then tend Alley. Actually, tend Trebly Art, and then tend Smuggler. And then tend Alley. Oh god, not without medicine. Why are you even drafted? Tend Trebly Art. One more try. Tend Trebly Art. Why does it say without medicine there? Use some goddamn medicine. We got plenty of it. Rest, stripped, rest, tend. There we go. And then tend smuggler. And then tend alley. There we go. And yeah, as expected, down goes my wall. And down goes more than just the wall. Yeesh. Well, there goes some of my power cells, but it also, very importantly, got rid of their centipede gestator. That is very good, at least. So this whole place became a lot easier to deal with. It did also destroy a bunch of my wall, but I'm still surprised why they landed so close to my wall to begin with. How you feel, TBW? You outlasted your... Uh, you outlasted your competition. 
Still no. Oh, 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 a female warg. I want that female warg. At some point, we will try to tame you. Of course, that time is not going to be now, but whenever we're allowed outside of our home, that'll be what we do. So there we go. Look at that amazing tend quality. I got a lot of them. After that, though, see ya. I would like you to... Uh... Well, you should still tend to him or else he's going to get infected. route that you're taking out here, but at least it's somewhat safe. I don't think mech clusters are not allowed to land in your base. I've seen cases where they directly landed in a base. Oh, oh god, what a shot. Please stop using my base as cover. There we go, just, just get out of here. That cost so much honor, but it did save me. Granted, a Neuroquake would have been a much cheaper way of saving me, but... I wanted to... Oh, 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 that's good. Hey, very nice. This thing still needs to go, but at least it's only on exciters. Ah. Okay, there we go. Smuggler got amazing tending to that infection, so you should be fine. And then Sia, who I'm sure is tired of all this nonsense. Get back to it. Right, we've got ourselves an extra lifter. Right. Then, once you're done gestating, you are meant to be on the cleaning area. I just can't afford anyone to go out and get shot to death by all these right now. At least we, at least we made it. Although Ali is probably in desperate need of food right now. And I am somewhat in desperate need of making some more medicine, but I think... Okay, no, I've still got a decent amount of herbal medicine, and uh, as I suspected, we are getting infected. Burns are very... Uh, that wasn't even a burn, but burns are quite uh, liable to getting infections. The mortar is still sleeping, and it'll still sleep for another four or so days. Yeah, 5.2 days. Alright, still tending to poor bloody alley. Yeah, we took a lot of hits in all of that. More than I would like. Alright, with that, everybody should be dealt with. Now then, go and feed poor Ali. With the nutrient paste, which I'm pretty sure someone else is trying to eat. That really didn't even get any tending to. Perhaps that's your next job, Sia. End to the cave, child. Yeah, well, I'm very glad that the Mortar did not wake up. It is a priority target, but not as big a priority as the Scyther Mech Assembler. Scythers are kind of bleh, but... What was that? What was that? Oh, a mad hair! Hardly my problem. In fact, the opposite of my problem, because... Wait, it can actually melee this thing? <laughs> Thank you, mad hair! Come on, don't be don't be put off by being shot in the body. Right, well, well that might here uh, contributes more than some of my team members do. I need to take a quick water break. I'll be back in just a minute. <laughs>
Yeah, don't worry. I knew I was muted. I was just scarfing down a half of a Twix salted caramel. Damn. I wonder if the thumb is actually more efficiency than any other part on the hand. Well, on the plus side, most of these, uh, most of these attacks, most of the damage will be gone within two days. It's well tended to, and that's the important part. These biotech mechs seem pretty strong. Are there in more types? Yeah. There are the boss biotech monsters, and those guys are brutal. Also, somebody told me that if you leave something on a dumping stockpile, it won't alert you when it deteriorates. That's clearly wrong, because this is a dumping stockpile. And I did get told that that deteriorated. Don't worry, Black Warg, you'll be fine. Just keep pumping that blood across your body. It'll be okay. See is fully up and operational, which is great. Going to take some time to recreate. That scyther is going to come out and cause me bother. I need treble yard up and operational. Yeah, you, you wouldn't want to, you know, like feed treble yard, would you? Don't you need that? Don't you need for that to be transhumanist? What? Is there nothing for you to do? Well, for now, I'll just put you on dominant self recharge. Dormant self recharge, not dominant. Oh, I've got to deal with this, but I need Trebliard. I need Trebliard and his smoke pops to help us out. If he smoke pops this, we can just run in and. Uh... Oh man, look at the these two, I should be able to get quite easily. This one also seems possible. But the more of these I get, the better. It's just free energy. Yeah, that's the plan to take down the Cluster Seru. Once Trebliard is operational, I can use a Smoke Bomb ability. Where is it anyway? Here it is. It's level 4. I'd feel happier if you had a bit more Psy Focus, though. Then again, I'm pretty sure I have some Smoke Pot packs, don't I? Uh, I'm certain I did, so they must have died in the fighting. Smoke Pot pack. Yeah, there is one in here. Ah, I was overlooking it. it. looked like these pulsars at a glance. How many charges does it get? Three charges. So we could actually run in using the smoke pop and take this out. There's a lot of things we could actually take out, but we want range. Spurdo and Candy would be the best to take care of it. Neither of which are particularly injured. So I think that's exactly what they're going to be doing. And as luck would have it, we're out of slots for them to use. And I think that's me completely out of my beloved um, lances. Yeah. Oh man, I miss those things already. Right, Pandy, once you're done with that, you go and equip that, please. And Spurdo, once you're operational, you're going to come out and help with us. I want this... Oh, the Scyther's going to come and get us first, though. And that is a problem. We're going to need to shoot that Scyther dead. Yeah, managed to clean up, but the follow-up attack was a bit nasty. I was really hoping Randy would just settle down, but no, he decided mech cluster is just what we need after all of this. It's so, so chunky and tightly packed together. So what was it? Enemy raid, enemy raid, enemy raid, enemy raid. 
I don't think it shows these up anyway. It was a ton of raids, and then followed up with a mech cluster on our freaking base. <laughs> the, the the turrets landed here, and the drop pods landed, well, a drop pod landed in there, but that was enough to make them all aggro on me. Brutal. Freaking brutal. Well, I'm looking forward to clearing this out, and then, surely, the game's just going to be like, okay, well done, you survived all that, I'm going to give you like 10 days of relaxation. And I know you need to get your planting done. And I can get rid of that smoke cloud, the rain, everything. So surely we should have some... You know, I don't see any, any plants or things growing here, sadly. Alright, Spurdo, Pandy, you wanna, you wanna get to work on this after Smuggler's been force-fed? It's 8 in the morning, so Pandy's not going to be very happy being up at this time, is he? No. Anyway, the two of you... Uh, oh, that's right, I need to cancel all my traps. I, I'm starting to think the traps aren't really cutting their mustard at this point. I'm a little tempted just to completely remove them. They are eating a lot of time. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of those for now. I may want them back at some point, but maybe I should evolve into stuff like IEDs or better traps. Right, get down here. You shouldn't be in the range of anything shooting you. Oh, come on. No, no, no. Oh, man. Right at the edge of the base as well. Oh, Techno! You are a chatter on sight. Fortunately, you're not bleeding, so I don't need to worry about you too much. You do love fighting, but that chemical fascination bothers me. Anyway, this is a charitable event, so uh, I have to look after you. It's a bit of a drag to run over there. I will run over to get you, maybe once I've taken care of some of this. Right, Spurdo. Oh, oh, Jesus. They immediately clocked that we were there. Eesh. Right. Run on out and get that smoke pop de uh, deployed, please. I think it seems like it's just that one, and they are a bit slow on the uptake, aren't they? Maybe get over here. Maybe you stay back a little bit, and then pop! Now they can't target us, but we can target them. And we really need... well, I really want this thing taken out. Oh, we can't, can't hit it. Alright then, maybe attack that thing instead. Because if this one explodes, it might take out the other one. Oh, oh Jesus, no, 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 they can still hit you from there. Oi! You were fortunate that was just a light crap. Alright, tell you what, Pandy, move yourself over there and get another smoke pop off. And for the love of God, take care of this before the Psycho takes care of us. It can't shoot us from there, right? Because it kind of looks like it's looking at us. Looks a lot like it's looking at us. On before this thing wakes up a scyther, please. Oh, Jesus, right now? Come on. That's a problem. A problem we need to run away from before it slices us to pieces. Unless you think you can hit it before it gets us. It's coming right this way, Chief. Okay, seems that we're completely unable to hit it even one time. Nancy, see ya, I might need you over here. Oh man, um, can't really run through here, we'll get nuked by these things.
Where is feeling the burn, though? He won't be able to move that well. This could become a... Wait, what's, it, what's that thing even doing? I guess I shouldn't complain too much, but... Uh, could we please not be here right now? God. Um, TBW? You're completely unconscious. Smuggler's in pain shock. It'll be a bit more than just pain shock at this rate. See if you can't get over there before the Scyther comes and gets us. It's coming, you know. It's coming, you know. Oh wait, it just gave up. Keep this thing open for a little bit. Maybe shoot it from there? There we go. Great, shot it in the leg as well, so it's going to slow down a bit. They are spindly bastards, after all. Then get back here. We're not risking ourselves getting chopped into pieces just for a sight there. Come on now. Come on now! <laughs> it's just a freaking one scyther! As if we haven't dealt with enough mechs today. There we go. Man alive! That's a lot of hits for, uh, for one scyther. And don't worry, Spurdo, those are just bruises. They won't hurt. For very long. Right, is this stuff still all smoky? I think it is. Still wanna, still wanna take advantage of the smoke, so let's get going. At least the first smoke should dissipate, and that'll give me a clear idea of when we're no longer in smoke town, which I think is canon now. Get that second smoke pop deployed. This one's the one that's close to everything, so yeah, let's get rid of that first, please. If we could land any shots, it's so hard to hit around here. There we go. It didn't even explode. It's kind of cool. Now, do we have visual on that one? That's one that I would really like to take out. Apparently not. There we go, another one bites the dust. Hmm, what do I do about you? Maybe I should focus on the auto mortar first. I yeah, can't hit it. Hmm. Can't hit that either. I guess we've poorly positioned this one. Weren't there more of you? Yeah, I didn't send. I didn't send everybody out for this. Um. Hmm. 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 I guess there's no real. Oh, right. The mech assembler isn't dealt with, is it? Maybe that should be taken out as a priority, and then we just get away from here. There we go. That's gone at least. And then the rest of these aren't such a big deal as long as we don't step out here. I'd still like them taken care of, but for now, let's just not take any risks. Not on you guys, at least. Yeah. Swell. Still two people KO'd, but they're not that KO'd, right? Well, apparently you're in a ton of pain. Seru's completely okay. How does that feel? I bet it feels amazing. I uh, should do a quick check on everybody's equipment to make sure everybody's wearing five layers of clothes. Good, good, good. Yeah, it works for me. Ah, Yeah, the auto mortar won't engage for a while, though. We got a while. There's that female warg out there that I would really like. 
Uh, Pandy, did you top up your smoke pot? Uh, smoke pot pack. You know what? Maybe maybe we're gonna refill it with chem fuel in case we do need to go out there and take care of our mess. I really would like these things gone. <laughs> Poor Trevly are barely hobbling over. I don't know why he's tending to smuggler with just crappy medicine. I guess we ran out of the good stuff. Looks like it. If that's the case, then I would like some more small shelves made out of marble. Here, here, and here, and I don't know, there as well. Whatever I tend to use for, for drugs. None of these need to be quality built, though. Come on, see, it's wakey wake time, I'm sure. Oh, see, it's on night time to be with Pandy, that's right. Saru's just generally night timey. As far as DPS go, armor penetration is god versus mechs. Yep. What's, uh, what's that relevant to? Well, probably to my, uh, my disobedience at using armor penetrating weapons. Really is pissing it down, Jake must feel like he's home away from home. Yeah, I know, it's also growing season now, let alone later. I really want these taken care of so I can just get around to growing. So much to be done, though, constantly. Hey, Sia, could you, like, get your... get our other mech out of here? Poor Lifter needs work to do. God, Trebs doesn't feel so good at all. But you need some recreation time. Didn't I break up with him? Could I go back to daytime soon? Break up? Oh god! I must have missed the fact that you broke up. Yeah, well that does mean that I could put you back onto a normal person schedule. We need a whole lot more medicine. We really ravaged our way through our stuff. And I miss my clean sweeper, so would you mind uh, repairing Chumro once you're done with whatever that is? <laughs> As if that thing was really in storage. There we go, Chumro. We need you to... Oh wow, you really took a beating out there. Anyway, we need you to keep on cleaning up. Hopefully this doesn't drain your energy too much. Barely does drain it though. Hey, TBW's up and on the go again. Fantastic. Shumro can get back to fixing things, and, and, and... What do I do about these things? Getting close to them is a little tricky. Although I suppose if I were here, we could just kind of walk along, come out here, smoke pop, and then ba 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 bang Spurdo and Pandy could probably take care of that again. Bit of crap to go around just to go across, and we still might eat some of this. Which is not what I'm looking to happen. Well, actually, we could kind of pop, pop, pop our way down close enough to them and get shooting. I just really don't want this unstable power cell to go. But needs must. All right, two of you. There's work to be done then. That intense range is just something else, though. Um... You think you can just leg it over there without it shooting you too hard? Oh boy, dangerous. <laughs> I think it shot you! That's <laughs> uh, quite funny. Yeah.
Come on, Pandy. Can you make the same uh, the same run? I'll get shot now. Yee -hee -hee -sh. Right, so what am I doing? I'm just smoke popping my way through all this. Oh god, it doesn't go outside the square. Oh damn, I didn't actually think that would block it. Can we actually shoot that from here? Not confident in your aiming for uh, a length like that. But the thing is, this thing's probably going to explode, and it's going to take that out, and it's going to take a lot of this out. If somehow it does not destroy the unstable power cell. Whoa, okay. Uh, sure. Um, kind of cool, though. Right. I think we could run a little closer. Is that asking for too much? We did take it out pretty quickly. Maybe get a little closer. I know, I know. It wants to shoot us, but we're pretty far away. There we go. Kindly take that out, and uh, let's let's not have you follow. And I want you to follow Seru anyway. Did you actually get up? Where is the black warg? Oh yeah, you did try to follow. Well, now is not the time. Go back to doing what you do. Yeah, you're trying to go and rest. We're having a monumentally hard time hitting this thing. Eh, hey, the shaman merchant is here. Right, finally I can replenish myself on my much coveted lances. And I got a pulsar. I want all of that stuff. I will sell you whatever you want. Well, maybe not anything, but as much as I can offer you. You'll be fine, Spurda. For the love of God, please take this turret out. At this point, I don't really mind if it explodes, because our... Oh boy! I think it spotted Black Warg! Oh, 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 oh boy! Down with that. Oh, wow, we shot that thing out? But we're aiming for this thing. Run, Wargy, run! God's sake, take it out! Okay, there we go. Amazing. None of them exploded. Of course, this thing might still explode. That is a very real possibility. But now let's focus fire on it. How you feeling, TBW? <laughs> Should I pray for Mojo? Oh, there's still a little trappy thing over here. Right, in that case, it usually can't do much damage, and it's pretty crap in a lot of ways. So what we're going to do is kind of like stand here, take cover, and hopefully not get shot by it. We've got pretty great cover around this thing. Of course, it's behind some barricade as well. It's all right. The fire went out. You'll be fine, TBW. Besides, you actually screened for me a bit there. Well, maybe. Come on, we're getting lucky that it's not landing any hits, but uh, let's, let's not count on that luck. Take the damn thing out. There we go. And now, not much left to go. This is here, and this has got to go. I'm a little worried about the possible big explosion that comes with it, so let's stay away from it, and then hopefully remove it. Although it could come with a big explosion. Not how these two wanted to spend their time, I'm sure, but a bit of bonding wouldn't go amiss. Are you feeling alley? Are you feeling smuggler? Well, they're operational at least. I uh, can't uninstall the power cells until the mech hive is considered. Uh oh, well, that's not good. Maybe take a step back. Oh man. Oh, it, they, they made it! Oh wow! What a haul! Four unstable power cells, if we can just take out this thing.
to that effect. As long as you're inside its area like this, I don't think it can target you, so let's go for that as our plan, our masterful plan. Right, Pandy, go and entice it to shoot over there, please. Birdo, getting its uh, no can shoot range. Just remove that thing from the equation. Don't think there's any point in bringing Pandy in. Birdo should have this thing down in no time. TBW is able to get up and move again. Done and done right. Oh my god. Okay. Now we can be wherever we want to be. And I absolutely positively want these power cells. I'm going to shove them over here. Unlimited free power as long as they don't break. And uh, yeah, if one of these pops, they all pop. There we go. Dang, that's a lot of free power. Oh. Okay, we got a lot of base to piece back together. Again. Clean sweeper, cleaning area. Rest of you, you can pretty much go wherever you want, honestly. Who wants to be one of our lifters, by the way? I need another name for another lifter. I'm not too worried about this big bomb. It's covered by stone wall and another wall. I don't think it's worth the space to spread them out. They call me Lift. Oh no, it says Let Me Lift. I like the name Crispy. Alright, Crispy, don't let me down. Oh, speaking of people being let down. Our good friend Techno. Now, what are the odds he's just going to offer to join us when we pick him up? I reckon they're pretty high. Nancy seems quite happy-ish, so once Nancy wakes up, you're going to rescue Techno. Uh, oh, no, more importantly... Where are the Shaman Traders? I must trade with the Shaman Traders, then I can rescue Techno. I don't want them buggering off when they got my good stuff. Smuggler fully wandering away with chain shotgun, go and pick it up from there please. And whilst you are there, please also like all this stuff. Oh, I lost all my bills here, didn't I? Uh, let's think. Storage-wise, I wanted this one just to have cloth. It's a critical place for cloth. And I wanted you to carry herbal medicine. I don't need to be too anal about how much we fill it up with, but you're critical for that. Same with you, don't overfill this thing. It doesn't need it. Right, what am I buying off of you? probably have starving animals, a lot of things to just fix in my poor, poor base right now. Um, well, I, I do have some plague and joints to sell, if, if you so desire. But I want your pulsar, I want your lances, I don't care too much about your gold, I'll get rid of my crappy uh, sculptures though, those aren't doing any good to anybody. Mm, I don't really need a power focus chip, but then again, don't you use these to get the better version of your brain thing? I'm gonna have to check that now. Power focus chip. Yeah, yeah, they give the control sublink. I need three of those, so I guess I can't reasonably sell it. Um... I really want that reinforced barrel. I mean, sure, it's good for counter siege if I wanted a mortar. I guess I should. Uh, I've got plenty of silver, just spend it bleeding silver. Be okay. 
Yeah, there we go. Mostly, mostly about getting those lances. I'd say it was wooden wall, but um, door as well. I have non wooden walls here. I will try to. Let's get rid of these and try and replace it all with uh, flat steel. I need the extra protection. I'll get rid of damaged wooden wall. It's not even worth the effort of repairing. So cold though, we don't even get our devil strand. I really need to take care of that smoke cloud. I think it's lowering temperatures. I'm not 100% sure, but it certainly feels like it. Well done defending against the raid with no losses except my bonded warg. Oh yeah, you won't be happy about that, will you, Saru? Bonded animal died. 20 days of minus 8 is a bit of a shame, but... Fortunately, you're not a teetotaler, so I'm sure we can get over that. You know what? I'm just I'm just not having these skips. Just don't bother with the skips. What I will in instead do is just zone a big fat area here, and this is the preferred place for us to keep all of our blocks because my skips just keep getting trashed. Oh hey, welcome to the land of the living, Alley. First thing you do is seek out the smokes. All right, good for you. How are you doing, Nancy, with our friend? Just dragging them back. I really hope they don't decide they want to stay. I don't want them. And uh, Randy likes to force people I don't want onto me. All these injured people moving around so slowly. That's why taking lots of injuries in one of these fights is a real dinger. It kind of eats into a couple of days of labor following the big fight, and that's usually when you need the labor. Righting all the wrongs, fixing all the injured. Bye bye, Lurit. God, it's so cold though. Isn't it meant to be our growing season right now? It's meant to be from the 6th of April for me. It's currently the 8th, but it's still minus 13 outside. But yeah, I'm glad I traded with them before they, uh, they sought it off. Yeah, the amount of... The amount of hauling and building and repairing work needing done is... Unpleasant to deal with. Oh, E10! My good, friendly League of E10. Bulk traders, huh? You might want to buy a bunch of crap that I just have lying around the whole area then. They don't really have much that interests me, but sometimes it's not about that. Okay, it looks like Techno didn't immediately want to join us, which is good, so we can just keep them barely tended to. And fed, and that should be okay. So curiously, Pandy, when you're not... Yeah, the harvest kind of needs to be delayed a bit, doesn't it? Oh, that's okay. Although there is much to be done. So much work to be done. Right, speaking of which, you need to help us out now, Bootleg. And please don't tell me you're about to butcher humans. I think you're about to do some long-haul animal butchering, right? Who here are you trying to butcher? Oh, is that Douglas? No, it's just a Rochelko dead warg. Fine by me, though. Nancy? 
Please go and trade with our friends. Or else they drag their everything through our base. What was Ali's weapon? It was probably a chain shotgun. It's always a chain shotgun. Get the female war before it leaves. That's also on my mind, but I have a lot of things that I have to care about right now. Right, they'll buy a lot of our excess meat, and I don't really need fancy meat anymore. So I can kind of happily get rid of a lot of it. I'll keep the yak stuff, although I can still get rid of a couple thousand yak beef. What can you do for me, though? I can make my own components, but I'm a little struggling on that at the moment. But I also don't need a lot of components. I'll buy some, but... Actually, I'll just buy your components. I have the, I have the dosh for it. Don't particularly want your steel. I've got good access to that. garbage clothes I'm pretty sure I can get rid of. Duster work, eh? Someone should be wearing that. And these Devil Strand dusters, I thought they were cool, but I should probably be getting rid of them. Of course, now I am selling too much and buying too little. I'll buy your Nutramane, I guess. Otherwise, you don't really have a lot for me, do you? Yeah, I was hoping you'd have more. I guess I'm keeping some more of my meat in the end. But what I can also do is I can gift you quite a lot of meat. Or anything, really, but probably meat. And then I will be able to make good friends with you. And I do want to re-ally E10. How much meat can I give you as a... Let's see, 58 from that. I didn't catch what our relationships just became there. Our relationship with E10 is a flat zero. So I want 75 out of this. I might just give you all of my yak beef. 75, huh? How much human meat would it take? It would take all my human meat. Well, I'm, I'm wanting to process that, so that's a no-go. I'll get rid of my remaining packaged meals. I've got a fair amount of chocolate that I wouldn't mind parting with. But at this point, we're, we're not really getting more out of you, are we? I might have to bedroll the rest of this. Get rid of the pig skin, the plain leather. Ooh, I've got just flat human leather. I'm not too opposed to just giving you that. It's a good opportunity to get you on my friends list right here, right now, so I'm taking it. Oh, right, my crappy clothes, right. It's not crappy, but uh, I don't particularly need these, it seems. I need warmer clothes. It's a good hyperweave. I can also just gift you these bedrolls that I have. I mean, that's the whole reason I have them, is to gift them over to you. That's fine. We'll get more yak beef as we slaughter more yaks, so that's okay. Bang! And just like that, we get a friend. And what do we do with friends? We call them in for desperate aid already. Also, 75 was actually 77. How does this game even work? Call E10 Smuggler. And request a special uh, trade load. Trade caravan, exotics, because I really need to replenish my my lances and my pulsars. Also, Spurdo, could you check with Lurit, please? Wait 1.4 days. On top of that, I need to fill this thing up with bedrolls. It's not a lot, but yeah, we can make more. I just need to slightly make friends with... Um, with the other tribal people and get more lances in. Lances have been saving my butt, so I will not uh, I will not poo-poo the acquisition of more of them. Can I not have these things on auto rearm anymore, please? Kind of trying to do away with that. Also, get these things hauled. They are... Wait, what? Oh, no. Oh, no. I forgot to... Um, I forgot to give Seru uh, TBW as protection. Wait, I do have you. You're meant to follow your... Oh, are you still... Oh, you're trying to help your master. What do we do? Do we down you? We might not be able to down you. These things are as tough as bears. 
But if you just run away, it's going to slaughter you. You are ages away from the base. Uh-oh. You don't have a lance on you, do you, Seru? No, you got the shield belt as usual. Well, the Altec staff, the excellent one. Probably over where you keeled over, isn't it? You definitely have that equipped. I don't think you're going to be able to manage this one on your own, Seru. Equip that Altec staff and then see if you can ping over to help out. Pandy, see ya. I want you two to potentially go over and save a life as well. Can you run away, Seru? No, this seems to be a poor idea. You're missing it, but uh, I think you're going to go down. Could you land a single hit? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Just stabbed it in the head. With your drill arm, if you'd used the thrumbo, it would have been dead already. Ah, see, that's more like it. Cut out its eye now. Oh, you killed the damn thing. Yeah, I think if you do that much damage to the neck, you generally kill anyone. Bad TBW. You were meant to protect your master. And look at that. We lost a fair amount of Seru's blood. Damaged wooden walls. I should really, I should really just get rid of this and replace it with um, glass steel. In fact, I should just kind of rearrange this wall in general, so I've got a bit more breathing space around here. I think I didn't want to cut into the good soil, but at this point, I really shouldn't be fussy. I need more space. Let's tear it apart and hope that we don't get some nasty event that uh, does other stuff to us. God, I don't think Sarah's going to get back in time. Uh, see ya. Could you, like, tend them right here? At least stop the worst of the bleeding? So about that kill count check. Numbers, colonists, here we go. Pandy's clocking in with 90 creatures killed. Second up, Seru, but Seru does all of, this, all, all of the animal slaughtering, which does contribute to it. Come on, Seru, let's, uh, let's have you able to get back in one piece, shall we? You, uh, you're not going to do more than that? I don't mind no medicine if we just stop the, uh, the bleeding. Tch. Maximum 10 quality with no medicine I think is only 70%. And it has huge debuffs. But you're really making it count. Good job. I need more medicine. I need more medicine badly. Right, in that case, we make medicine until we have uh, quite a bit of medicine at this point. Do it until we have about 75 medicine. And then once we're down to about 30, make more, please. Any worker can do it, I'm not fussy. You can look at kills human like for a further breakdown. Is it a record? Enemies downed, human likes. Pandy's still taking top dog with 21. Scored a second with 19. 18 on Treble Yard, 16 on Smuggler. Good old Alley with only 6. Seems a bit more impressive than the kills, so let's keep that there.
So this is a pretty small transport pod, but I just need to nudge up my relations with the Ergo people, just so I can invite them in for trading. So off it goes, whoosh. And then anyone who's available to do so, like you, smuggler, he wants to play poker, does he? Well, he is lacking in recreation time. I'll let him do that. But once you're done with your game of poker, I want you to call in Ergo and uh, demand a special trader with them. What about enemies down mech? Oh, yeah, there is that number, isn't there? Record enemy downed mechanoids. Oh, you don't down mechanoids, though. You kill mechanoids. Andy clocking in with 15! Far and above anybody else. Nancy on 7, Spurdo on 6. It'd be fair if there was some kind of point system for uh, centipedes being worth more than others. But hey, we got our pile of mechs around here just waiting to be shredded. Come on, I need, I need this place actually hold up. You know, before Randy sends his next freaking, uh, his next load of raiders at me, what will it be? More mechs, I wonder? <laughs> Would that be unreasonable? Hey, Trebs, could you haul that LMG so the door actually closes, please? Who was it who fired the Doomsday rocket launcher into the horde of enemies? That was a temporary colonist, so we can't take uh, credit for that. Trebliard did, however, drop the um, drop the big bomb on them. I think this evening we're going to have the uh, promotion for Nancy, if she can even still do it. No, she cannot. All right, we require a trade caravan, a shaman merchant, please. But we can have Pandy's quest, can't we? Yeah, Pandy can become an acolyte. Pandy needs a throne. Pandy gets a throne. But yeah, this evening we'll have that. Should improve people's moods as well, especially Pandy's. Mm. It's a freaking nightmare of a, of a time it's been. That's a lot of stuff for you to drop. Taint, 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 and taint. I really need to figure out a better way of doing this. I don't touch any of them. I could drag this person if we really want. It's just I end up with so many tainted bits of clothes in here, and I can't think of a particularly good way to very quickly drag them outside. Well, all of them outside, but throwing them into the water is usually the best idea. Well, it's just the tax, I suppose, for carving up all those humans, so I can't be too... Yeah, I can't be too outraged by it. So aside from you getting scratched uh, by a warg paw, leaving a scar, TBW is completely uninjured. Also, do we have any large unnamed males here that need to go? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Eating all our food. Oh, you're not, not large yet. Not giving us milk. Did I already trade with these guys? I feel like I did not. Nancy, go and trade with Jezebel? No, I did. I did. Of course I did. I gifted them the stuff and that um, that allied the League of Eten. I'm not incinerating them. It takes too long. Actually, I have no idea how long it takes to incinerate something, but I don't want to slap one down. It would feel like an admission of failure at this point. So there we go, it takes forever to smelt a flak vest, and the returns aren't great, but you do get a bit of steel and a bit of, uh, a bit of cloth out of it. Okay, now Randy, just calm down. All I'm asking for is for you to just calm the heck down. 
Think of all the threats I've dealt with and think, oh well, good on him, he deserves a break for all that. Jesus, I am out of meds now, aren't I? Completely. Well, maybe not completely, but close to it. Are you tend oh, okay, you are using some half-decent medicine. I did look into the pharmacist mod, which allows you to specifically say medicines for uh, operations and such, but I don't know, it felt like so much clutter when I loaded it up. I don't have a better explanation for it, but it repulsed me a bit, so I ended up not using it. Is the starting column is still live? We still have Nancy, we still have Treble Yard, and we still have Pandy. Those three started this whole thing, and on top of that, the only permanent injury is a toe that Treble Yard got destroyed in a social fight at his wedding. Really annoying that <laughs> happens, but what can you do? Fingers and toes are such a pain because they, they hardly, they're hardly worth using the very laborious slash expensive things that are needed to replace them. And you don't get, um, you don't get fancy hands, although you do get field hands. There's no bionic hand, there's only bionic arm. And replacing a whole arm for a lost finger just feels over the top. Would you really, really be going all that way to grab one bugger here? Could I just say no to all of these humans? Because I don't want these dragged anymore. They are not worth it, just leave them to rot. If you're going to grab anything, grab that uranium. Yeah, maybe Nancy could do the surgery on Trebliard. Show him how it's done. Oh, we'll find your uterus, Trebliard. Maybe it's also in the spine. Okay, well, the injuries are healing. I'm very saddened that we did not get the warg, though. I really want a female warg. I want a warg army. Just a good way to deal with my incredible weakness when it comes to melee. I have one very good melee user, and that is it. Maybe I should also not be hauling any bodies around here. Are there even any more bodies here? Wasting a lot of people's time when they should be uh, spending it on my base, making the whole base better. How lonely does TVW feel? Well, he's got all these war, uh, all these yaks around him. Yeah, potato, potato. What are we doing on that other lifter, by the way? Do we not even have it yet? I think C is more focused on construction stuff right now. Which I get, I really do, but I... Oh well, I definitely get you bringing these things in. Mmm, that power. We are far over producing power at this point, so I can actually... Mm, how would it be? I think I can turn three of these off and still be A-OK -okay on power. Because they each put out a thousand. And we are overproducing by plenty. So yeah, let's lower our consumption of chem fuel. I still believe that I should lock this off entirely. I should move this door here and just make this a wall. Well, not move that door, but just... Uh, you know what, why don't we just do it now? Can you walk over these things, by the way? Are they passable? Oh, right, my animals are starving. It's only minor starvation, but it's still starvation. Uh, should we make more? Not just yet. Anyway, this is an important place for nothing but nutrient-paced meals. Probably more in there than... Uh, than stuff's going to give. Alright, just smack it all out. Yum, 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 yum. And then if anybody's around, anyone like Lady Seru is feeling the burn right now. 
you go and haul these nutrient paste over for our yaks to eat, please. Or just wander up there and do something else. What are you doing? What the? What? Get to work. Is that a loss for what he was doing there? Pretty sure I told you to. Uh... What the hell, man? I'm just gonna shove you over here then. That was half the tongue in action. Anyway, drop of that stuff for these poor buggers to eat. There we go. No more, no more miscarry uh, starvation lark. He instantly got pregnant again. Man, these things are fertile. This actually gives me an opportunity to chew through a lot of this milk, which was piled up. I don't want it to go off. Milk lasts a good long time, though. I'm not even sure we're pasteurizing the stuff, which relates funnily to a story that I have where uh, I just discovered the milk I've been buying uh, here in Hungary was actually raw milk. It has a big sign on it saying, uh, heat up before consumption. I pegged something was weird because I tried to make hot chocolate out of it and stuff turned to cheese. But hey, still worked fine with my cereal and porridge. Let's get ourselves our backup plastic steel door here. That means these need to be migrated a little bit. I'm not using this space enough, but I'm sure I will eventually. I had a second fabrication bench, but those days are behind me. Oh, I didn't. I didn't drink it. See, I heated up the milk first, and then I was going to add my uh, my chocolate to it, but then it came out like a cheese fondant. I thought, man, the the water in the milk part's kind of separated a bit, so I stuck in a fork to try and mix it up, and it, it just came out like a big, long, stretchy bit of cheese fondant. And it was kind of overwhelmingly smelling of cheese, so that went down the drain. Which is funny, because I've had a hard time finding good cheese here in Hungary. They don't seem to have much of a cheese culture around here. Uh, I went to a cheese shop here, apparently an Italian delicacen, but it was really just like a tiny room with one fridge with Tupperware boxes full of cheese. And honestly, it wasn't that good. I still bought some, but it wasn't very good. It was just, like, really bland cheese with stuff in it. So what was in it? Uh, cumin, spice, and... Uh, there was also some French charcoal cheese, which absolutely did taste of charcoal. So I got those. I'll go to the bakery and grab some bread tomorrow and just eat them together. But maybe I have to go to Budapest to find a good cheese monger. We still dumping clothes around here? Yes, we are. Well, it does need to be dumped, but at least people are taking the opportunity to clean up the base now. Boy, has it needed cleaning up, and it's still so bloody cold. Right, I absolutely need to go and take care of that giant smoke cloud. It doesn't say that it makes the place colder, but it would make a lot of sense that it makes it colder. We don't know what's there, though. Oh my god, Trebliard's not been building up his psi focus. Ah, uh -huh. I want psychic powers over there. Or I want more people over there, and I need psychic powers to get me back. Well, we know how to deal with that, because what I can do is I can schedule Trebliard to work on his psi focusing, rather than fixing this crummy wall. We go meditate royally or something. I wanted you to meditate while you were um, in intense pain, because it makes it grow faster. Alright, not too worried about losing chunks of gold. We will have to go and amass more gold, but we're getting there, probably. Right. 
Feels like I can finally just breathe a bit. We've been through a lot of very rough times. Now we're kind of okay. So if all these centipedes could kindly be allowed. They do have some big, chunky amounts of stuff. Lancers. Allow them all. Uh, Pikemen. Allow them all. Uh, scythers, lancers. Did I do lancers? I'm guessing I did. Scythers. Allow them all. I don't know if Tesserons have much on them, but I'll allow it anyway. Don't mind all that stuff deteriorating away, that's just all of the... all the very many loads of tainted clothes we have. At this point I'll just clunk, get rid of the zone, forbid it all. In a better situation, I would have a roofed area where I just lob them all at all and burn them all. But we can't afford such decadence at this point. How are you feeling, TBW? Oh, he's feeling great! Wandering into that burn cannon. Nothing to it. It's not even that bad of a hit on you from the scratch either, that's great. Or one could say it's only a scratch. All right, all right. Back in the good zone now. How about angering that Mega Sloth to remind you of bad times? I was looking at the Mega Sloth, but I, I don't need it, so I'm not going to bother with it. Hey, Spurdo, could you... Oh, I think they're already naked. Yeah. That's one nice thing about the death is the defying um, guys. No scorcher. They burn their own clothes, so you don't need to worry about moving around all of their tainted stuff. You got any good bio-coded stuff for smelting? I don't know where all of these are, but let's bring them in. Takes a bit of time, but these things can be smelted down. And I think they actually have decent, um, decent goods if you do that. Why is there... oh god. Um, you shouldn't have any of that stuff, so let's kick it out. Get back to having all of the non-clean apparel over there. It's an easy, easy place to kick it out, and it kind of hoovers up any of the any of the stuff left. There we go. TBW is fully healed. I feel like there was... Oh yeah, there was a research bench here, wasn't there? Well, that's gone now. Trebly, I really need you to be working on your side focus. Why are you not working on your side focus? Well, as long as you're happy, and it is kind of warming up out here. We have a lot of planting to do, though. A hell of a lot of planting. We still have a lot of... Oh, you guys are going to make this place nasty to clear all these away. By making the place nasty, I mean they're going to uh, let off that nasty stink. Uh, rot stink when they rot. At least once it's warm. But at the moment, I just want them shoved into the dead people den. For that matter... If we grab everything... What do you mean, unknown? Oh, granite walls and such, raw resources. I'm not seeing corpses as such an enormous source of wealth anymore. Because most of them have rotted. That's good for me. Good for you, Seru. You are the ultimate miner. Soon we'll have forgotten about the human-like butchering we did. However, soon you'll forget about your... Oh, you have forgotten about your catharsis, and you're still happy. Excelente. Yeah, casually hitting 20. It's not fair, though. That's not true 20. Our true level in mining is only 12. 
But that plus eight from being a dirt person is helping her out. Hardly fair, is it? Some people just get all the luck. That's not really luck, is it? Roland is there, but I don't spy DDR Jake. Oh, well, we have Chatter on site, so I got a... Oh no, I'm just gone? God, what happened to me? Did I get eaten, or... Or worse? Things can be deconstructed for some goodies. Bit of a haul to go... Bit of a jaunt to go and get them, but... Get them we can. Right, Trebliard, seriously, could you please sci focus? I tell I tell you to go yeah, get a side focus. I schedule you for it. I think the problem is you're meant to be sleeping, but you're not tired in any way. So for now, the only sensible thing to do is tell him to do nothing but side focus. So I have that maxed out. We're going to go and deal with this smoke fog, smoke cloud, fox smoke cloud. Yeah, walls, they keep you safe, but they are a lot of time investment to fix up. Uh, I wanted that work so much, it kinda, kinda really pains. Right, lure it. I still want you over here again. We trade, and we go shaman. God, it's still so cold. Maybe tonight we can clear out that little base thing. I don't know what I'm going to send, though. We don't know what the threat is, do we? Do we have it here somewhere? Nobles, paid volcanic winter? No. Is it still considered active? It's been two years, that's not the one. But it's not showing this as being... I think this was just a random event, actually. But there is a mech cluster there, so that could be a problem. I want Seru, Trebliard, um, Sia, and Spurdo there, I think. Also, I said I was going to do the, um, the noble thing here, and I didn't do it. those tox packs. It took a bit of a delay thanks to the attack and it costs us more to repair our guys. And here's our exotic goods trader. Huzzah! I hope you got the good stuff. Berserk Pulse is pretty great. I want the Pulsar. Healing Enhancer. Flat screen television. It's not as good as a mega screen television. Word of Serenity is a way to stop Psychic breaks, so that's a good one to get. Uh huh, very good one to get. Oh, just... please, please, game, just, just a little bit, a little bit of a break. Oh, good lord! Yeah, right at the end there, and there's a few of them. Ah, Trebliar doesn't have the honor to bring down an arrow strike to put an end to them. If I make the animals go psycho, I lose my alliance with E10. But that is a, an idea. There's not a lot of them, though. These guys seem fairly tanked up. I'm seeing quite a bit of armor and flak. There's marine armor on Bateman here. Scorchio is wearing a flak vest. It's hard to tell all the chatters on sight, but we got... Ooh, it's Captain Jack! The pop idol himself. Who else have we got? Well, Decoy came with the traders. Phobos Aries with the traders. Techno's over there being KO'd. Sneely's very dead. Big Burb is dead. Seth Saxon's dead. Franco's very dead. 
Avenue's there, George Fain is down, Mal Schnecktai is dead, Proto's dead. Flag is over there waiting to be processed. Same with Ziliax. Jimmy C is part of the siege. Super Pie! Oh man! To be turned on by Super Pie, and he's brought the quad uh, he's brought the triple rocket launcher. Mm, man, something's just really hurt. What in the world do I do with you? I did just buy a lance to help out, but... Do I have a rocket launcher to fire at you? I have one Doomsday right here. I think I'm going to Doomsday rocket launcher these guys out of commission, and then hopefully the guys that have rocket launchers there can replace what I'm using. Trebliard just barely got enough Psy Focus to help us out with this. It's not bio-coded, neither of them are bio-coded, so I think it's up to Trebliard to help us here. He should be able to deal with this single-handedly, actually. And that's what I'm going to be banking on. Although there is the other option where he has somebody else do it. You know, somebody who's a lot better at shooting and far less likely to miss with the launcher. Someone like Spurdo, who also won't break under pressure. Alright, that's how we're going to do it then. Trebliard, I want you to steady now. I want you to pick up the Doomsday Rocket Launcher and then head on out here. Spurdo, I need you to be ready to help. You really want to haul that pikeman? I guess it's not a bad position just yet. Captain Jack had to return to raiding now that he doesn't get DDR residuals. <laughs> go left, go right, go pick up the something, go left, go right, go left. Heyo, Captain Jack. Well, I'll bring you back, alright. Now let's move. You know, I heard that you can't use sidecasts on people that you've already turned invisible, but I think that's a load of baloney. I hope that's a load of baloney, because that's what I need to do here. What's got the longest range out of everything you're carrying? Do you have any sniper rifles? You do. Okay, that's what we'll try to stay relatively away from then. Hey Nance, could you get our trading groove on please with E10? Right, so Tribliard, I want you to drop the Doomsday Rocket Launcher and Spurdo needs to... Equip the Doomsday Rocket Launcher. Fortunately, that's an instantaneous action. Uh, maybe Spurdo should also, like, pick up that assault rifle so he's ready to rock and or roll with it. And again, let's stay away from those snipers. Sniper's ready. Drop pretty far away from their siege stuff. No, 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 they drop in the pods, then they move, and then they have their siege stuff airdropped on top of them. That's how it works. Alright, now that they've got that, now I can move into position. Just stay away from that. So the two of you, get a little closer. Generally about here should do. Yes, during all this we also have to think about our trading, of course. Mm, I do have a lot of plasteel, but I'm not keen on selling it. I would like your Soothe Pulsar. I would, don't really need another Animal Pulsar, though. I just thought of something brilliant. So brilliant, you're going to think, what? Um, right. Cancel all of that. You two just kind of wait a bit there. Nancy, you wait a bit there. I think everything's deployed now, right? Observe. All of this is clearly my home. Now please, uh... Ah, bollocks. Okay, I think I tried this before, actually, and it doesn't work. 
Oh well, fair enough. It was worth a try. I wanted to sell their stuff because uh, then they wouldn't be able to shoot it. Right, well never mind that then. Uh, you have no lances for me, which is very sad. I think it's mostly the shamans that bring the lances though. I have a load of thrombo horns, which I don't have a particular use for, so I'm happy to sell them to you. Well, I'll sell them all to you, really. I only need one for now. I would actually like the healing enhancer. Um, keep the bionic leg for now. Oh, I've already got a healing enhancer, but I have two to install, and I absolutely should. I do want Berserk Pulse. <clears throat> I would quite like to have two high-level sidecasters, Nancy and Trebliard, most likely. I want Word of Serenity, and I really want Wall Rays as well. I'll get rid of my barrel for now. However, it's pretty hard to sell other stuff to make this, although I've got plenty of silver, so I can just pay for this with silver. ka -ching. Nancy, if you could please just haul this stuff. Trebliard will learn what he can later. And Trebliard. I think you're able to move them into position and have them shoot, so what we do is we invisible Spurdo, and then we skip Spurdo over to here. Zunk. And then Spurdo just shoot right in the freaking middle of everything. Don't miss and don't let me down. Also, if this fails to make them scatter, they're going to assault me, and that's also quite bad. Good! Perfect shot! <laughs> Get the hell out of my colony. Freaking garbage crew. All right. Fan bloody tastic job there, Spurdo. Go and equip your assault rifle. Ka freaking boom. Hey, Captain. How you doing? Oh. So, um, who of our chatters actually survived that? And who just disappeared? Oh, man, poor Super Pie. That's what he gets, though. He ate two of those Doomsday Rockets, because it causes three simultaneous explosions on impact, which is just yummy. Uh, Jimmy C died the big death. And there's all these long dead people over here. Once they uh, return to the soil, they're going to stop showing up. For now, though, they do. Ah, uh, okay. So, I have a question for myself. Do I save the captain? Probably not. He's got too many incapabilities, so I don't really want him, much as I love the captain. Damn, I thought I'd, I thought I'd last a bit longer than that, says Jimmy. Too freaking bad. Right. Unfortunately, the big explosion really removes a lot of uh, a lot of our stuff, or stuff that could be our stuff. Anyway, let's get over there and see if we can't still um, make use of people. Oh, but you need to equip your assault rifle, then come down here. Not a lot of people still alive to strip for their goods. I was hoping there'd be some mech sh uh, low shields that they had. Oh god, if I check corpses, there's going to be a billion corpses here. I think I'll just one by one check them then. Alright, Pandy, that's how we play things around here. By the way, do we happen to have any Doomsday rocket launchers left? Ah, uh, sadly I think they got exploded to nothing. Yeah, both the triple rocket launchers are mine. That's a damn shame. Oh well. Get their armors. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Ooh, now that's also a nice thing. But I didn't put back down... Oh no, this, tra this trade beacon survived. Okay, that's cool. Nance, once you're done gathering up that stuff and putting it down, I want you to call the exotic goods company, please. What a freaking shot. Yeah, is anybody alive with armor? There's a marine helmet in there. I'm not really sure I want that tainted marine armor, though. Yeah, a bunch of this stuff I don't think is really worth my time. And people never come with particularly good... Ooh, well now, that's a real bit of armor right there. If this stuff could dissipate a bit. But did anybody happen to die with a low shield pack? Because those, those are what I like. 
I'm not seeing any, and I can't think of a good way to search for them either. Because what I can do is go and check corpses, but as you can see, there are many, many corpses. And no easy way of checking if there's a low shield pack on any of them. But load shield packs are really rare, so I absolutely see them as a, an important thing to grab off of corpses. I should have checked them when they arrived to see if anybody had some, but of course some corpses got vaporized by the explosion. Which uh, amuses me greatly. The village machine. Well, that's cool and all, but... Uh... Attack the village from the outside, enter peacefully, try to quickly escape with the data. Da, 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 da. Okay, well, I'll take that eventually. Uh, for now, could you... Uh, no, don't haul the gojus. I want you to... Why don't you pick it up? I think Akhtung is getting rid of some of these uh, actions. Because I just want you to pick up the bleeding thing. Oh, well, part of the problem might be that we have this as our home area now. Let's get rid of that. For now, just do some hauling. I'm not too bothered about the steel, but I wanted that marine armor off of whoever had it. I want sent your marine helmet and... Who in the world had the marine armor? It was you, right? Yeah, it was you. Ah, I should actually check if any of them are people that I'd really want here. I'm looking for um, trigger-happy shooters and or tough malayers. I feel like at this point I can be a little bit picky with who I bring in. Fence and I don't want to deal with drar shits just yet. Okay, you you can pick this up. I don't know why our friend could not. But yeah, I want you to pick up some of this gash stuff. Oh, but you won't pick up the go juice. How weird. Yeah, we'd always keep the cannibal welfare, that's for sure. Guess I could just make you haul it and then I do this. We're waiting for the uh, the, the toxic stuff to go away. I assume it explodes in that nasty, uh, nasty tox stuff. All right, go and strip our friend here, and I want you to pick up the marine armor. We don't really care about the rest of the stuff. Although is that Devil Strand Took? Pretty cool, but. Actually, it's more than pretty cool. It's actually worth something. I'll still leave it be, though. I don't really want any of the rest of this stuff. Once you grab that marine armor, I guess you can just haul the rest. Forget about the bodies. They ain't they ain't worth our time. I'm not hauling all these back. It's way too far to go. Just haul the cloth. I'll get the steel at my leisure. So there we go. Siege was a bit of a pain, but one rocket is all it took to completely get rid of it. So in a sense, sieges are kind of nice now, but I just lost my only rocket launcher. But, but, these guys sometimes give you some, and today they don't seem to. Right. And they also don't have a female warg for me. Extremely sad. I do not have a lot of drugs to sell you. You have artistic, intellectual, Malay, and social. Didn't I want Malay for somebody? I'll consider that after I look at the rest of their stuff. Architect eye, architect leg, elephant tusks, plenty of gold. Oh, well, I want that insanity lance. But actually, first, something I didn't check was to see if any of these people had bionics that might interest me. No. Ooh, kind of yes. And uh, Captain's Half Cycler is actually... It's a way to make a uh, machine, pretty much. A human into uh, someone awake 24-7. I won't do it though, the, the robots kind of fill that niche by this point, so... I guess I'll pass that opportunity. 
Alright, Nancy. Was it Seru who I was considering giving Malay to? Surely not. Trebs? I thought I had someone with a passion Malay who was crap at it, and I was thinking about giving it to them, but perhaps I was mistaken. Ah, oh well. Is there a way to increase consciousness? Yes, some drugs. Go juice and luciferum do it. Luciferum will last forever as long as you keep taking the doses. Go juice carries many risks. I don't really think I want much of this stuff. I mean, of course I want your Psycho Lance. And there's something to be said about buying a cheap tube television until we get our hands on a... Oh, Mega Screen Television. Alright, well, I'm taking your Mega Screen Telly, despite the cost. A Lucy Addict with a Half Cycler would be pretty good, but why even take the Half Cycler to begin with? If you have really good beds, and you have the thing that makes your rest, late, uh, rest rate fall slower, then... You don't need to sleep much, and that sleep really cranks up your um, your comfort. On top of that, if you have a partner, if you don't sleep, you can never get any loving, and that's uh, that's a bit of a downer. I have a lot of beer to sell, actually. Why don't you take? It's about it's about to be growing season, so why don't you take a bunch of my beers, lighten my load a bit. Skip. Really should give out that skip. See, there's the Luciferum, but I'm not willing to take that bargain right now. Alright, that'll do. Rebs, just bring that stuff back and we'll be okay. He's even grabbing a bunch of the steel. Damn, he's a hefty man. Alright, leave that behind. It's not even worth making the jaunt over here to grab it. But yeah. Oh, oh, I bet Spurdo's kill count just went up from that. Grab the numbers. Check our colonists. Check Spurdo. <laughs> hey, Pandy, what's with those baby numbers? Spurdo's your man with the plan. You don't want to buy a 4,000 arrow leg to replace Trebliard's toe. Funnily enough, I do not. Seems a bit over the top. Now, where's that television? We dropped it here. Let's get you reinstalled, shall we? Our people need to watch good TV. Oh, all the all the injuries are gone now. That feels good. Ah. Just breathe. We're not under horrible dire attack. We took care of that siege in no time, and hopefully that was Randy just using up his last little spurt of, well, whatever he had left to throw at me. Shaman merchants on the way? Good. So I want to remove some floors around here. Some of these things had bridges under them, which can now be done away with. Never, hopefully nobody triggers a trap doing this, that'd be embarrassing. That's what would have been embarrassing if you'd caused these people to use their attacks on us. I wonder by now if 500% only makes raids more come more often instead of really big. I don't think the 500% makes them come more often at all. But I could be dead wrong about that. Psycho Shock Lance, Psycho Insanity Lance, yeah, please sign me up for all these things. It's getting hard to keep Pandy happy, what's your problem? Oh yeah, so here's part of the problem, all of these, uh, all of these corpses and their rot stink. Randy no like that. I will degrade away in due time. Once Trebliard has enough side focus, we'll send him over to take care of the cloud at least. But I'm keeping my keeping my rainy fog. It's part of the base by now. Someday it will go.
It was a quest, but the quest also went by the difficulty rating to generate that many people there, see so ya. Yeah. And I don't think it increases the rewards accordingly, because of the separate slider for improving rewards. There we go, all those bio-coated weapons, cleanly taken apart by bootleg. No, oh, not all of them then. Another one just gets shoved down by Spurdo unceremoniously. There we go. Randy, just leave me be for a wee while. We can all have a good time. Demolish my way through these waste packs as well. I gotta say, that feels good. I'm, I'm quite resist, resilient against the idea of actually just dumping my waste packs. I think that's one of the whole play the game as you play real life. The Calvin and Hobbes strip where Calvin comes across a whole load of fly tipped rubbish clearly left uh, an eff effective mark on me. Ah, uh, what do we have here? I am short on herbal medicine. Short on medicine, period. Uh, well, I hope I don't get any nasty infections then. I want these soothing pulsars. Those are clearly... Oh man, the barrels aren't really worth much. Uh, then I should keep them, because I can keep those to make my mortars out of, and I'll still get the full value out of them for building with. Otherwise, give me the shock, give me the insanity, and if I had drugs to give you, I'd give you drugs, but I don't. So just take my... I could actually start selling my plasteel a bit. Evans knows I don't need 900 plasteel. But 500 is only 100 walls. So maybe I will keep it for the wall replacement. Yes, sort it out silver. Just take the silver. Maybe take like a... Take like 70 or 80 beers. Oh, right. Ergo people. Uh, uh, if I want to make you my friends, I'll send you some more bedrolls. Look at this. I got all the, all the human leather a man could need. Just do it like 50% of the world, dump it in the ocean. Mother Nature will take care of it eventually. Yeah, no, it doesn't feel right. It also doesn't feel right from a gameplay perspective. The downsides to it are trivial. I feel like your toxic stuff is stuff you should have to care about managing. And again, there's not really much gameplay-wise on the map here to do with it. So look at all this polluted space. I don't think there's any way to just get rid of this pollution. Rubs me the wrong way, so it does. Ah, well, we got our television back, so people being happy through recreation shouldn't be an issue anymore. Expectations are sky high. Oh, no fighting that anymore. And there's our lifter, excellent. And let's turn off your power as well. And we have one last lifter to name for now then. Who is it gonna be? Who wants to just go around lifting stuff up for me till the end of days? Lifter, 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 constructor, clean sweeper, bootleg. Will you take care of the weather today? Uh, probably in the morning. Oh, but now we really want to do Nancy's acolyte thing. Lest this be oh, it's Pandy's, of course. Nancy used up all of her honor. All right, Pandy, let's get you in there. Reholder 13, huh? So that's going to get you one permit and two levels of Psycast. Although I'll probably not ever have you do any Psycasting. It's just too much of a labor sink to have two or three of my people at this point constantly bringing up their psychic levels. So I have to spend ages meditating here, so I'll probably take you off it entirely. Trebliard is our main caster overall, and eventually when we have a bit more fighting prowess, um, Nancy will probably be my second psychic caster. Unless I miraculously come across some super hypersensitive uh, psychic individual. By the way, chain shotgun for you, Ali. Love those chain shotguns. Sure enough, though, the armor penetration isn't very good, is it? It's not much better on an assault rifle. 
Eh, how often do you face armored opponents, really? There we go, Aether's asking for it, so Aether gets the nut. One of these bodies I could bring in, they're still fresh. They're naked as well, which is always a boost. Where are those, um... We're out there. Ah, they've gone over there. Right, well, let's begin the bestowing. Get everyone involved. And there's our two levels of side casting. If I turn on the, uh... Well, I suppose we're, we're not allied, are we? We're only neutral. I could turn on them without too many diplomatic consequences, but it'd be nice to be allied with the Broken Empire again. Being allied with them also gives you more leeway for turning on their... Um, on their tribute collectors. Come on, get it done. Shim can't invite the robots and claim that they're part of this as well. Fully grown male, unnamed, ready to die. Good. Hey, oh, okay. Well, it wasn't very good, was it? <laughs> uh, unimpressive, eh? Well, that's no big deal. Everybody get to work. And you, don't bother sci focusing. It's a waste of your time, in my opinion. Although, oh god, you still have painful uh, mechanites. You learned Word of Joy, which we already have, and Chunk Skip. Chunk Skip's actually an interesting one. Hmm. Chunk Skip is a reasonable way to not have to haul all of this crap halfway across the base, because you can Chunk Skip five at a time and just instantly teleport them over. But that doesn't have a lot of early game functionality, so I'm not going to cry over that. Point is, you get your permit, and of course it's going to be Trooper Squad. None of these other things even compare to Trooper Squad. And then uh, hopefully after that we can get you some transport shuttling, jannies, and air striking. Can Treb get a fancier throne? He could, and he's going to need one when he upgrades himself higher. But not currently. There's no need to do it currently. Trying to focus on things that need doing, believe it or not. Pandy, I'm going to have you higher on deconstruction. There's a lot of things that are not getting deconstructed that need it. And I'm really thinking that repair work should be lowered for you all. Leave it to leave it to Chumro to do the repairing, right? Repairing is long, thankless work that he should have to sit out there and do. You should focus more on uninstalling a human leather bedroom. God, how long have I left those here? Uh, I do need more of them, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That should help out a bit. Bye bye, E10. Off they trot. Jings, I've got a lot of meat here. There we go, Pandy's on the case. I can immediately see where I put down some bridges. Those need to go. I think I might just start getting rid of all of this uh, wooden wall and reposition my outer wall a bit. And at the very least not have it made out of bleeding wood. big dent. Actually, this, this stuff I shouldn't be doing that to. Cancel that destruction. I know I'd need to have wood here anyway because of the um, because of the water, but this stuff could be gotten rid of in place with plasteel. It's a lot of plasteel. I intend on using a lot of plasteel as it happens.
It takes a while to remove some of this stuff, but that's okay. It's done its job. Looking forward to having a plasteel wall up, preferably one that pushes out a little more. I might have to have a little bit of wood here, but I don't tend to get shot from the north so much. I might leave this and hope that it... Ah, there's another thing. I might claim this. There we go. With any luck, that's going to dissuade more uh, mech things from appearing here, because they love to come very close to my base. Lots of far gold events going away, but that's neither here nor there. Trebliard, you are looking mighty fine for going on an attack. Trebliard, Sia, Ali, and Seru. But Seru... Ah, uh, for one, why are you carrying all that meat, for God's sake? Uh, I want you to equip some, uh, some nice armor for this. I know, I know, bonded animal and all that. Um, could you drink some sidekite tea? And then... You know, we've got tainted marine armor here. I could probably get rid of that at this point. Anyway, there should be a fancy helmet with your name on it. Actually, I suppose you could wear a cataphrac helmet at this point. Keep yourself really safe. Wear these things because we're going on a trip. And you, Trebliard... I think I can have you have a normal schedule now. Tired or not, there's work to be done. I want you to learn wall rays. And is that it? Is that it for sidecasts that you don't already know? Word of Serenity, definitely learn that. Nancy's only level 2. If she gets to level 4, she can do skipping as well, which would be grand. I want more gold soon, and we have a lot of stuff scanned here, so I think I will disconnect you. And then get back to doing this. And I might actually power back on these, because I have too much power, if anything. Flick. So that way I still get some more of this stuff found and we find some more gold, which is something we're after at this point. There we go, Seru. I always find the marine armor looks so silly like that. No more IED traps. I don't really have the makings for it or good places to put them. So I guess no, not really. Poor Trebs is a bit tired, but that's okay. You can get this job done and then come back. Seru should be relatively happy, thanks to the Psychic Tea. And you two, we're going to load you up. Trebliard, Sia, uh, Seru, and Spurdo, right? Too heavy. Who's, who's carrying? Oh yeah, you're still carrying all this heavy stuff. I forgot to put it away, didn't I? And I think Seru's still got all this meat. I think you have that because you were trying to tame a warg. So you would have loaded up your inventory with stuff that will help you with that. In any case, hopefully that's enough. Trebliard, Sia, Seru, Spurdo. Right on the money. Okay, that's fine. Your caravan mats will be okay. Get in, please. It's nice and warm. There'll be a lot of planting to do. Let's do it when there's actually not a giant smoke cloud in the sky. But yeah. I don't know why it often says they're not available when they're just en route. It does that with items as well. Right. Get launched. Get over to... And let's make absolutely sure we're going to the right one. I don't want to take out the water or the rain just yet. Smoke spewer. Radius 10. Weather controller, radius 10. See, the weather doesn't hurt as much. The smoke spewer is hurting our ability to grow crops and just generally see. So let's land in here. Do we land dead center? Not this time. We've made that mistake before. We're not making it again. And he's just having a bit of a quiet time to himself. I can respect that. However, I want you to have an insanity lance on your person, please. that bad. 
Right, on reflection, we didn't bring some good stuff for destroying it, did we? Right, come on then. Let's get to work. Torture, hike, hike, lance. Mech node, proximity, countdown activator. Well, shooting this is going to uh, enable it anyway, but what I should say on this side so that the... Um... Well, how, how big is this thing? Mm, it's quite big. Don't want to be shot much now, do I? I don't want to overstimulate trebly hard psychic focus because they need some of that. Anyway, the important thing is that we don't get shot by the fire thing because that, that's really bad for flesh creatures such as ourselves. Yeah, I'm thinking of a bit of berserking, but it's hard to put myself in a good berserker situation because if I zerk from down here, that shoots me. If I zerk from up here, I don't get anything worth zerking. Why are you so slow, Seru? I think you're slower in the sunlight, aren't you? What a pain for you. I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to skip over the Lancer so I don't get shot by the Lancer. Because getting shot by the Lancer, as I love to keep bringing up, can very easily be a one-hit KO. Well, not just one-hit KO, one-hit kill. Let's get over there, please. Outside of the range, we'll have the two of us beat on the thing. There we go. Well, it got hit by a human fist. Trebliard, could you not? I guess the fist is stronger than the uh, than the other thing, but still. Oh, crikey, it, it didn't want any of us. It's moving into position to shoot. Not ideal. Let's not have you do that, please. Nice done, and down you go. Now that Scorcher is a bit of a problem. Well, there are a number of problems involved in all this. Anyway, I will probably Zerk one of these so they end up fighting each other. There we go. And hopefully the Scorcher just gets taken care of before it gets too close to us. Of course, it's not going to work like that, is it? Um... I keep thinking I have stun, but I don't have stun. Anyway, let's keep you relatively far away and burden you as well. But those things are clearly spindly, which is good for us. But it's about to it's about to hit us again. Let's please not have that happen. Do, 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 do. Much better. Much, much better. I'm not really interested in this junk here, I just want the sunblocker taken care of. If we could all just take it down, please. us from there? I hit them from here. It takes quite the beating, doesn't it? I, mean, I want to make sure that we don't get brained out. I don't know if this thing explodes in a psychic explosion. I don't think it does, but knocking out trebly are to be bad for us. Oh, apparently this thing cannot be seen or shot through. Well, that's convenient. Take it down then, and then I can rush into this guy with melee. Probably I'll take a step back just in case it is one of those things. And uh, Saru, let's take care of our pikey friend. It's, uh, it's really crushing you there, come on. Pikes are easy to take care of in melee. Oh, there we go. It's also easy to shoot them dead close. They're actually kind of inaccurate up close, as I recall. Where's their pike gun? One of these has their pike weapon on it. Oh, it did. 
Maybe the dead. No, look at this guy. It's our gun. Here it is. There it is. So up close, its uh, accuracy actually goes down a fair bit. All right, maybe Trebly Art should keep this one in melee, lest Sia end up uh, way down. Or rather, maybe everyone should just take it on. Go on, Sia, get involved. Be the change that you. Oh no, you just get smacked again. You're the one in awesome freaking armor as well, and you're just getting bludgeoned there. Don't lose your arm now. Although I suppose that'd be a great reason to get rid of the um, to get rid of the thumbless hand. All right, there we go. I don't think this is safe enough for us to reform Caravan in. Should Seru just go and straight up melee that thing? Maybe. How bad could it be? I, and uh, Trebliard, you're not so hot with that. Why don't you go over there and open up the doors for us? Go Seru, go! The reason I'm sending Saru, of course, is that that, uh, that shield belt will easily handle anything the slugger throws at it. And all the while, you'll do great damage to that. Uh-oh. Well, get away before that causes you problems. Hey! Nice corner taking. Wait a second, if this is a smoke spear, what was the other thing I was beating up? Huh. Really, what was it? Well, this thing's still got to go. It was a sun blocker. Okay, man, they had everything going here, didn't they? Right, come on, let's, let's take this thing out to pasture. Had my lucky stars that it wasn't on then. It was just bang out of order, it seems. Seriously, there isn't a warg here. A female warg? Ooh. I am tempted to incapacitate that warg. Seru doesn't have the meat to try and tame the thing. But if I incapacitate it, I could bring it back. It might bond on healing as well. Probably I'd use step away from that. Nobody has inspired... Uh, no, they don't. I was wondering if anybody had, had inspired uh, taming, which would have been good for that. Oh, you bring it back. We can just haul it back. It's no big deal. Right. However, uh, I wonder if I can kill something and then use it to try and tame the warg. I try and tame it with a uh, dead corpse, for example. Let's try our luck. And you keep the animal sedated until it bonds on healing. Yes, that is a very sadistic thing, but it can be done. What you do is you keep stabbing it with a crappy knife or punching it with your fists, and then healing it up. Wow, we failed at that. Come on. There's a reasonable chance that I accidentally killed the warg, though. Ah, oh, we cannot land a hit to save our lives. I didn't want to... Oh, please don't run off the map. Ooh, ooh. You know what, Sari? Just stab the freaking raccoon. No one's ever failed at that before. You go and help out as well, Trebs. How... How... How is it still alive? Clobber the bloody thing. It's only injured. Well, kill it. There we go. Now... How do you feel about your chance at taming that thing? No food. Do you not like that? Maybe we can't use that, but maybe we could if it had been harvested. So what I can do is put down a butcher spot. 
just butcher an animal at one time. Trebs, butcher. Saru, don't don't sleep now, it's not the time. There we go. Now what do you mean there's no food? There's food right here. Hmm, what if you were to hold the raccoon meat in your hand? Trebs don't sleep on the job. Now you can try it. Good luck, and don't fail. But if you do fail, we have people to help you this time. Come on, Warg! What are the odds that this even succeeds? I'm not sure it shows. I think you need 20 of units. Well... We've just shown you to be wrong. No hard feelings. Now if this fails, there's a high chance the warg goes very angry at poor Seru again. Of course I just want it to succeed. It's the best outcome. Easy now. It's fine if it fights Seru, not the rest of us. Yeah, it failed. Fortunately, it just chinked off of our armor. 20% chance. 40% chance that it goes wrong and fails, but hopefully I incapacitate the thing. This is the backup plan. Don't kill the thing, just incapacitate it. Ugh. Right through the neck. Okay, well, we're not getting our female warg now, it seems. Or rather, four now. Are you sure you can haul an incapacitated, untrained warg around? I'd say you can't. Why would we not be able to? I mean, you can haul around an incapacitated individual around. Ah, uh, okay, right. Bye-bye, warg. It was nice knowing you. Well, maybe not that nice. Let's reform our caravan. Head home. We're taking our team. We're taking the components. The steel, I guess. Flat steel is also fine. It's our beer. Hey, we'll take the dead warg if we can. Do I, yeah, I suppose 84 kilos is a bit much. Alright, that's fine. All that. Look at these slate blocks. Why not take a few of those? Off we trot, and then we use our treble yard skip. Does it skip us to Nancy? It always skips us to Nancy. I don't have an explanation for this, but it's what keeps happening. Just dump all your stuff. You always seem to dump it anyway. Poor Seru. Probably not the uh, the fate you were intending for yourself during all of this. Alright, there we go. So, a 35-year-old housemate named Philly has profaned the peace ritual between Nitch and the garbage crew. They're both chasing him. Please save... Oh, man. They're a genie as well. I don't like genies. They're fragile. Vulnerable to pain. Focused on machines. I I, I don't I don't want to. I, 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 no, no, go away. I'm trying to rest up here a bit, not just have more and more of this. Eggs, but we won't. The difficulty of just grabbing myself a warg. Never refusing charity quests, I see. Ah... Uh... Sometimes charity starts at home. Babs, see ya maybe? Yeah, there we go. Just bruises and cracks though. Nothing too bad. The armor certainly helped. Or at least I'll choose to believe it helped. I might keep you wearing that armor since you tend to throw yourself into combat or get thrown into combat. Yeah. Yeah, I'll leave you armored. It'll make you a bit slower, but to each their own. Sometimes it starts at home, sometimes it never starts at home. Okay, well, Pat, Randy hasn't been that charitable to me, so I don't feel too bad uh, making my own charity case here. By the way, could you haul this stuff whilst heading back? Just saves us a double journey. Saw these animals stuck inside. Walls re erected. 
These ones regrettably have to stay as wood. Once the bridge is gone, then I'll be able to put plast steel down here. Down on here. I really feel like pushing out this wall would be advantageous, because when things happen here, it gets really squeezed tight. But I think what I would do instead is just try and bring this out of it. It already was out, wasn't it? I'm not really changing anything by doing that. No, I think this squeezed in that way. Eh, it's not great, but it'll do. Like that. about the charity quest. There we go. Rejected joiner in danger. Eight more days of... Oh, how could we? I think our people would be a bit happier about surviving against all odds. You know, everyone surviving, unless you count Lady Seru's thumb. How did that go again? I forget how that thumb... A thumb is gone, a toe is gone, a couple of fingers and alley are gone. If armor could just actually protect fingers and toes, this wouldn't be such a problem. This is, I suppose, why they put in the bio-regeneration pod, but it takes so long. It takes about two months to bio-regen someone. And at that point, you know, they could just come out and lose their finger again, and it's, oh, well, another two months down the drain. Maybe it's just to encourage your pawns to die more often and then have to replace them. And that could well happen. Right, let's seal this off at long last. I'm going to keep the roof open so that rain can still put out fires that are there. I'm going to shove this thing out of here. I just don't want this so very easily being destroyed. And on that note, I'll uh, add a little bit of extra wall. Yeah, some pond churn. Getting too attached to your pawns isn't healthy, right? They're meant to come and go. Maybe a fire foam popper with the generators now. Nah, there's a crafty idea. I would have saved my generators earlier. Well, actually, I think one, maybe two of them got smashed. Oh, well, there was a lot of explosions as well, and the fires. Yeah, no, it's a good idea to shove them over there. I often forget about the fire foams. Sarah, that helmet looks ridiculous on you. Go and wear a marine helmet instead. I don't. I really don't like cataphract helmets because they block the. They completely obscure the faces. We haven't seen Trebliard's magnificent beard in ages. But it does undeniably protect the head. Where's the, where's the skull cap I had for you? I know I had a skull cap for you. Oh, it's barely holding together, but it is there. Okay. Ah, of course, it's in with the other Altex stuff. I turn off showing helmets in the colonist bar. Yeah, but then it's not useful to, for knowing what helmets people are wearing. For example, Spurdo's just wearing some crummy cloth toque, which is not the best thing people could be wearing on their heads. Not that I have a lot of good things for people to wear on their heads here. Ah, sweet, this is taken care of. Bring this out to... Oh, I made a doo-doo. I made a big doo-doo. I accidentally deleted my... My pump. My pump was right... Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't. It's still there. Oof, thank God for that. want this thing protected though. This thing still has a lot of work ahead of it draining the uh, the water here. 
and I still want another one over here to help drain more water. I mean, it might not survive long enough, but I gotta try. Just got here, so the intensity died down since he had a last stream. Uh, Randy did throw a mech cluster right here, and then when it woke up, which didn't take long, they also deployed a mech right in my base, which made all of them aggro me. There were how many mechs in that group? I want to say 25, but maybe it was more than that, 30 odd? Including centipedes, tesserons, scorchers. At least Apocriton wasn't there, but I've never seen Apocriton join as part of a uh, one of those. By the way, it's going to start getting pretty hot these days. I might want to open up the vents to outside if it starts heating up too much in here. Is it a good idea to have all those cells in one place? Well, it's fine if this doesn't blow up. But it might be a good idea to kind of double wall this to make sure no one just breaks us down on a on a whim. Also, that's only a steel door. It absolutely should be a plastic steel door, and two of them at that. There we go. That should that should help protect it. It's just pretty impressive getting seven of them, and four of them came from a single mech cluster, so I guess Randy was helping me out in a way. In his own twisted, freaking way. Yummy, yummy free flower. Oh, that's right, I wanted a battery as well, just in case my power usage ended up spiking. I still might want a second fabricator here, so I won't shove you down there, but I'll shove you over here. And I can have my door back there. Wait for someone to drop pod directly into that room and immediately start a fire. Well, I'm hoping this is too small to have it available, but it might not work that way. It's roofed, so it should be safe from lightning, if nothing else. No fully grown males to the slaughter, but a lot of yaks. A lot of probably very hungry yaks, so let's just... Mm, let's take note of the fact that we're pretty low on food right now. Oh, oh there. We got that, at least. Um, here's an idea. I'm going to start feeding yaks humans for a little bit. Do it. Human meat, yeah. Uh, no, perhaps not. Human meat. Human meat. Human meat. Whoa, what in the world just happened there? Something weird happened, but... Anyway, Nancy, get on filling up those hoppers, please. Uh, oh god, no. No, no, that, that's made of human meat, is it not? Then you're going to be unhappy for having eaten human meat. I just wanted those cranked out. And then, huzzah, there we go, get some non-human meat meal. And then go and haul these over. I just want to keep my yak school for a bit longer. Now let's uh, clear that. Clear that and shove in milk again. And then copy that over. Yeah, people don't like eating nutrient paste. They certainly don't like eating nutrient paste made of people. Sadly, at this point, I still need to do this just to keep my uh, keep my yaks fed. When it's time, we'll have plenty of hay grass. And actually, the time is now. I need to get the hay grass sown, psychoid sown. Devil strand is almost sown. I need to get my... Uh, so much... so many crops to sow. We're entering the busy season now. So much pollution. Do you mean my waste packs? Because we are dealing with those waste packs. Although at times I feel like we're not dealing with them fast enough. 
six in here, and then seven and seven in here. Hmm. Oh well. At this point, I can't help but feel we've scanned enough. We've got steel and steel and plast steel, and loads of steel here for days. So I'd really rather we just worked on finding some more foreign gold. So by next time the uh, our friendly neighborhood Imperials arrive, we should be able to get a nice promotion. And by the way, could you check and see if our, any of our allies are willing to come again? League of Eten, exotic goods if you please. And I need to wait on Lurit. And even if I don't have to wait on Ergo, I don't have to wait very long, but I'd lose my alliance if I called them in now. I need to send them some bedroll bonanza. In one of the vaults, I think I did see one bit of overhead mountain in southern throne room left vent. Is this an issue? It is an issue, if it's true. But I'm not seeing any overhead mountain. Ah, well, here we go. But it's got wall underneath it, so that's okay. Well, it better be okay. Imagine if it's not. And there we go, get planting. I'm surprised it takes you so long. You're not great at plants, but yeah, oh. This work needs doing, so get it done. I think the guy who put the meat on the hopper ate a paste meal. Was it Nancy? Trebly art. Trebly art is all sweaty in there. It's a pretty big... Ah, oh, here we go, Spurdo. Ooh, I ate human meat. How did you know it was pressed into juice? Anyway, Spurdo's a happy individual, so it's no big deal. Mostly we just drink milk. Milky paste. Pasty milk. Uh... Oh, tell you what, we actually have... Oh, I'm going to turn off the power on the deep drill. Because we have loads of steel right now. In fact, I'm going to relocate it over to here. Where I'm pretty confident there's loads of glass steel. Yes, there is, Jake. On the leftmost wood pile. Ah, yeah, so it is. Okay. That could potentially be a problem. Let's just spin this right round like a record, and then we'll put a bit of wall there. Did I trade with these guys already? Well, if they have an insanity lance, I obviously did not. Nancy, go and make it so. Also, hey, Raven, welcome. Cell Sword Raven, Burden of Sin, Pact of Lurit. Very neurotic. Have to get that moved, and let's just have another bit of, well, I don't know, granite wall. We haven't made a lot of granite in a while. You got a mare, bull, cow, but that's no warg. I think the warg only comes in with the war traders. Otherwise, I am here for. Two, I got three sued pulsars. I don't particularly need a fourth, so I won't. But I want that lance. And really, the lance is the only thing I'm taking off of you. There's no butt there. Lances saved my bottom, so I'm still taking those lances. Whenever, wherever. You'll never get common items from cargo pod drops in my experience. In fact, I'm not seeing anything here. Oh, right, it's these. Even more unfertilized eggs. It's not all bad, though, because it also gives you a bit of steel from the slag. So that's pretty nice. A raven and sellsword raven, the same person. If so, could you please kill them? I have no reason to kill them. In fact, it would be pretty bad if I did, so I'll leave them be. Thank you very much. Weren't you going to go and end the rain? Uh, I still do plan on ending the rain at some point. Won't do it right now, though.
Well, it's certainly going to help us with our growing season right now. I'd hate for one bad fire to ruin all my crops, after all. This rain that's been going on for how long now? Two years! Two years straight of rain. We are Bermusia now. Plus, it helped rot away all these corpses. There we go, look at Spurda go. He knows we need the Psychite, and he's getting on it. So, man, so many crops to put down. Maybe I should have got an Agra Hand. But I don't have the bandwidth. There are ways to improve bandwidth, and I can't remember what they are. Remote shielder, gestation, remote repairer, control sublink. Pretty sure there's something that makes you better at um, at managing your mechs. I know there are clothes for it. That's not really what I'm getting getting at. And there's a building for it. Yeah, the band node, two by two. I could just shove it somewhere that doesn't matter. Although, does it need to not have a roof? No, I'm sure, a roof is fine. How much does this improve your bandwidth by? It doesn't want to say, but. It I kind of wouldn't mind having additional robots. Especially a, an Agra hand right now. Just one? Ooh. Ew. That's so in the description. Ah, here we go. Add one band with. I'm gonna need another, uh, another atomizer before I know it. I don't think I've got it here or. Actually, I'll probably shove it there. Three atomizers will surely take care of all the rubbish I could ever make. Whoa, now, whoa. What is the meaning of this? Get these out of my way and. Um, there we go. Turn off the power there. It's not necessary. You can craft some items like that backpack thingy, a wire headset thingy. Yeah, not really keen on wearing specific gear for it. Maybe the helmet? Mechanator Command Helmet. Bandwidth plus six is pretty impressive. How do we make one? Wow, it only needs the crummy chip that the uh, Diabolus drops. I don't have one, but that's kind of cool. Gonna need to fight a fair amount of Diabolus's then. Warg sitting! Oh, just so happens I want Wargs. Hey, if it's a female, is Monty... I knew a girl called Monty once, so it must be a female. Right, we can maybe mate with it and have it gestate fast enough. Oh dear god, three Apocritons and 30 centipedes. Three war queens. Ah. Holy Christ, no. No, no, no. Oof. Uh, Wargs just ate, I believe, in seven days. I guess I can check that, can't I? Oh no, ten days, damn. Okay, but they have they have litters. Hmm, that's a shame. Completely wall this thing in. And wall you in as well, please. I don't want this just apparently destroyed. That's two times strength, not two raids. There will be two raids of strength 2x. Pretty sure that means two raids at Fry Heights. You know, the part where it says two raids in red. But yeah, I am not taking that. That is suicidal. And not the fun kind of suicidal. Just the funny kind. I will try and get hydroponics up at the end of this growing season. But we need to get our stuff out there and growing first. Planting is high for Trebs, Pandy, Spurdo. So much for Ali, but I can't, can't imagine Ali has much else to do. Smuggler. 
Oh yeah, I think I brought you a little high on the hauling right now, Smuggler. I need planting done. Lots and lots of planting. Feels good to actually have the... have the Devil Strand in by now. I'm going to turn off the sewing now, because I'll only get one out of it anyway. And if Randy just backs off a bit, lets me sow my crops, all will be well. I mean, why would things not be well? We've got a mess in here. Clean sweeper. Yeah, I know you say you don't have enough energy, but get over and clean anyway. The airwire headset doesn't need any chips and also includes bandwidth. Yeah, but it has no protection in built in it, I believe. That was this, right? The array headset gives six bandwidth. The airwire headset gives three bandwidth. But yeah, no protection, and I don't like having zero protection on the head. These fox things, or tail caps, they don't give a lot of protection, but they give a fair amount. Look at that. 47%, that's a good chance of, say, a rifle bullet either doing half damage or pinging clean off. That mission's less big. Yeah, so why exactly were the wargs uh, bringing this? Monty is sick, da 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 For unknown reasons, the warg is being targeted by the freaking war chief of the mechanoids, three apocritons. That would certainly help me get more waste pack atomizers. But yeah, that is suicide. I want a good fight, but not suicide. Uh, let's not focus smoke leaf just yet. Let's get our hay grasses done, and then after hay grass, we'll get our corn and one of those counts as extra gear, like lances. I think wouldn't degrade or lose you protection. That would be the control pack. Bandwidth pack? Probably a control pack, right? Only gives plus one. Oh, plus one groups? Oh, that. But it doesn't give. Uh, okay. The bandwidth pack, that gives plus nine bandwidth, though. And to be sure, that is an. It's a utility. Okay, good. Worth considering for Sia then. But it still needs two Diabolus chips. It's gone mad, folks. Take it down. Nice two shots. Nice three shots. Slow it down, smuggler. Jolly good. These corpses are starting to rot stink up the place. They shouldn't rot stink for too long, though. And although people don't like walking through it, this quickly shakes off. <laughs> Dead and gone, perhaps, but not to a fuck. Besides, Smuggler is a handy member of the team now. They can take drugs to stop being so unhappy, although they're kind of unhappy right now, aren't they? Once you have your disgusting nutrient paste, go and smoke some flake. That'll make you feel better. So overcome any psychite dependency. So, I want my hops. My hippity hops for my beers. Although I shouldn't need quite so many, because I clearly have a lot of beer. So I'm not, I won't do hops here. I'll do corn. That way I've got corn close to home if everything else goes peak tong. Same here, more corn. Same here, even. More corn. And here, more corn. But I'm really, really short on heel root. But I also need to make sure that my heel root gets planted. Where did I even plant heel root before? Mowgli can go in last. I don't need more chocolate trees. Yeah, where in the world did I plant my heel root? I would have planted a ton of it somewhere. Maybe that's the problem, eh? so I kind of ran out. Maybe I should forgo the smoke leaves here and uh, put in more heel root. 
Okay, so I did heal root here and here. But I feel that I need more because I'm draining through my medicine something fierce. Ah, here we go. Where there was chocolate, there will now be heal root. Agrahand only needs a little basic thing. I could have sworn there were implants though that helped with the with the bandwidth, but I guess I'm thinking dead wrong. But maybe it's worth getting the array headset. What would I do? Oh, the the array one is better. And then I grab my Agra hands, just generally have more robots. But I don't know, more robots, more waste. And I'm actually not making as much of a dent in the waste as I had hoped. I will be fine with this. Besides, I have people that are good at planting, probably far better than the Agra hands could ever hope to be. But again, Agra hands work around the clock. Serif with nought to do. It's funny though, I could have sworn it placed this on top of where the flask steel is. Maybe it was further down? Do I need more flask steel? Mm, no, far from it. Then poor Lady Saru needs something to do. No war gout for you to fail to train right now. I guess you can help out with the cleaning if you truly have nothing better to do. Also surprised there's no hauling to be done. Normally hauling is something that I always have available. You could mine the hills. Uh, it's not particularly worth my time, I think. Buzzing off the hook here, what are they going on about? Such kill emails. I get tons of those lately, like more than normal. Right, one thing I did want to do was to have a way to get to my bedrooms even if the um, even if everything is cut off. So I think what I can do is I can actually set up some doors here that are denied most of the time. And then we only activate them when we are under, uh, oh god, oh god, oh god mode. It'll disturb people in their sleep, but at least they can preserve their bedrooms. Not a great scenario. I'd rather have, like, a hallway here and a hallway here. But it's not great for building that sort of thing, so I think door's the best option here. So, 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 structure, steel door, here, 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 and here. That way people can always get around inside. There are implants for control groups and work speed, repair speed, gestation speed, repo uh, remote repair, and remote shielding, but not bandwidth. Well, I guess I'm completely wrong then. Eh, hey, how about the Mech Lord Helm? Oh god, we need two of the App Triton chips. Two of them for the Mech Lord suit as well. And there's the integrated headset, which only needs the power thing. Integrator headset gives nine bandwidth. That's pretty hardcore. And I have the makings for that. Now that is tempting. tempting. Alright, you know what? What the hell? We'll make it. Even though I just said I don't want to wear things that don't give protection to the head. So this is Sia's job to do. How convenient. Yeah, the emission that delivers you three Apple Triton cores free house. Yeah, and I have no real way. It's, it's not three, it's six. But yeah. How inconvenient for me that I don't have a reasonable way to slaughter all those Apple Tritons. So I don't actually want people to use these doors. These are just as a contingency. If we have to go down to cleaning zone only. 
if the outer wall fails, which it easily could. It's still just made of flimsy-ass wood. Um, I thought that thing had finished its job. No, the problem is that it only just started its job. Hmm? Really? Oh, this thing must have been destroyed. And... Must have been destroyed and replaced. Because it doesn't actually do anything right now. But I need more of these. I need to expand my uh, my reach. I'm going to shove one here just to clean up the odds and ends there. I'm going to shove one here to go way out. I'm going to shove one here and one here. Very aggressively, I think I'll shove one there. Need walling around it. Again, wood. Wooden wall's the only thing I can actually put around them. Don't forget the three extra war queens. So many chi yes, so many chips, so much steel, so much plastic steel. Yes, it's, it's really a blessing that the game wants to send me that many horrors right on my doorstep. Can't believe I don't see it the same way. Uh, you know, it's times like this I'm very glad it's not some kind of crowd control run. I've seen it in action. It's just horror upon horror. People will just send endless raids trying to kill you. Don't uh, don't engage with such things. It's not worth it. Does that block the interaction spot? Because I could set up another thing like that. I may need it at some point. Yeah, why not? At this point, I am thinking, oh, we've almost made it already. Damn, Sia is good at what she does. And she can just put it straight on. It's also excellent, but I don't think... I don't think quality matters at all. In fact, it probably just adds value without making it... Um... Yeah, okay, does it degrade? I wonder about that. Oh, we can also see Sia's red hair. Cool. Right, well, in this case, let's have some more... Uh, some more hands on Declan. Maybe a second clean sweeper? No, that's decadent. We don't need two clean sweepers. One tends to do the base fine. We just have to... Oh, tell you what I will do. Do I still only get two groups? Looks like you do group three. Can I call group three a special name? Maybe not. Anyway, group three. I want you to restore yourself after only 10%. So in one day you go and recharge. That way we shouldn't have two day periods of filth building up. We only really get a few hours of filth building up. It does mean a lot of time wasted going back here to recharge, but I think in the long run it'll help out a fair bit. I really not oh, it's just called work. It's fine though. Lifters and all that, yeah that's fine. And yeah, I'll probably want some Agra hands to help out. Although, I, I don't know about that. I feel like I'm getting greedy by asking for an Agra hand, considering that plant work ain't really that big of a deal. Hmm. Certainly would it lighten our load. Is there anything else that would be worth my time? No. Uh, wait, the paramedic can put out fires, but no. Cleaning, constructing, lifting. You know what? I will at least try out having an aggro hand, which means I'm going to need maybe another couple of sub cores, will you? But I wonder if that means that my lifters are currently not doing anything. No, they're lifting. Do they even lift? A throwaway fighting mech might be useful. Uh, I would actually like to make Diabolus at some point. I forget what I need to make him, but I'd still like it at some point. I'm not going to make Militors and that, though. 
Sure, they might be useful, but I don't want them. I mean, there's already so much to handle just with the colonists. Adding wee little trummy militors on top of that just seems almost insulting. Keep those little things walled in. In the desperate hope that they don't get instantly shanked. Oh, almost had power conduit going out there. This was once power conduit. It's actually light now. I could start using my solar generators. And those solar generators would really help with getting my... Yeah, actually, this is kind of me preparing for it anyway, isn't it? Let's get that activated. The solar generators also mean that I could probably turn off this chem fuel. Eighty-nine, eleven. It's a little tight, but that should be fine. And the battery can do a bit of heavy lifting. All right, sweet. So when I set up my indoor hydroponics, and I certainly have the steel for it, and by extension the components for it, yeah, let's say so. then it should be quite trivial to set up in here. I won't use all um, all the space for my hydroponics though, because something I want to do is also be able to grow renewable Devil Strand, and hydroponics are a little wasted on Psychoid. May or may not do that. But I can also, well, I'll probably use the nice soil here for... Ah, damn, I don't know. Most, the most of the thing I want to make inside them are smoke leaf. That seems like the best money maker I can do in them. Yeah, I don't like rice. It doesn't last long enough to keep me happy, at least. Uh, we've got Sleepy and the real decoy. Wow, Sleepy man, you are old as sin. What are you bringing me? Burden? We already know Burden. Insanity Lance, yes please. Vertigo Pulse, I think we already know that. So there's not a lot going for you there, but still cool. Isn't Flake more profitable than Smoke Leaves? In general, yes. However, when it comes to hydroponics, you're going to get twice as much yield out of Smoke Leaf than you will out of Psychoid. So I think it's better to... Uh, has everything else been sewn? No, oh, far from it. People really need to get to work on the sewing. Yeah, I think it's better from a money perspective in hydroponics to make smoke leaf than psychoid. Of course, psychoid is more usable in a number of ways. Seldom are there easy answers to this. really have much with my name on it, and I've been dwindling my silver a fair bit. I don't need another animal pulsar. The thing is, it takes a bit of, for those animal pulsars, or the animals, to um, to come back. Vertigo pulse, huh? I might grab that, since it's so powerful, having another Psycaster be able to cast it in battle would be kind of handy. I really do like tough skin, because it doesn't make you hideous. And it does make you pretty meaty in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Less so against the blunt, but very much against the sharp. I could grab that and shove it into our dirt mole. Make her less likely to horribly be injured in battle. Anyway, I'm here for your insanity lance, if nothing else. Oh, and I don't have the money for this. Because I've been spending my money like a mad person. I actually have to sell off my class steel. Which is okay, because I can drill out more class steel. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's on for you, eh, Pandy? So without one of these things powered, you don't actually see what's underground. And actually, I was dead wrong. You were not the right place for, gra uh, for grabbing this. Considering the amount of water pouring down on you, hydroponics seems unnecessary. <laughs> yeah, we're going to keep the hydroponics away from the rain, that's the kicker. I 
making that extra hand? See, that'd be your job. No, you'd rather make components than make your extra hand. I think we're all right on those. Get to work on the extra hand. Would giving Seru one of the healing enhancers make sense? Uh, yes, yes it would. I should really get around to installing some of these things that we have. Because, I mean, what do I have? Healing enhancer. Didn't I just grab the tough skin? You're a bit slow. Wouldn't mind giving you the uh, the leg. Someone, someone should take it. Maybe Trebs should get it. Even though he's not the body modder. Maybe I should look into finally making some field hands on that. Did I ever look that up, actually? Or is field hand something you smith? Research bin here. one of these. Ah, here it is. Specialized limbs. I never actually got around to researching that. I should change that. I, w I do actually dream of getting some nice field hands and such. You grabbed armor skin. Did I get the wrong one? I only wanted tough skin. Armor skin is not right. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. I actually don't want armor skin on Lady Saru. It's going to make her kind of hideous as well. Do I have an aesthetic nose for her? Maybe I could balance it out of it. Could have sworn I had an aesthetic shaper. Well, line me up for once again being dead wrong. Trebliard's looking good. I might send him out to get us some more gold tonight. Actually, Trebliard and Lady Saru could go out and get the gold right now, actually. And then when they come back, Lady Saru can be worked on. Although, I should do that when she's tired. Anyway, I want more gold, so let's go and get more gold. More gold, more better. Then look at our quests. I think it's all under active, though, isn't it? If we find gold. Or have we not got any left? Maybe we didn't. I swear we just. I swear it just said that we found some gold. Oh, that's scanned underground. Okay, so there, we don't actually have any gold scanned via these things. Even though we've almost got our guaranteed one. Well, where's the gold? There we go. So 600 gold here. But it would take an Aeon to mine out and get all the infrastructure built up for mining that. It's so much faster just to blast over and, and grab the gold. Also worth noting, you do not get the comfort bonus from sitting on something when operating a deep drill. I guess it's something you always need to stand to use. Yeah, mine's 9 a cycle. It's so slow. I guess it's safe, but it's hardly unsafe just blasting over and grabbing gold. Anyway, point is, we don't have any yet, so we need to we need to get scanning. Unfortunately, Nancy is studying specialized limbs first. Maybe we shouldn't do that. Maybe we should get the gold. Nah, get it done. Go and destroy the camp with twelve yitkin. Not if you don't send me something to pick up. Pick up my people. No can do. I can't believe Horseshoes still remains a fun game for people to play, but I do think Horseshoes is in a lot of ways better than Billards. Horseshoes don't get the uh, the bonus from uh, quality, so having a Masterwork or Legendary Billards table is probably better, but look at the sheer amount of no space this thing takes up. It's a single tile. A Billards table is huge. There we go. You've got 2x3, but you also have a greater 4x5 area that you... There are some things you can have there. You can have seats, for example, so you could have it close by your dining area. But it still makes it very awkward to place. 
so no thank you to the Lurks table if we have better options available, and we do. Was I not at one point thinking about having my yaks outside where they could actually just eat from the ground instead of uh, instead of being shoved in the pit? Sounds like too much work. They get to eat. Uh, they get to eat themselves and the milk. Not an unreasonable thing to kind of gob out more of these. I get these nutrient pastes over for my beloved animals. Yum 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 yum. They know nothing but their little hole. They know their old little hole. It really feels like I'm not beating down on my bandwidth quite as well as I thought I would. I would expect the toxic waste packs to be going down a fair bit. I don't feel like they are. Although, curiously, is my fabricator doing any work? Might be time just to put you down for a little bit. There we go, just, just chill out a bit over there. And as for our lifters... Be unreasonable to have you go out and grab some of these slaggy things nearby. Just keep you busy. On the plus side, when they're just wandering around cluelessly, they don't consume quite so much energy. Bread in captivity, they wouldn't know what to do with freedom anyway. Kind of like cows who strip them of their ability to survive in the wild. I'll tell you, Agrahand would certainly help me out at this point. It seems to be going up. Did I chew into my power quite heavily recently? I can only assume I should keep an eye on that. In case I end up running out of power through the night. Or any night. Yet more steel found. I really do not think I need these things active. In fact, let's just power you off and get some actual bleeding gold found, please. Is Jake running vanilla? I'm running with a lot of quality of life mods. But that's uh, generally all they are. Just quality of life. Nothing changing core gameplay. Still doing the same things in this game. see the day, but you're actually getting really good at animals, Seru. Now, maybe if you could finally get me a female warg. I mean, TBW is really pent up right now. How old are you? 15. I think they're still plenty fertile, right? Well, it doesn't show fertility. Uh, I thought we found a place to show fertility. Well, I'm not seeing it. I'm sure you can still make some little BRs, though. I think the mods list is in the title, because the question always comes up for RimWorld runs. Alright, what's in the ground and what needs to go in the ground out of all of our growing zones? More heel root, some smoke leaf at last. I do need that heel root, so it's kind of an important thing to get planted. And I fear I don't have anywhere near enough of it being planted. Oh no, this should be a healthy chunk of it. See, it's 106 heal roots right there. Turn as much of that to medicine as I can. At least Agrahand would work around the clock for me. Mods tend to ruin games for me, says Dyslexic. I get overwhelmed by so much new content it jades me. And yeah, that's generally how I feel for games that I quite enjoy. Holy crap, again, just spooked me there. Uh, but RimWorld has many, many places where some quality of life is direly needed. And I don't find quality of life mods do that to me. I certainly don't with the long dark. I certainly love the long dark. Those people that can be planting are busy doing planting. Oh. 
once things are planted. Oh, we can generally relax, let nature do its let nature run its course. Our busy time will be during the harvest season. And then we process all of these into much needed drugs. So is Randy keeping cool? Randy's keeping cool, look at that. The big bad time is already about 15 days ago. And all he's done is raid me and mech cluster me. And that raid, mmm, oh. Executed poorly, one could say. You could also say it was executed very well. Namby Pamby, could you get me the guaranteed gold? I suppose it's no big deal either way. C is the one doing the intellectual work. Once I have that research done, get back to finding the gold. You know, Smuggler, your refining and smelting should really not be on top of your growing. It's one thing you're actually good at around here is dealing with plants. I need you to be working on that, please. Yeah, look at him go. If I start handing out field hands, these people are just going to be monsters at the job. These corpses are long desiccated, so they are not going to give us rot stink like these ones are. Rot stink, thankfully, does not affect plants. I wonder how that works in practice. Maybe rotting corpses are good for the soil? Maybe not. I couldn't tell you. Not my forte. Tell you what, though, we will start getting those smoke leaves in the ground as soon as we can. Mmm. Yeah, just bring on the wealth at this point. I wonder what's brought it down so much. Oh, it'll be all these dying corpses or rotting corpses. You can even see that it's in the items. The corpses themselves and the items that were on them. As they die out, my wealth goes down. Creatures tends to stay about the same, which is fine. Unnamed male yak to the slaughter with you. At this point, I'd probably just sort by age, couldn't I? Oh, life stage is better. I would hate to accidentally slaughter TBW. He's my only warg now after the tragic loss of what's-his-face. I feel like Douglas was its name. And I also feel like it doesn't matter what its name was. It's dead. As far as I know, human blood is not good for farming. There's too much iron in it. Too much iron. Madness. Feels good to just have things bleeding work. But I'm a little scared seeing the sheer amount of power that Randy wants to throw at me. Good reach there, no problem. Get that crummy stuff out of the ground, please. I should do one to the south as well. These are all safe. That's pretty damn safe. It's all looking good. One by one, we're chewing our way through all this. Uh... I think it was just built up. Um toxic garbage from after the big fighting. A lot of our mechs had to do a lot of recharging and recharging from repairing as well. We're looking to see her again. What's the long-term plan? Long-term planning? Crazy thought. I do actually want to build up a bigger force and I want to throw that force at the... Uh, at the bases that we're meant to take down. Given, keeping in mind that's the whole goal of this run. I'd also like more gold for that uh, that trick with the honor. But once we have more of a real fighting force, we're going to go and take over the uh, the enemy bases. Well, not enemy bases, but bases of all sorts of uh, all sorts of bases. But I will probably fly in and out of them because I don't want to I don't want to take out the ones close to me. Those ones are really good for trading and such. So I would probably take out say this one from E10, this one from Rusheko. 
lure it, polywopple, litsithia. Ones that are far enough away to not be too much of a diplomatic problem. Then we've got to build our uh, spacecraft, defend it, and get away. Probably do that here, since it's the most not sludgy area. I'd have to build a big defensive wall around it, though. How long does it take? Is it minigun crafting time? Weaponize the wealth. No, uh, miniguns are for people who are trigger happy. We don't have trigger happy people. Ooh, gold found. Well, Trebs, well, Seru. It's time to go and get it done. Kind of far away, but you guys know what to do. Remember, more gold is more better. So load this up with Seru and Trebs. And it's too heavy. Is one of you carrying something, or is it all that armor? You're carrying loads of human meat. Why do you keep carrying loads of human meat on you? I will never know. Anyway, hopefully without carrying all that, you're light enough. No, I'm pretty convinced it's that armor. Uh, how about we get, yeah, that marine armor into something a bit more comfortable. Go and wear recon armor instead. I think recon armor is a few kilos lighter. Shoots out its mass here, right? Shows it here for sure, right? 9 kilos versus 12, so we'll save 3. Also, it won't slow you down so much. Human meat to snack on. Yum, yum, yum. Well, surely human meat would actually be pretty good if you cured it. I was thinking about that when I bought some meat at the market the other day. Kind of crazy how just curing something makes it fine for us to eat. So now that research done, and Seru is equipped. Let's get out there. Seru, Trebliard, go. I will never, if I can avoid it, part with my gold now. The whole point is to just keep rolling that gold until I have tens of thousands of it. Of course, we only really get 300 at a time, but some people might kind of generously donate it to us. Whee! point is we never let anybody leave with it. We never spend it. At least not in a way that we don't get it right back. Uh, this is so-so. I think this is 10 out of a possible 12. Right, good of you to meditate. That's what we're looking for. And just look at Sarugo tearing that stuff apart. So, can we distill blood of our enemies? I think I missed... Oh, blood of our enemies and make weapons out of it. Probably talking about the real world there, right? Because there's no... Oh, well, no, you can harvest blood in this game into hemogen, which you could sell, and then you could use the money out of that to buy weapons. I don't know who buys hemogen, actually. Does anyone buy hemogen? Oh, quick check on the wildlife. There are no wargs here. I don't think wargs spawn in the desert, so too bad for us. So there we go. We found gold in the ground to a tune of 600 of it, and now we just grab 350 for practically no time investment. It's not entirely true, since we, we do spend quite a bit of labor and time doing this. Skip. Back we go. Probably to Nancy. Always to Nancy. I don't know why it's always to Nancy. But anyway, that's another pack of gold. Essentially increased our gold by 15%. And that's just more and more honor to keep stacking, and I do plan on stacking that honor. Uh, a prisoner is being held by Polywop. Her name is Han. A housewife. 49 years old. I don't deal with geriatrics. Go away. A couple of places with a fat chunk of silver, but it's really not worth the effort for us. Although they probably have drill arms on them. But now we have the ability to make our own drill arms, and for that matter, field hands. 
I'm a little tempted to make field hands, especially for people that have lost fingers and bits. But it would may, may, yeah, mostly be for our main planters, wouldn't it? Trebliard lost a toe, not a finger. And Seru doesn't do planting. Well, they could. I mean, they would very, very slowly learn it. But it might not be the worst idea to teach Seru planting so you've got something else to do when you're not mining out glorious plasteel that we can no longer see because I turned off the ground penetrating scanner. Didn't want it chewing my power if it had anything to show for it. Hey, Agrahand is available. Sia! Rabbit. Sia feels like a weird name now because Sia means hello in Hungarian. And they say hello to say goodbye. Now that's confusing. Right. So, 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 so. You might as well be unrestricted and just get to work. I want to see how quickly you operate. The main thing, I suppose, is that you, you work round the clock. Weren't you going to find a way to roof and improve access to the rooms? I did. Behold, indoor doors. It'll disturb each other and they'll be clambering over each other, but if I'm ever forced to hunker down inside the main base, people will be able to get to their own rooms. Also, Smuggler and Ali. Ali compared Smuggler to a fox. This drove them into a rage. Please don't kill each other. Well, you're beating up uh, Smuggler first. Don't lose your other thumbs as well. So you do know that medicine is extremely tight right now, right? And you're just throwing it away by beating each other up. Okay, so the Agra Hand is very slow. I guess this is one thing that absolutely needs the improved control sublinks. Look at Spurdo go compared to the Agrahand. Spurdo is plant 16. The Agrahand is plant 10. But the problem with the, the Agrahand is this. Global work speed. The Mechanator needs the implants to improve that. So I need to find more War Queens and more Diabolus. You're like a fox. Oh, because I'm so cunning. No, because your laugh is annoying. <laughs> Uh, there are many annoying things about foxes. That's why they're hunted so much. They really are just giant rats. They spread filth and disease like crazy. And they, they crap everywhere, and dogs really like fox poo. Oh, they just want to roll around in the stuff. Chew it like cud. Yeah, foxes are a pain in the bum. Don't, uh, don't idolize foxes. Still kind of tempted to do more sewing. You see, I blew through my, uh, I blew through all my fancy flaky stuff in no time. So I might see if I can't just seal this area. I'm not using any of this, right? So why don't I go throwing zone by terrain, blip this whole thing, and we are going to make some psychoid here. And that's what we're talking about. More gold. Favorite kind of gold. get sewing. There's so much to be done. And we, we lost like almost a quadrant of our season already. It took really long to get warm enough. But foxes look cute. Yeah, they do. That's how they get you. Oh, what's the message I got in the end? This hay grass is insufficient. Does that mean I should make more kibble or not. I certainly have the makings for a billion kibble, so I think I will make kibble plenty. Yeah, kibble and uh, packaged meals, and that should keep us good for a while. I also need to work on this corn. Corn won't last forever. I'll shove out more meals while I'm at it, Nancy, if you could bring those meals over for our esteemed yaki guests. Eating that up in no time. Hoi4, well, I haven't streamed Hoi4 in forever. And I don't have any particular desire to uh, to play it as is. Right. Whenever our man Smuggler is unhappy, even though he's a teetotaler, he will smoke flake and feel great. So good. So good. 
Yeah, enjoy that smuggler. It's not like the rest of this place is particularly good to live in. Uh, Dominion's Five is tomorrow. We're playing as the Death Midgets, I believe. We had a vote between Lizards and Midgets. And Lizards came out on top. I really want to make another mech, and if so, what kind? Three lifters, a constructor, an agrahan. The agrahan's so slow, though, but it does work around the clock. That it has going for. Oh, hello! We didn't have enough of these today. Let's have another. Oh, at least it's a million miles away. Any mortars? Wow, this thing is tiny. Ah, oh, crap. Psychic suppressors are bad, okay? Psychic suppressors lower consciousness by 50%. Uh, not a lot of mechs with it, though. In fact, are there any mechs with it? No, that means that as long as these mech capsules don't contain things that are too scary, we could have this thing destroyed. Tiny package, big punch. Yeah, and it's, it's males, so... Trebliard, Pandy, Spurdo, and Smuggler. We all feel the burn. Oh! Let's also hit the males with a... Uh, high Psychic Drones. That's minus 30. More so on Trebliard. He really feels that one. Minus 54! Okay. Uh, how about you put down your Eltex staff. And there we go, now it's nowhere near as bad. Uh, take off your Eltex robe and your prestige cataphrac helmet as well. There we go, much better. I'll wrap it, haul this stuff away. Tell you what, um, bootleg, you're not really doing much right now. I'm gonna unsuspend this. Uh, is there a way to clear the current worker? Because now I want this done by max. I think I have to destroy the partially unfinished components. That's fine. I still get that. Three quarters of the steel. Point is, get to work. Sia already learned a lot about crafting through working on components. Although someday I will actually have Sia, you know, get back to making nicely crafted gear. Been, been kind of shy on that for a wee while. There is nothing that activates here, and I'm not seeing an activator timer, so this should be fine. It's a lot of... Uh, actually, this is kind of a baby one, all things considered, especially considering the mech things we've been shot, uh, shot at before. If anything, this is just a nice way to protect the north for six days until I take out the psychic suppressor thing. Pandy is not having a good time right now, but that's why I tell him to carry... Where are your drugs? Where the hell is your beer? I don't know why I set drug policies if people won't take the, uh, the stuff with them. That's right, since I upgraded you, you now want specific apparel, don't you? That's alright, you can just live with that. You get treated well enough. Jake, the suppressor has a timer. Yeah, that's what I was pointing at. I don't need to take care of it for about six days. Five and a half, but you know what I'm saying. Smuggler, you just took Flake and you're still unhappy? I guess the Flake ran its course. Jeez, man, go and go chill out a bit. I guess you're not sleeping because I gave you all that flake, right? Yeah, you're probably gonna snap. And I'm just watching it happen. Rejected joiner, ate the paste, slept and slept in the heat. Are the bedrooms really getting that hot? Does surprise me a fair bit. 
And now all the gold is flowing in. It's a shame it's all coming at once, but what can you do? At least this resting will make Smuggler... Wait, what the heck are you resting in there for? Oh yeah, of course you got battered. Now oh, well, it is the masterwork bed. It should uh, should make you better faster. But now he gets all the disturbed sleep malices and such. That's okay though. With the drugs that we have, not to mention the all-round nice base we have, it oh oh, smuggler is at a mental breakdown. He's going to vent his anger on your animals. I didn't think you could snap while you're asleep. Uh, however, we did just learn word of serenity, but he's on a big thing. So you know, as long as you don't slaughter TBW. I don't really care that you go and slaughter a bunch of my yaks. We have a lot of yaks. Although I don't know how many he'll slaughter before he's happy. Why don't we... We move the wargs over to human harvest. Well, the warg. The one warg. You go over to human harvesting area for now. Just to, just to keep you safe from smuggler. And then Smuggler will, you know, in a sense, do us a favor. If he starts going for TBW, though, I'm arresting Smuggler. How many animals does he slaughter, though? Uh, what a piece of work. Stay away from the Black Warg, though. I don't like the way he's going. <laughs> I need to get my KD up. Patients await medical... Wait, what? Why do you have anesthetize on you? How long has that been there for? He can't be trusted. I don't mind I don't mind him taking out really any of the yaks, right? I got too many of them. But if he touches the black warg, it'll be the last thing he ever touches. Ooh. Four desperate survivors at Icicle Creek for twelve days, they're more than welcome. Let's let's see who you are. Uh ooh, a dirt mole. I quite like dirt moles. Given their, um, you're even a Malay dirt mole, so I wouldn't mind having you in. I'd need to give you some good armor to keep you all right, but that could be seen too. Um, wait, you're not geriatric, are you? No, you're 20. Oh, there's our geriatric and a genie. Sassy detectives. Uh, you're from some school of wanting loads of transhumanist stuff that you're not going to get here. But hey-ho, why don't I just... I'll sort out one of you. I really just want you doing extremely basic stuff. Um... Hey, you're good at mining. It's not really what we're looking for around here, though. Forget the smithing, forget the art. I really just want you to haul and clean. Although there's not too much of that to be done. Any of you good at... Oh, you're all crap at growing stuff. Okay. Oh, it didn't copy over the... Don't do that. Hmm. Interesting. It doesn't copy over everything. Yeah, it still does most of it, though. Mm, if we end up with drugs, I'd like you to help out with the drugs. And if no one else is mining, Rosa, it wouldn't be too bad if you help out with the mining and the drilling. You're armed with crummy little weapons. You're here for 12 days, right? We'll keep you good. We'll keep you damn good. Let's, uh... Let's see, Lady Seru's on a sleep-through-the-day routine. So I could just give them the standard routine. There we go. Smuggler, where are you going? Okay, Black Warg is not over there. The Dirt Mole was a recluse, though. Ah... Uh, 
Uh, well, this is not more raids. I guess Randy is taking it a bit easy then. Funny how Solar Flare just you laugh it off when you're Neolithic, uh, but the moment you have electricity, you rely so much on it that it burns. And there goes another animal. How, much, how many animals do these guys slaughter when they're on their anger thing? Anyway, my friends, you have garbage for weapons, so I'm just going to have you drop what you have. Uh, I'm going to have you drop that outside. You just drop that where you stand, and you also drop that where you stand. That way they won't have those on them for when they betray me. And they will betray me, they always do. Can you make the warg zone far away from the base for a sec? Why, are you scared you're going to die, TVW? Then I won't be able to keep you in my sights. Make the air pathfind so it spends the break time wandering around. I don't know how it works. It might be that they have to kill a certain number before they're satisfied. Oh, he's, he's fine now. He was happy with only killing two. See? That simple. Can't imagine he was so worried about dying in Rimworld. That said, I really wish we could find Mrs. Blackwinds. TVW is desperate. He just needs some relief. Is there any sewing that needs to be done but isn't done? And you know, even if you suck at it, you could help out with it, but... Oh, do you guys take drugs? Because... Oh yeah, the high psychic drone is murdering your mood already, now that you just got here. And you are way too smart, so you have plenty of problems. Well, if you have nothing to do, you are spending some time enjoying beauty, comfort, and recreation. So you got that going for you. But I have a funny feeling some drugs are going to be needed to overcome this. Oh yeah, they hate corpses. Playing the piano to get the psychic drone out of your head seems like a winning solution. Right, could you could you just drink a beer before you run into problems here? Same with you, right? This is why we have beers. Oh, you're a teetotaler, right? Yeah, I thought I thought these guys are too good coming in here. Tiberius, are you a teetotaler? If not, drink that beer. And Nostes, drink my beer. It's a shame you only took out the calves. Fully grown ones would be a better option. I don't think you were butchered by accident, Adamot. It's just that the auto slaughtering is. Uh, it's the real psychopath. It doesn't care about the animals that we care about. Alright, Tiberius, how long until you snap? <laughs> you're, you're ready to extremely snap as well. One of the problems is I can't arrest you for doing that. Oh, jeez. Well, you know what? I could just look at you and you would go down. So if someone just needs to punch Tiberius once and he's going to collapse. You know what? I'm not really fond of these guys that are here, so what we're going to do is set them to not receive any of my glorious medicine. Medicine, which I sorely need to make more of. Psych Expressor, five days. Is everything planted, though? Looks pretty planted. These are desiccated, so they're not spreading rot stink anymore. The last of the heal roots going in. Yeah. And now, unfortunately, we've eaten up almost a 
quadrant of our growing season already. Where did that time go? But that means we have another quadrant. This is a surprisingly warm, cold bog. I think um, I think it was significantly colder over in Castle Malloy. Stop caring about the corpses, all right? This is an ugly world. Aren't genies dead calm, meaning they never go violent? Yeah, well, so was the professor. Dead calm. They will never start social fights or have aggressive mental breaks. So what will they do if they mental break? Maybe just wander off? It's, I guess that's alright, actually. There we go. Get out of here, Solar Flare. Let our people eat. Eat their delicious milky paste. How's that little Agra hand of ours doing? Oh, who wants to be our Agra hand? I forgot to ask. It's sitting there extremely slowly sewing this area. Kind of thrown by how slowly they operate. That's fair though, now you can eat and whatever. So that psychic like drone is gone, Trebly Arc can put his clothes back on. Ooh, Bison! Now that's a nice name for you. So I should already fast track my thoughts about the. Um... Oh well, there we go. Ah, oh, that's good. He's just wandering around in his dementia. Oh, oh, he's not wandering around in a good place though. Well, there are worse places to wander around, but this is a very popular landing area for my friendly, uh, men uh, friendly mechs. Psychic drone is over as well. Sweet, that didn't last long at all. Funny, I have memories of psychic drones lasting a lot longer than that. Get your Eltex robe, your Cataphrac helmet, and then once you've woken up, equip, and forcewear and forcewear. I still keep my people only wearing what I force them to wear. Just feels right that way, right as rain. This is what happens with old people, they get confused and start wondering. Bloody old people. I wonder what's going on. Of course, you're, you're cooking the meals for us. And you have the minimum meal sickness chance thing. So that's actually kind of good. You take care of those disgusting meals for me. But the package survival meals should yeah done, be done by Ali, our top cook. Because you'll get them done nice and fast. Plus, maintain that great cooking skill. I should remember, though, I've got those meals of I desperately need to keep people happy. I'm usually not that desperate for it. Damn, though, Noslegal, you... That's the problem, being too smart. You will snap easily. Rosakite still seems a little bit appealing. I mean, yeah, Recluse is a pain. How is it getting so hot in here? I think the problem is that it's too hot outside, so we're going to open this and not have this open. That way any extra heat can be pumped outside rather than in. My glorious plan with this. I wanted to get more of the good zone, the good growing zone. But I do want it to kind of be touching my base, so I still could have that there. And this here. Wall it off. And that would be a pretty alright place for this. I'd grow Devil Strand in this, and I'd just constantly have a source of Devil Strand. And I guess the rest I'd throw down hydroponics and grow probably smoke leaf. Although I might have a little bit of flake just so I can constantly have flake income. Have there been a bingo yet? Yeah, but if oh oh, has anyone made a full bingo? I doubt it, since I'm sure someone would be yelling at me if that were the case. I thought you were asking if people had died today, and oh, they died. 
our uh, our rocket launcher saw to that. Whoops, want to do that? I tend not to want to double wall these. But yeah, this is probably how I have it set up. Keep it nice and oh right, having this here blocks off this vent. Uh huh. I didn't think of that, did I? The answer is no, I did not. I'm going to put another vent over there instead, just to keep things flowing out nicely. That way they can uh, pump extra heat into here, since I'll probably always want heat inside the uh, inside the plant growing room. It has to become 60 degrees for plants to be unhappy. We can get a number on that. Minimum grow, uh, maximum growth temperature. There we go. Temperatures above 58 to make them unhappy. That's a pretty hefty amount to reach. You should have a little bit of heel root growing. Yeah, mm, I suppose that's kind of the problem, isn't it? I don't have a lot of... Hang on, hang on. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I could rethink this to involve that. It juts out rather a lot. But most of it is stuff that I can build around. Hey, I could use all three if I get really greedy. Hell, I could expand it into a fourth one if I want a ton of hydroponics. I could also grow hay grass quite a bit in here. I don't need to have endless amounts of um, hydroponic basins. I could eventually have it set up like that. There's space in the middle for putting down one of those mech boosters as well. Doesn't boost all the area, but mechs also stay boosted for 30 seconds after going through it. So I could set this up and have Agrahans look after it quite a lot. Of course, that would require this wall being extended out. And what am I doing with moisture pumping here? The answer is not enough. Is that really mud? That's marshy soil. Can you put a hydroponic on top of marshy soil? No. So one way or another, this stuff does have to be fixed. Right, ho oh hum, it needs to be done. So, what's it called again? Moisture pump? Clear this out in preparation of our eventual hydroponics. I have a dream that we can have this built up at some point. With this cleared out, I should have all, the, all that I need, including for a further external wall. I can go, I can go with that. Look my existing ones fully walled off, even if it's just with wood. Oh, cripes! <laughs> I knew I'd make that mistake someday. Yo, nope. at least it's a very easy mistake to notice that you've made and then correct. Some are not like that. Considering how often Jake stabs his allies in the back, he does need a lot of drugs to mend relations. Uh, actually, I've got all of these bedrolls that could be mending relations, and they're currently not. I need to mend a little bit with Ergo and quite a lot with, with the Empire, so... Bedroll, get all the normal and good ones in one of them, and... Actually, just shove them all in, except for the Masterworks, and see how well that works for... Yeah, look at that. Look at the speed at which they get shoved in there. How much does that make... Our friends like us. It's you. 44. Well, that is not a lot. But it is enough. I think I'll just go for it at 44. Whee! Forced approach. Oh boy, we got, the, we got them landing again. So, a shuttle of the Broken Empire is being attacked by garbage crew. Ugh. They offer us 10 honor, which is pretty good. 
It's the only really good thing around here. I would take that honor for sure. Poor Nancy did burn hers. Nancy's at four. Andy's at three. Trebliard is at zero. He gets his free Jannies. I might just give it to Nancy then. Development points are using for reforming your ideal religion. You can use it and add uh, structures and means and styles and things so it can evolve over time, which is pretty cool, but not something I want to do. I don't want this to be an ideal religion heavy run anyway. The ideal religion there is just to punish me for the horrible things I did in my previous run, which is why whenever we're not charitable, we eat some, uh, some nasty debuffs for it. Anyway, I'm certainly, uh, certainly taking that quest. I just wonder where they're going to land. Ten honor, huh? Definitely for Nancy. Rebuild this, check our amount of human leather. That's enough still to make, I don't know, four bed rolls or something. One, two, three, four. Please don't land over there, that would be bad. That isn't good, but it's somewhere. You never know how much the um, the garbage crew is going to throw at them, but they're probably going to arrive from here. If I had any high explosive shells, I oh I didn't take out their mech high shield. Ah, it's over there. Got allied with you, which is great. Funny thing is, I could call in their own people to aid with this. I think. There's no guarantee that they're going to end up in that area, though. What we do know is the garbage people are going to attack here, and we need to fend them off. Hey, how good are you people at fighting? Terrible, good, terrible, so-so. I don't have a doomsday rocket launcher to throw at them anymore. But since they're going to come in probably a tight pack, bringing a minigun to the fray Ventos might not be the worst idea. At least they're surrounded by water. That'll slow their melee fighters. Yeah, but it's garbage crew. They're going to come with toxic pops, uh, which is not nice. But they'll almost certainly attack from this angle. I would like something explosive to throw at them. I might bring a triple rocket launcher. Certainly blow them up a fair bit. That Raskite, how do you feel about heading over there with a triple rocket launcher? We're probably going to be quite unhappy out there. And I don't want anyone snapping while they're at that. So I think I'll probably pop a soother and then head on out. That's why I have them. Might as well put them to use. I'll use the one that's in... Uh, high condition first because it probably has the most value and I think the ones on low condition have significantly lower value. Wonderful. Smelt that up smuggler and activate that and then our friends what are you going to do? I don't really mind someone who's kind of crap at shooting having the uh, the minigun. I mean it's gonna miss anyway right? I wonder if you could take both. Oh, how bad or badass would that be? It's Prasia, right? You got plenty of room for more goodies. I hope you don't, you know, get shot and die here, but it's also not the end of the world if you do. I would also like you to take a shock lance, because I want to be able to knock out people that may be a problem. Uh, by problem, I mean carrying a big rocket launcher that I want. So... Go and equip that. And then let's grab ourselves a triple rocket launcher. And a couple of chain shotguns and an assault rifle. So I want you to equip the triple rocket launcher and... Oh, where's that minigun of mine? Oh, they can't hold on to guns, can they? No, no they cannot. Well, still keep that on you. Mm, yeah, better better to be ready for that. Tiberius, you equip like so. Wait, what? What are you doing right now? Are they doing some other crap I don't want you to do? Clear all your stupid work. 
What are you kind of stuck in that door for? Um, equip and equip. No sledge. Put the chain shotgun. Yeah, you, know, you might say, why not have our melee guy grab a melee weapon? To that, I say, sure. Wooden warhammer doesn't do terribly much. I don't think I have good melee weapons right now, which is part of the problem. Hey, I got the steel spear. There you go. Grab a spear and shank somebody if it comes down to it. Sledge. Yeah, you're getting that chain shotgun, and then we're heading on out. It'd be too heavy. No, temporary faction members won't just hold something that you tell them to pick up. I'll happily equip, but they won't do other stuff. Right. You never really know how this stuff's going to turn out, so just get over there and see what happens. Just you know, stand in that swamp and be ready. This time we're not going to let our friends down. We're going to get a mood buff from helping them, not a mood minus from just watching them all die. They give them a spare flak vest, they don't deserve it. They should be happy to body block me with their rib cage. <laughs> Let's get a bingo! <laughs> well, we don't have any chatters on site right now, do we? Well, I suppose there's dead bodies, aren't there? Ah, some are in my meat hooks. Which uh, is going to keep that thing on site for too long. At least it is kind enough to show when they're dead. I quite like these shuttle quests. It's kind of a shame when they land so far away. But yeah, we're all but certain that the garbage crew is going to appear there, so if nothing else, I would quite like my triple rocket launcher within range of just immediately shooting there. And also, Trebs, how are you doing on your side focus? Amazingly! Who died this stream anyway? I was away for most- I don't know exactly, but the dead list is growing quite a bit. Surely somebody is uh, helping me by adding comments onto the- uh, Oh my god, Tiberius is so freaking slow. It's not gonna be in- he's not gonna be there in time with the gun. I, I actually could skip him over to get him there faster. And Saru, you are probably going to want to snap while you're out here. Oh, well. Oh, okay. They're a little off the edge. And they did not bring rocket launchers. But... I spy with my little eye a couple of chatters on site. We've got Just Car right here. The AWOL soldier. The sanguine psychopath. Where have I seen that before? And we also have Darth Air. A kindly wimp, but he is fast. Otherwise, these guys don't seem that well equipped for this, but there are 36 of them. There's notably not 36 of us. Might still be worth using a rocket on to keep them alive. Would a separate notification for alive and dead chatters make sense? I don't know. Probably, probably. Right, so, 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 so. Maybe you should just go right for one of them. Yeah, let's, let's deal some damage. It's going to take a wee bit for you to actually get that shot off. Till then, they might get into position and do nasty things for us. But Trebs could also, like, go out there and force them to kill each other. It's a range on your uh, berserky thing. Pretty high. Pretty damn high. Hope you don't accidentally miss and hit Trebs then. Because Trebs is going to pulse you guys. He's going to fail to pulse you guys. Why did you just completely not do that? My oh, jeez. Get yourself out of there before you get yourself killed, man. Oh boy, this is this has already gone really badly. They're not bunching up, they're they're kinda out there. Lady Sarah's taking a sweet time getting out there. And they they have guns trained on us already. 
And they still got most of them there. Ah, uh, jeez. This is... Uh, oh my god, they, they have got some serious weapons. Look at this guy. Recon armor, bio-coated charge lance. You are not someone I want to be dealing with. Yeah. Crap. Oh, right, you're right, it is an Imperial. Whew, I was just about to start shooting the thing. Um... Yeah, they got a worrying number of guns trained on us, but I think they're now going at, on their own, um, on their own berserked guys, which is kind of good for us. So hopefully we just shank them to the end of beyond. Maybe you could, uh, if any of them are starting to do nasty things to us, like Tony here. Maybe just wipe Tony out. Although you, you need to take a bit to calm down, don't you? Hey, you want to take out Tony? He's looking a bit scary to us. Away you go. Otherwise, have them kill each other. And hopefully they don't uh, do too much to us. Yeah, it keeps throwing me off the, the blue text. But yeah, sure enough, that is a friendly. Trebly Arch, you need to calm down. We need that. Uh, we need those psychic powers to help us out. Hopefully these melee guys come along too slowly and we just eradicate them, but they are still getting some good shots on us because they have people like Viking here already shooting. Oh god, Nancy doesn't feel so good. Shot in the leg already. Have you got anything to take out those LMGs before they become bigger problems? There we go. Get the hell out of here. They got snipers trained in our position as well, which isn't great, but they are also shooting each other rather nicely, so I do appreciate that. Spurdo making excellent shots. Still a lot of them, and a lot of them not down either. Shame one dig to shoot. Oh, I've shot friendlies plenty of times for disastrous results in this so far. Well, he probably doesn't appreciate being up front. Our uh, our people with the shields should probably be up front. Da, 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 da. Okay, they are still going at us. In fact, Candy just got shot for 50 damage. His right humerus completely removed. Jeez, that's, uh, that's no good. I don't, I don't like being where we are right now. Maybe I should pull everyone back a bit over here. Oh, hey, Tiberius has finally caught up. Yeah, can we, like, get back a lot? Maybe it was for the better that we did. Shoot our friends now. They won't appreciate it. Not as much as I do. Jesus, still really coming for us. Never near enough of them are going down. Look at all these people still, still ready to go. At least Trebs is in horrible pain. And also, they are largely using these nasty uh, launchers, tox launchers. Less of a problem. I'm more worried about people that are bringing real guns into this fight. Can you skip the Imperials to safety? They tend not to enjoy being skipped very much. What I would probably be better off doing is skipping the uh, our friends into... Uh, skipping our enemies right into our attacks. Ah, see, there we go. Anglis is enjoying being shot. His femur is now shattered. Yeesh, that humorous is a bit of a big deal. Uh, that only covers the shoulders, I guess. Gee, all it would take is uh, one to the head for Sia. It's scary, isn't it? Real scary. There we go. Just keep bringing them down and hope that those uh, sniper rifles aren't trained on us. Where are there snipers, anyway? Oh, everywhere. 
I think this guy's uh, got it aimed right at us already. Can we like take a step, a further step back? Is it on the cards? Just not enjoy too much of that. Oh god, see those uh, sniper shots coming in. Oh, I do not like them. I do not like them at all. And we are not enjoying all that tox gas either. And he's got an insanity and smuggler who can drink this stuff all day as a shock lance. Alright, oh, do any of my enemies have the deployable low shields? Because those I am always interested in. And the answer is no. This big fellow, though. He's high on go juice, so he has got to go. Get out, big. Hey, Tiberius, you just want to stay there with your gun? I mean, you are kind of useless anyway. What's Nancy doing up front? Other than enjoying a lot of shots to the leg. This is kind of the downside of using all of these chain shotguns, is we're not so hot in a fight like this. Boy, what in the world was that noise? Didn't sound good. Ooh. 33 of them, but still most of them seem to be kicking, which is unfortunate for me. Hey, Treb, do you think you could help us out a bit by turning them on each other? I would, just, I would still just rack, uh, wreck that guy, though, because that didn't help too much. And they're running around scarily fast. Hey, Theo, go and, go and be an enemy to your own people. Same with you, Robin. Just get off my case. That way they'll go and fight each other for a bit, and I'll... Whoa! Allie! I know you enjoy this. Few of us do. Yeah, they've got good shots coming in on us, unfortunately. In comes the guy with the axe to really mess with us a bit. Sarah, there's not a whole lot you're doing there. Is there anyone that needs to go down? Like this uh, Yayo High LMG wielder. For them that are down, the faster the whole fight ends, right? Hey, Saru, you want to go and like stab someone to death? Oh boy, I do not I do not like them getting those uh, those toxic shots off on us. A lot of things I don't like about the situation, so, especially Nancy continuing to get shot to crazy land. Can I like move myself over here? Shots are just really not landing. Well, is there any real surprise? We brought like eight shooters to their 30 something. So many other guys still standing. Ugh. Ugly's having some fun out there at least. He doesn't care about the toxic stuff. Oh, well, bye, Nancy. Oof, right in the right in the gas, right. Pick up Nancy, Pandy, and get away from there, just a wee bit. And Saru, go and shank these people. Oh, she, she just suddenly got up, I think. No, it's that Sia went down. Kind of nasty like that. Keep, uh, keep shanking them. Man, they are toxifying this place up like crazy. Damn this toxic stuff. Get out of there. There we go. Right, we forced a route. But man, that, that didn't come cheap. Or easy. Hopefully our allies are able to get into their um, into a thing easily enough. Right, I need you to rescue Sia there. 
right now. Just get them out of that toxy stuff. The rest of you kind of like take a step back. We'll do a we'll do a check to make sure everyone's okay. Did Tiberius shoot the shuttle to shreds? Doesn't really matter. He probably did, but the that's not the rescue shuttle. The real rescue shuttle's on its way, and it looks like everyone's going to be all right for getting in it. But wow, we we took some real pain there. Nancy is okay. But Pandy's right humorous. Oof. Oof. I mean, I might need to replace that arm. I don't think I have an arm for you, though. No biotic arm for you. Well, we might have to look into buying one. Otherwise, Nancy's bleeding a lot. Trebliard is bleeding a little. Actually, I think we should probably just head back with what we have. Although, do not take the Toxy route there, please. Are there any of these people that I desperately want anything off of? Well, they don't have any low shield stuff, which is generally what I'd go for. Az has some recon armor, which is kind of cool. So does Tony. But I already have recon armor, and I don't use it that much, so I think I'll just leave them to die. So much about the meals. There we go. All in all, not too shabby. It's kind of a shame that the rocket and the berserk thing failed entirely. I don't know. I don't know what went up with that, actually. Uh, please don't walk through that. It's dispersing. Um, yeah, I sent Trebs in, but he didn't actually do the Berserk thing until I told him to do it a second time, and after that, at that time, they'd already dispersed. Let's see, I'm surprised you can even walk. Trebs, could you just, like, 10 Nancy here and now, please? You're good enough what you do, you should be able to keep her alright. Maybe someone got a bionic arm. Oh, now there's a thought. I didn't check to see if any of these people had some lovely things worth taking off of their bodies now, did I? This Rika individual, for example, has a gastroanalyzer that speeds up cooking work. Great for Ali. And Vikingar? Detox kidney? I don't really care for that. Nobody lost a kidney here today. I don't want to turn my people into an army of robots, so I'm trying to avoid just installing mech parts for the hell of it. Alright, you know what? Rika's gastroanalyzer is actually well worth it for Ali, considering that you do all that cooking work. Is Rika gonna live? Not really. Hey, Trebs, could you make them live? And Nancy will live long enough. Trebs, I want you to skip yourself over and capture that cat. Whoa, what? No, don't make yourself invisible. Skip yourself over. And then, who was it? Was it Rose? No, who had the gastroanalyzer? Rika. Rika Futrude. Yeah, the kidney gives you a massive, I think it's an like 80% uh, reduction in the nastiness of the tox gas. Self over there and get them down here. Yoink. And now I want you to tend to them without medicine, just patch up the bleeding. And then capture them and rip their nose off. That is going to be Ali's new nose. Rescue shuffle is in. You guys are just going to leave now, I hope. Is it about to tell me that it needs this guy? Oh, it probably does. Right, I need to carry this guy over. Get that, uh, get that last couple of bleeding things dealt with. I'll shove him in there and bring you back. Also, geriatric. Dump that gun and that shot glance. I don't want you stealing those from me. 
I didn't, uh, I didn't disarm you people just to arm you even harder. All right, so we are really bad at pitched fights. Really bad at pitched fights. Right, Trebliard, go and uh, carry them to the shuttle, and then capture Rika. No, blah, 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 blah. Oh, right, for some reason this doesn't get unassigned, does it? Anyway, still do that, and then capture them. There we go! Nancy the Dame. Need to clear the map of all the enemies, blah blah blah. Well, that'll be taken care of, don't you worry, girly. Endless Warg army would help. Yes, it would, and I would really like to get that Warg. We've been waiting ages on finding a female Warg. I could invite a tribal war band over here. So maybe lure it if I bring them over. They might have some wargs if I bring a war bunch. I'll give it a go at least. Trade caravan, give me your war merchant. Please bring me a female warg. That's how I got the male wargs. Well, he doesn't feel so good. Hey Sia, how do you feel about actually healing people? Might not be easy given our total lack of medicine. Golly gosh, Nancy doesn't feel so good either. I see ya. For the love of God, could you tend to poor Nancy? She's bleeding all over the place. Can you tame a warg that attacks you with some pig people? I don't think so. I don't think there's a way to convert an animal of an enemy... Uh, an enemy faction. There we go. Nancy's feeling better-ish. <laughs> there goes the last of my medicine. Alright. Well, we are getting 52 plus 37, which is pretty much 90. 90 plus 106. So we're getting about 200 medicine coming in. That'll have to last us till the next year. Yeah, it is getting rather warm indoors again, isn't it? really just build myself a bunch of over-the-wall vents to outside. Just shove them over there and then I'll be able to vent out extra heat that way during the hot season, if we can call it that. Right, you my friend, I just got rid of all of my good medicine. In fact, all of my medicine in general. Very fortunate for you, you're actually going to enjoy some Glitter World meds to remove that Gastroanalyzer. Trebliard, you might be a little bit injured, but you can operate on them. Yeah, the throne room tends to be quite a bit hotter because it's got two braziers and the heat gets pumped out of the cold rooms and into there. I try to pump it out with over the wall vents, but there's only so much those can do. Oh, it should be fine. The The bed is actually lit now, and the room is clean, and you're skilled, and it's great medicine, so there's no good reason this shouldn't succeed. There's always a 2% fail chance, and then God knows what can happen. Why don't I just point the air conditioners outside, because I want to use the heat during the cold season. As for the rest of you, it's, uh, it's nothing fancy for you. And when possible, I would like to just release our friend. That'll make us all feel a bit happier about ourselves. Some people really, really felt the pain today. Saru is so incredibly unhappy. That's alright, they'll see the funny side when they wake up. In cold season, the coolers don't run, so they don't produce heat. Ah, yeah, that's true. But what about the 
kind of warm, kind of cold, like when it's 10 degrees or so. You're all right, though. These should be moved over here. These... I guess I could make this out. Don't, don't really have a good place to shove it. Here, I guess. Here and here. and steel. Right. We have five components, that's a fair amount for me for now. Once Maker and Tyler are down, let's say okay. Out of the people that were there, the ones that actually died, I'm not sure if that, oh, Just Car died. Yeah, there we go, Just Car gets added to the bingo sheet. So what you get for being a wimp, you went down real easy. Actually, no, your head got torn off. It doesn't say why, so I'm assuming it's from the triple rocket launcher, which was wasted there. I'm really running out of rocket launchers. Also, this is cute. You're bringing over that charge lance. Don't think anything else here was really worth picking up. An LMG, bio-coded... Well, well, there's medicine, right? At this point, I should make sure that any medicine on the map is allowed. Look at that. There's medicine lying out... Oh, this is what somebody dropped when they got downed. Here we go. Go and grab that Bernard. Yoink. What is C up to? Making... Oh, well, now here's a mistake we made, isn't it? Always, always, always rein in your ingredients. Otherwise, your people are going to go half the map away just to grab things. Wasting people's walk time is a big mistake. Can't believe you survived those last attacks in the last world. Well done, says Viking. Yeah, thanks. Randy is letting up a little bit, but not a lot. Frankly, not enough. Uh, also, I will stop making mecha from slag. We have plenty of steel. In fact, I think I'll suspend all of these for now. And any extra uh, excess slag can just be thrown out here. How long until you start making legendary weapons? I will... Oh. Oh god, Rika, I, I can't really tend that very well, can I? Um, I will wait until I have inspirations on Sia. The only way to make legendary weapons without having a uh, specialist, which is an ideologian thing, which I do not have access to currently, is to get inspirations. And even then, it's not guaranteed. It's far from guaranteed. Two minus three. Let's deconstruct these ones. At least I can get a little bit of component back that way. Oh, come now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Look who it is. Apocriton is back. So I was just saying that uh, that Randy is chilling off. Randy is really not chilling off. Two war queens this time. That's one Apocriton of the two you need for the Mechanoid helmet. Yeah, I don't really want the Mechanator helmet. I would want this for another um, waste pack dispersal thing. Hmm. Jesus Crivens, this isn't getting any less ridiculous. Even if I brought in all of the... Huh. <laughs> you know, there's one thing I could do. I could release my yaks into the wild and then trigger the uh, the animal pulsar. That would make them go mad and attack up a Crichton. Oh, 
them mechs, mechs, and more mechs. Right, I need to come up with a cunning plan. Oh, of course, he's right next to all of this, so if these things go off, he's, he's going to be backed by his turrets as well. I need him to get closer here. Uh, you wouldn't have to faff around with yaks anymore. The yaks are still great, though. They give me milk, which really subsidizes my food, and they give me loads of meat. I haven't really caravaned with them at all, but still. Ugh. I definitely should get the animals involved, though, but I think my main thing is to uh, make these mechs go insane. Of course, I don't have many insanity lances, do I? Oh, well, I've got a fair number of them, actually. I could take you on yet, Apocriton. All the centipedes, blaster centipedes, yeah. Then one at a time I'd make the centipedes go insane. They'll kill each other. Although that would be even better if I could get Trebliard in with... Yeah, damn, he doesn't have much side focus. Um, but if I could get you in and do a... Uh, do a Berserk Pulse... Then I could get a lot of them to infight, and then I pick them off using the one by one approach. That seems like a good idea. Ooh, Neuroquake. Does anyone know if Neuroquake works on Apocriton? Nah, because I could also get you all the way away from my own stuff and Neuroquake it out. And we do have Neuroquake available, right? Of course we do. We'd knock you out for five days, though. And a Neuroquake crutching. Comes with plenty of downsides, though. I don't like using it so much. Well, if I don't like doing it, I know who does. Future Jake. He can deal with this. We're certainly in a better situation than we were at the end of last stream. For one, we're all looking a lot more alive than we probably deserve to be. Pandy's right humorous notwithstanding. That sucks for manipulation. I think that means your manipulation is kind of tied to about 50-ish percent. We've got to get that fixed. Anyway, Future Jake can deal with this. Whether he neuroquakes or not, I think he's going to go for the insanity strategy. It makes a lot more sense. But that is something for later on in the week. Tomorrow I will be back with Dominions, playing with Icy Death Midgets. I'm going to make it a big game. I want a lot of factions on the map. Maybe... Maybe with some Disciples. I haven't decided that fully. I guess I'll set that up in the evening. But until I am back, it is a cheers and a cheerio.